welcome back. We're very excited to have you here with us at Isylvania with a bunch of lovable geeks from Romania who play D&D in a very beautiful, authentic vampire English. Uh, this is the 11th episode of Vim the Tale of Immortality, a fantasy homebrew setting inspired by Romanian folklore and uh, also other European folklore you're gonna see with dire consequences uh, for the players, of course, not for you. Um, you. If you need a refreshment or a refresh on what happened last time, you can check in the i button the last episode of the Book of Recollection with magical podcasts like Recaps. And I am your terribly excited uh, dungeon Master Carla, and I'm gonna introduce today's player, Rarish. Hi, uh, I'm Rarish Genchoy, and I'm today's player. Singular. And the others. <laughs> and the the others. Uh, wave, 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 wave. And uh, it's a long episode, brace, because we're gonna jump in to the 11th episode of Vim, the 11th Mortality, right now. Last time, we left off with the party of adventurers approaching Greenspring and uh, seeing someone standing in the road. It was Shaq. We have him at the table. Um, but what happened to Shaq? And to find out that exact answer, uh, we will start by looking back five days ago at the start of the day of Lunai the uh, 35th of shadow river that's the month and the date we have 20 uh, we have 49 days uh, a, a month and seven months um and we're gonna leave when the moment we're gonna start with the moment where your mungander swallowed gregory Hall. you see before you does the grandiose, grand, black snake. But it's not the snake, it's a gargantuan monster that could encircle the whole world with intense orange eyes. And he looks at you, and you hear in your head, you disappointed me. You knew what the deal was. I merely had a suggestion. I was never not going to go through with it. I have provided 99% of it anyway, but we could use him as leverage. Humans have an entrance in the city that nocturnals do not. There were more aspects to him being kept alive for a few minutes before having his head ripped off. I want to remind you something. You know, you. When you look at the fiery tribe... Silence. You are no longer committed to the things that I saw when I made the deal with you. No, You're you no don't longer... Understand. Silence. You will shut up when I speak. Uh, Shaka Shark steps uh, uh, a few steps back, uh, being really tense. You hear in your head, you are not the one that committed patricide killing your father, then your mother, then your brother and sister, uh, brothers. You're not the one who received the gift for me. You couldn't receive my gift because you've changed. I changed having a bit of vision. That which the Fairy tribe did not. They couldn't see past their snouts, yet you knew the new that when you picked me. I was not the strongest. 
I was the one who had perspectives. But maybe your perspectives have changed since you decided to give a chance to this strong human with strong matter, huh? You liked something about it? I like the it. fact that we can we can do so much more than luring a, a helpless one human inside the forest and committing this vile ritual to kill him. That is nothing. Silence. But I have decided be... you're no longer <sighs> capable of receiving the path to immortality. You're not capable of seeing what else we can be. There are creatures in Green Spring that are the true power to be consumed. They go throughout the city streets, vulnerable. They interact with people. You're not listening to me. I was here. You missed 400 years. I was here. I know what's happening. You're not listening. Lucky of you, I put my eggs in more than one nest. I should have left you die when I found you in the forest. Like a weakling, you would have died in a couple of days. And as a reminder, I will retract my powers from you. And at this point, like a dark, deep smoke just comes from the inside of your bowels and draws the life essence from you. You become thin. And he continues, I will retract my powers and you will die. And I watch, will watch you see and come close to desperation. Okay, just as a reminder, are we going for session zero shock now? Yes. Okay. Session zero shock with a lot of minuses on your... Yeah. Uh, um, I, I think it was minus... Four. To everything that is uh, strength, ba strength, dexterity, and constitution based. Okay. Well, in that case, I'd imagine that uh, well, Shaq would just faint and fall on the floor. But uh, do I have a bit of consciousness to say something, or do I just no, no, out? no, no? You have consciousness. You're just, you're, you're just crawling now. No! Don't do this. Think about it. There are things that you do not know from the inside. Have you people in Green Spring? No, I can I can find out so much more. You just have to listen. No, listen. I, I can give you one of the astrals. And any one of them. I we, they can be found within Green Spring. He they comes, can be lured into traps. He comes with this gargantuan head, slams it in front of you, just watching with one one eye that's big enough to engulf your whole body one intense orange eye and you hear inside your mind you fool you couldn't give me an astral and i wouldn't have to i wouldn't know what to do with it because astrals are made of light i need strong matter to receive and keep being immortal do you understand and you need strong matter if you want to. You would have needed strong matter if you just said on the same path. What if the notion of strength is not what you think it is? Look at how the humans enveloped the ones who worship the Church of Enduring. Look at them. They are basically slaves. They have permits to enter the city. They check you. Humans! I understand your uh, anger, but uh, you would have died soon, so it's fine. He retracts. Coward! And uh, Shark just retreats in a fetal position and shaking with, with anger. Um, he starts coiling back this gargantuan head and body, slashing through the forest, and in a matter of a minute. It's gone. What do you do? Okay. Um, do I see any kind of fallen twig nearby? Uh, you see one in, in an arm's reach. 
Okay, so Shark will very shakily crawl towards the twig and um, I will pick it up and see if I can actually walk. I can assume that uh, looking at my right foot, it's still broken and uh, club footed, right? Yeah, it's broken and club footed in an odd angle. Um, okay, uh, I try to stand up and see if I can even uh, walk. Um, I'm not gonna make you roll with this stat right now, <laughs> but can't. I'm gonna say it's gonna take a, a while and, a, and approximately like half an hour you can stand up. Okay, well, um, I will prop myself into this and uh, I will go towards uh, looking around. Do I see any from the fight with Gregory since he had that many, so the instruments on him to uh, do all kinds of wood carving? Would he have any kind of tools or um, anything that would be uh, left of? So he his uh, backpack dropped, um, okay. same as yours when you started fighting because you you can't fight with backpacks and it's a convention that we have. And you rummage through it and find the wood carpenter's tools that Gregory used all those years before in Greenwell. Okay. Uh, so I will take just one instrument, like the, the, the first thing that I see that could resemble a knife we use for, for wood carving. And Shark will go to the tree that uh, was... The, the When we last uh, went here, there was a tree that had a bit of bark broken off by Gregory in order to perform a ritual, which was the trickery. Shark will go there um, and using his own uh, set of writing will uh, do a very... Um, would actually I know any kind of funeral rites for humans? Uh, Roll me a history. It's a 15. Um, so with a 15, you haven't spent a lot of time with humans from, from uh, the Greenlands, but you have spent a bit of a fair amount of time with humans from the Redlands. They were a more um, scarce, even they were um, they were more in a poorer state than the ones in Greenwell all those, those years ago. And um, they sort of burned their bodies and engraved their initials and date and stones. Okay. Well, in this case, um... I will write in uh, using uh, very good calligraphy. I will write in inside the, the space that was cleared off of bark. Uh, here lies Gregory of Greenwell. I got that correct, right? Strong in body, stronger in spirit. I'll just mark that down. Uh, and then with a wood carving tool, I'll just engrave it a bit more so that it's it's a bit permanent. And with that, Shark will throw away this, the, the instrument and uh, uh, check on Vash to see if uh, he's okay, which I guess he is. Vash is still uh, there in your, um, in your um, scarf, hiding. Um, I look at Vash and uh, you know, whisper to myself almost, I think we will part ways soon, dear friend, but ah, you will probably have a good life here. And now I'm trying to think how far away we should be from the city. Um, I think it's approximately four hours of uh, walking. Four hours of walking, okay. Um, I nice. imagine, like from my history, that I, I cannot walk for four hours. I think, right? Definitely. And it's getting worse because uh, you're starting like the residue of some power or some vitality or some health remains, but you're starting to lose that more and more. Uh, and you feel this with the first level of uh, weakening. You, you get okay. a sting in your liver and uh, you get dizzy. It's somehow harder to breathe. Those were actually symptoms, but they get worse, right? Yes, and you're gonna roll me a constitution save to see if you can keep your balance and not fall off. <laughs> nah, it's a six. It's a six. Yeah. Uh, you try to grapple your um, the, the walking stick, but you can't. You don't have the strength and you fall pathetically on the ground. Um, 
your vision gets blurry and in the distance you see someone uh, walking by um, you see someone clad in a long drape like attire with a face covered with a porcelain mask the and, one that we saw right and, uh, and lo long white gloves you see a storyteller yeah one of those storytellers Okay. Um, do I notice it seeing me? Definitely, because it's approaching you in a straight line. Okay. While appearing weaker than he is, Shock will extend a hand and uh, squint his eyes towards the storyteller. Deception. What? Uh, a three plus a five. That's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has a mask, you can't really see the reaction. He kneels. Like with this subtle smile, Shaq grasps at him and uh, tries to pull him a bit closer. Uh, roll me uh, roll me an uh, athletics. <laughs> it's a two. May I roll play this? You Okay. Okay. So I'm guessing that as I pull him on with a two, I barely move myself, and I I, I I pull him closer, and I have this maniac look on my face, and when I realize, oh, he took everything. You, you, my friend, <laughs> you are about to have <laughs> such a more relaxing evening. <laughs> You hear in your mind... And like, I, I drop down, letting go of, of him. <laughs> you you didn't... Ma with, the, with the two, you didn't manage to grasp at him. You just flung your arms in front of him. But I, I, I realized that there's yeah. no strength left. There's nothing, right? Yeah, and you uh, laughed and, and said your piece and all fainted. And before you fainted, you heard in uh, your mind a cold, neutral voice that spoke with you. Uh, spoke to you before and to you and Gregory last session we had together um, he says do tell you faint you wake up um, you don't know when but it's uh, the middle of the day you feel right. somehow worse than you felt before you fainted. And the storyteller is there, next to you, watching. Just silently watching and saying nothing. Mm -hmm. I just squint at, at it and... Uh... Alright, what is it that you want? <sighs> Yeah, am I am I under a tree or just in? Uh, 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 you're in, uh, partially covered by a canopy of trees, but you also see the light. Mm -hmm. Can you pull me next to a tree in the shade? I, I I'd rather have a peaceful going. Uh, precision. Um, twenty-two. Um. He touches you by the shoulder, and with so much ease, you're just lifted and pulled under the shade. Thank you. What is it that you want? You would uh, have looted my body already. If I, I check for Vaj. Vaj is there. Okay. You would have looted my body already if you wanted that. Um, you hear in your mind, I came to sit with you. You look here like you're dying. I most likely am. I can see that. And is that an outcome you wish to see gone to fruition? Or are you going to do something about it? I'm just here to wait with you. Wait and wait and do what? Waiting is uh, a doing. You 
you hear all of this in your mind? Yeah, uh, I just shake my head and um, I would have assumed I'd, I'd have a different death rather than expiring and having someone sit by and watching it carefully. That is an odd interest. What are you going to do with this information? He takes a notebook. He turns his porcelain head. You can assume he's staring at you, but you see no eyes. Um, and he says, I'm known as a storyteller. What's your story? <laughs> you are serious. You are here to have my dying confession. It doesn't react. Finally, you know what? There is so much more boredom to expiring like a common nothing in the forest of whatever. Why not tell you? I need a deal with someone. Which I suspect that someone is... You have heard of Obscuro, haven't you? He nods. Very unperceivably. Yeah, yeah you can see that. Shak is really unsettled by the lack of, uh, of emotion of the storyteller. And I actually wanted to notice if there's any kind of reaction. Out of uh, give me an insight with uh, disadvantage because he's wearing a mask and gloves. Oh, oh no, it's it's a seven. No, inside you can give me also a perception. With disadvantage? No. Okay, then it's still... Ah, it's an eight. <laughs> okay, with an eight, you can see that it has on him, apart from um, the drape-like attire and the mask, it has a small um, basket that lies on the ground with the notebook and uh, no pen and a jar with something inside. Okay. Have you seen the creature that was near me before I fell? Should have high? Should have I? It is enormous. I could never tell where it over it manifested from, but I did not see it to have any length. So I can only assume that if you are here, you have seen the events that have transpired. What's the creature? It says its name is Jormungandr, and I'm sure, I'm very sure, that is the manifestation of Obscuro. He stares at you. He has a notebook, he hasn't noted the thing. So, and no interaction with the notebook. Okay. You can glance at it. I am glancing at it. Now it starts writing it on its own. And it's writing my words. With quotation marks. I see. Where are these notes going to end up? In my collection. That being in Greenspring? No. Will anyone read this? No. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Let's do it for entertainment. Ah, it's better than dying watching the grass grow. I have met Obscura and made a deal. I gave them everything I had, which was almost nothing. I gave them my family as sacrifice to Obscuro in order to gain the power of matter itself. And I was strong. By the gods, I was the strongest. He raises a white glove. You hear in your mind, family is nothing. Fam For some it might be. Do you speak you and he? Yes. Shakla Shak is my name. Fang, the fangless, 
Why fang the fangless? And I was born, the idiot village shaman says I, I was I was diseased because I didn't have one of the bright colorations of my family. They said I had the plague and I should be kept away from everyone. And so they did, including the family, that they are nothing. They were nothing to me. They provided nothing and just took everything. I grew without nothing. How do you call that? A family I was not asked to be born in this world. But Obscuro offered a way out, offered an avenue to extend all the rage and malice I had on the world and extend it upon those near me. And I had so little time to do it and I would have loved to do so much more. But he is not with vision. He cannot see anything more than just eating like animals. And so Shuck spits on the ground. You spit blood. Oh. Oh, well, you hear in your head. What did you wish from this creature? Immortality. I don't think so. I think it was a chance. A chance at something. I was brought to the Afiri tribe when my family moved from the Redlands. I had to participate in their hunts. When this creature found me, I believe I was in a very similar state and I look at myself like really shaking and uh, with um, very cold hands and look like looks like bad circulation. I fell from the effort of walking a few paces. I would have had no future. If my family didn't tell the others just to stay away, I would have been just the next meal. But this creature, this creature offered a way, a way to do something. I decided to take all the power I could. So I did, but it was cut short by the, by that idiot's vision. I, he expected me to just be his, his killer on command. Is, too... is this what you signed up for? Yes, it's actually it was what I signed up for. So I... is death or killer on command? Yes, of course. What else could I have done? I was powerless to do anything. I was powerless to stop anyone from doing anything to me. Let me show you something. A shark which is inside and um, he pulls a small pouch and that he reveals and uh, it's full of small uh, bones, bone-like trinkets of what, what would be seen as small animals. This is what I have from the creatures I actually interacted with. Vermin that were around the tribe. I, I managed to, to keep myself from going crazy when I had these little pets that anyone who saw them killed. I would do the same to them. I would split my malice at them tenfold. That was the dream I had when I accepted the deal. I couldn't follow it. I guess it is the right if you believe. Do you believe in justice? Justice. At a conceptual level. Yes. The justice is the matter of the perceiver. I also seek for justice. So that's why you're here. You want justice for what transcended inside this forest. No. I think, no. Then what do you perceive as being justice? Making sure there's a balance. And those who are greedy enough do not take it all. How would you rate 
18 years of neglect, abuse, and lack of power versus a couple of days of unrestricted rampage. I would call that fair. And that is why you're doing nothing now, is it? You know what? I can really do nothing. Just be here. What do you want in return for dragging me into the city? I'd rather take a chance at life than just... Inscribing everything. Give me back the axes. Fine. I couldn't even wield them if I wanted to. I, I hand him the axes. He takes them. He puts it. Puts them behind his cloak. Wait. Stop. I just realized. The notes you've written. So you're actually going to help me. I can just sit here and observe you dying. Why bother asking me to loot myself if that's your goal anyway? I thought we were talking about justice. Fine. I... Tell me your story in that case. If we are here sharing. No. I guess we will spend the rest of this time. Do you have any interaction that can be resolved with me more than just me telling you what to inscribe? Could die. Question. Uh, I know I didn't have train, time to train him, but Vash is, in theory, under the uh, under a charm spell via the racial UNT uh, uh, yeah. traits. Could I issue simple commands to Vash? Yes. Like um, go there or uh, mm -hmm. okay, like if something like uh, maybe I had the time to just teach him, like it's. Uh, I do this, he comes back, or I do a hiss, and he... You, uh, you could try to speak with him in snake tongue, or, yeah. Okay. Is this guy just focused on me and not moving, just staring on me, at me and... Uh, His mask is staring directly in your face, you don't know what he... And this is what you see. Okay. Then I will attempt to... Um, to fake unconsciousness. Okay. And uh, deception. Tr try to like barely like um yeah. Let's let's do the deception. Oh thank God. Uh, it's a twenty-one. So I will try to fake unconsciousness to see if uh, it reacts in any way or it just does this. It's it had its head doesn't move. Okay. Um. I try to reach for for it and try to reach for its uh, its mask. Does it pull away or? He pulls very very subtly out of your reach, like maybe five centimeters before you reach it. What are you? What am I? I uh, try to stand up. And uh, move away from it a bit. Okay. Uh, for you can drag yourself. That's gonna be a lower DC, or you can stand up and move away, and that's gonna be a higher DC. Mm, I just want to drag myself away and see if I can break line of sight with it for just a second. Okay, you can try to drag yourself. You, you know what? The simple way to, to break line of sight is to turn your back. <laughs> No, I, I'm trying to actually break his line of sight with me. Okay. I understand what you're saying. I'm gonna... That's gonna be very difficult. To no, I'm, I'm trying to see if it follows me. Th that's all. Oh, okay. 
you can drag you drag yourself you don't roll it's gonna take like 35 minutes you dra you're dragging yourself i just be uh, be behind the tree like it's just staring at me and following me right uh he turns his head and at a point when you're hidden behind the tree you hear in your head are you afraid of death i i just stop when that is happening uh, that uh, is being said are you afraid of dying? I am very afraid. I am not. No. You have more. You have more to lose than I do. I have almost nothing. That sounds like a good deal. When you have nothing and you give it up, then when you have a lot. Why is this instinct just making everyone push through. Maybe there's something broken inside you. At the moment, like if, if I see that I'm having this conversation, keeping it focused on something else, um, I will uh, try to mimic, to command Vaj to go away from me. Okay. Does it do so? Yeah. I'm gonna make you roll anyone handling right okay. now. No, it's charmed anyway, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay, um, as that happens, and I see Vasha, I, I extend the hand. <sighs> Come on, do, do a little something at least. Uh, bring Vash back to me. Please. Uh, I have nothing sure. else to give you. It's a 25. He turns his body and goes towards Vash that's just slithering very fast through the grass. Okay. He is leaving to catch it. Okay, I uh, do a hiss that uh, um, commands Vaj to go around, uh, to slither around me and trying to lead Vaj back this way. Just in order to see if I can get him to, to pass near me in any way. Okay. Um, after 20 minutes of uh, 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 snake chasing through the grass, Vaj turns and so does the storyteller. Is he actively chasing Vaj to the... But in a very slow pace, like he's taking his time, like all people do at the countryside. But he's not old, he's just taking his time. Okay. Um... As he is doing this, does he appear like his visage is focused on Vash, right? And not on the... He's not yeah. doing it like looking at me and going no, no, for no, like, no, no, you know, no. creepy, you know... The, the mask is facing Vash, yes. I understand. Okay. Um, I would like to look for an opportunity to grasp something off of him. Um, okay. He... of of him of... Yeah, you noticed he had some... Um, but it's not on him. It's, it was on on the where he 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 was standing. He has had a basket with a jar and the notebook that he left there. Oh, perfect! I go towards the the the, the things. Look quickly at the notebook and the jar. Do I notice anything there? Um. So there's the I jar. Try to be as fast as you know as I can. So there's the jar with a with a. A morse of a thing that is black, dark obsidian and moves in weird shapes. It's not not an object per se. It's inside the jar and sort of flows. And as you approach it, you get a a flash of um, well, it's more like a feeling that you had or a scent that you had when you were in the Chrono Sanctum. Okay, when we exited. Yeah, when you exited uh, Skamaka's uh, tomb, and you had like the, a the breeze. surge that we had. Yeah, yeah, like a like like a sort of a. It's different than power. It's more of a feeling. Okay, does the jar look sealed? It's sealed. It looks well sealed. I ingest the jar. Oh. Now, is is the uh, let me make, make an assumption here. Okay. Um, snakes have a very good uh, control of their uh, 
esophagus. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you know? So, so I would like to keep it. your jaw and just going to keep it here. I mean, Shaq can almost slow, swallow a manhole. That's yeah. how big the jaw can get. So I'm getting at the jaw. How big is the jaw? Okay, I'm going to allow it. Uh, it's this big. I'm going to allow this it. Big? Oh, just... easily. Like, yeah. my, no, no problem. And I would like to keep it, you know, not actually digest it, like keep it along the way some someplace. So before it reaches the yeah. acid bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it safely. Uh, <laughs> okay, D and D guys, you learn. The more you learn, the more you do. That's what uh, happens when you take away the powers, man. Yeah. Okay. So uh, after a while. Um, and I call after a while. I I, I crawl to a prey place near the. And I call Vash back. He was clearly a distraction for me to the jar. Okay. So Vash comes back, so does the storyteller, but your situation gets to the second level of, uh, of, uh, of worsening. And now you, you're dizzy, you sweat, you're trembling, breathing feels very, very hard, it stings everywhere. <laughs> you're so unable to control your body and your movement, and with the jar inside, it's also accelerating this bit, so you get trying to control you get to the second stage where you're trembling you can't hold your um, liquids inside uh, you're, you're you feel like you're just seconds before dying you're so aware of it that you feel that it's pressing upon your very being like this fear this dread this emotion and also the uselessness of your body something help me somehow do something I'm just here to be with you when you die uh, I, I take away Vash and can, can you at least give Put him away somewhere where he won't be trampled. No. Damn you to hell! I won't watch this going on and you mocking my death. There's no hell. What would I um, have replaced hell with? Uh, it's fine, you could say hell, it's a superstition. He's, he's communicating this to you, there's no hell. Okay, then, uh, sure, uh, let's go with that. All right, son of a bitch. This is the only warning you'll get. No long under! I know you're watching! Give me another chance, I won't be your... Your killer on command! Yorungandar! And you see him um, trying to reach in a state of semi hallucination, hallucination, reach his hands out and keeps speaking that over and over with a desperate voice. Okay, there's a very important role. You have to roll me a persuasion. Twenty, dirty. Okay, 20 was the DC, so you barely made it. Uh, so oh, Jesus, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a very deadly campaign. You're gonna keep finding out. Uh, so, you're sitting there. Stressed, I have And you're sitting there. And you feel death coming and taking everything you have. Your breath, your strength, your vision. And you're sitting there in blindness. And you hear the coil of something big, could be death itself. And you start hearing in your mind, Uruz! Which is, uh, not in your mind, out loud, which is the way that your Mungandar uh, communicates. Uruz Shalakashoka! Which means blessing of the flesh. And now you hear it in your mind, you get one more chance. Never disappoint me again, for there will be agony and loss greater than you felt today. Um, he crawls on top of your blinded body and he bites 
a big chunk of his his own egg, egg longed body and drops a piece in your mouth. It fells with blood and dark acre. And you taste it. Power never felt so good. It's it's greater than you ever felt before. And you start recovering your vision and your strength and your agility and you first glance left and right. There's no storyteller. It's only your Muganda, right? And Vaj. And you also get a level five of uh, the Devourer class that we developed mechanically together. Uh, and he continues with this. You're bound now to me and my immortality. You're just gonna get whatever I am in the mood for. Hardly a day from till than before. And the alternative is the uh, slow death. But fine, let's go with, with it that way. Why, before you go, at dawn, I feel different. I feel hungrier or more in power. Why is that happening? Because, as I said, you're bound to me and my hunger. It's part of my immortality and the achievement that I am offering you as well, if you keep the path. When I am hungry and I crave for strength and matter that is strong, you feel it too. And when I am full, you feel the great repercussions. Who's next? You're gonna know. Fine. You and the others. And he coils back. With this great... Uh, do I get a reply to the, the others? Sure, or just he, he sure, just... sure, sure. Where can I find another? You will know. Okay, looking at... At everything around me. Um... Shark has this really agitated state. I would like to look for any tracks of uh, a uh, uh, it's, storyteller, it's... if there are any to be. Okay, give me a investigation or perception. I'd rather we'll go for a perception. No, it's an eight. You look in the grass and you see no tracks. I understand. I bring out the jar. <laughs> you take out the jar? Mm hmm now it has, it's a bit corroded from the, um, from the bits of acid, but then inside it's... I you try to... I, I'll try to open it slowly and... Um, as you try to open it, it stings a bit. And it, it feels like it's trying to ch take something from you. Oh no, so I, I stop, I stop as soon as I feel any kind of threat to power. <laughs> okay. Just... You can give me an insight on yourself. Okay. On all the thing. Nice. Uh, it's a 22. Okay, with the 22, you feel that it's trying to drag something from you to open it, but you don't have that. Okay, I stash it. I, of course, no longer have my axes. Okay. Uh, well, if I don't see any tracks, um, I would like to uh, slowly walk away, and as I do so, I would like to uh, start searching through my pile of documents for things related to the Redlands, for things I would like to pass up as being uh, things who wrote in Orkish. I think Orkish is the language of the Redlands, correct? Okay, I would like to look for... The official one, yeah. The official one, yeah. I would like to pick up and see if I have any documents related to uh, patrol, patrols, transportation of uh, items, and um, anything that be militaristic in any kind of way. So, and I would mark them uh, with a signature, a very fancy signature uh, in Orkish that says Firebrand. Firebrand. Yes, Firebrand. Okay, you do that. And I, I keep them separately from my own 
stash. Yeah. Okay, you do that. I just make sure that it's, it's vague enough that what I have is that it, it, it would be like uh, something part of a greater document about uh, supplies and logistics. Yeah, you're walking. You're going go towards to Green Spring. Green Spring, yeah. Green Spring. And from midday, it's getting towards dusk. You don't know what day it is. You don't know how long you've been passed out. But it's bright outside. Vaj is happy. Um, you find a little little bit of food that you can feed him. You're researching your documents. And um, you get, right at, at the beginning of dawn, you get in front of the Mercury District with the open gates. Beginning of dawn. Yeah. So now we roll a d4. Yeah. To see what's in the mood your Mungander for. Yeah, it's a three. So um, it's business as usual. Business as usual. Um, and uh, it's, uh, I think this is morning, I'm sorry, I said dawn, right? It should be dusk, I'm sorry. Uh, dusk, dusk, it's the middle of dusk. Thank you guys with the lights. Yeah. Uh, it's the beginning of dusk, <laughs> it was midday and then it's dusk. And you're sitting there, do not know what to do. You, you're sitting there for a couple of hours because you don't have a mark, the mark of passing, the mark of accepting, acceptance, so you can get Mm -hmm. inside of green spring do have the moonstone though you have the moonstone but uh, that's not valuable uh, you you can use it to pass through districts at night correct um and you sit there for a couple of hours and you don't know what to do and mm. after a couple of hours uh, what do you do in a couple of hours i, I would say that i would have um been I, I would go towards the garden and try to haggle and explain that I lost my pass and that I clearly have a pass since I have a moonstone and I know how it works. But um, documents get lost and I can have someone. I no one is listening. Like they're they're very. Um, I'm not gonna even roll uptight. for it. They're very uptight because you look like you. <laughs> Uh, and it, that's obviously a, a lie. Like you either get the documents or you're, you're a human and you get a pass inside. Um, but a few hours, a one, two hours pass. I'm just and inspecting the city to see like alternative entrances. You you take around about yeah. four hours pass. It's almost the it's almost the middle of dusk, and you see some familiar, two familiar faces, galloping with the. Purple winged horse. Um, you see Jen, Pax, and two other dudes. One is. Uh, can you come, please, Leon? Describe your character, and as well as Castiel and the whole group. You're gonna see him then passing by. <laughs> and you're reunited. So what do they see? Uh, they, um would see this uh, midnight uh, blue uh, tinted uh, individual with uh, long ears, uh, short uh, cut uh, dark hair, uh, bright eye uh, pupils, um, a tattoo that resembles a moon that seems to be in the face that the moon is right now, jewelry that adorns uh, his ears that trail to the nose, a long coat that um, goes to the length of his whole body, a slender, uh, tall, athletic uh, figure with a very beautiful formal attire, and a violin that floats close to him. Uh, seen Pax before, but now he's looking only 90% amazing. Um, <laughs> There's a bit of loss of volume in the hair. There, there's some, there's some dirt on the armor. Uh, just, just. They're all covered in blood since you didn't shower. <laughs> Haggard yeah, uh, in his sorry. step, and yeah. Uh, besides all that, yeah, uh, lots of uh, specks of blood still visible uh, all over him. Oh, you see Jen with her heavy red crimson uh, hair cascading like a waterfall fall back and also she's covered in blood. Uh, her pale face is now stained with blood which makes her look like a all red person. What? Um, and you also see standing by Grace that uh, it's also looking also drenched in blood and she's very she's very tiny guys and she's standing beside the, the whole group you can barely see her and you also see a new 
charming person that looks very weird. Uh, Edward, can you please describe us how Cassian looks like? He looks tired. He looks hungry. He looks drenched in blood. He's a tall human, pale, with a long coat and a bandaged hand. He has an expression of boredom on his face, and uh, he doesn't pay you a second look. Well, it's the thing is that if I see you guys, like I rec recognize the two of you, and I see you galloping around, I uh, put <laughs> two fingers on each side and try to whistle as loudly and as as um, uh, distracting as possible, like to break the silence or whatever the background noise was in that moment. Okay. Just whistle. I, I cannot whistle IRL. I do not know how. No, there's something. I, 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 can, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. You know how some people can whistle to blow everyone's heads yeah. open? Where is he relative to the gate? Uh, very. I don't know. How relative are you to the gate? I am second cousin. doing some circles around <laughs> the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Sec <laughs> so just outside it? Or? Outside somewhere. Okay. Uh, how do you, does Shaq look like for um, uh, Leo and Cassian here, who never seen the, the dude? I'm also putting the portraits on uh, the group, so you can uh, see each other. Awesome. Um, actually, you know, before, when I notice them, the first thing I do, um, Shaq La Shaq, which is a uh, humanoid that looks to be really, really skinny, but every <laughs> fiber of muscle is really visible on him. Uh, he looks like someone with 0% body fat and his expression is that of a, of a, mm, of a dead-eyed look that just uh, sees past through you. He also has this big jaw that is partially hidden by the only item of uh, apparel that he's wearing on top, which is a poncho that's partially covering his face. But before I actually whistle, the first thing that I do, me being clean at this point, is... Um, Swiftly, like I, I cut myself a bit with a dagger and I move my hand away from the wound and uh, blood comes, comes spurting out. And, and then I drench myself in blood from head to toe as if I were after a battle. And, and then they see you doing this? No, it's before they, they okay. notice me. Like, I, 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 I understood that they are going somewhere <laughs> and I notice them okay. before they notice me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna allow you to roll perception, but it's gonna be a DCS 25. Just a question, is this before you whistle or before, after? Before, before. Before, 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 before I whistle. We're doing a bit of a red perception, yeah. DC 25. Can I just not notice him? Yeah. I wouldn't pay him any mind. 25. Jen sees this, but mm -hmm. you're not aware of it, so okay. let's Perfect. gonna do no, this. That, that's what happens. 18 plus. 18 plus? No. Plus 100. <laughs> because uh, it's night, right? I'm fine. Uh, no, it's dusk. So I'm f ah, okay. Dusk. Don't you have disadvantage in dusk? Oh, it's I wrote that. It's 18. Oh, it's dusk. So that's I, 19 total, but... Hey, I don't think... And that. I have it midday. <coughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> Okay, well then you see it and I don't know, but I do this first. I literally splatter myself with blood before I do this. I whistle loudly. And you see each other. What do you guys do? Is that the... Uh... Is that Shaq La Shaq? Is that a shifter? That's a homeless person. No, that's our friend. Uh, what? Uh, acquaintance. Detect thoughts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Detect thoughts. You go through targeting. Uh, before I... Uh, and you also have to surface. be in range. Yeah. Oh, it's first the surface thoughts the and surface. then digging deeper. Okay. I think it's uh, 30 feet. Well, then I'll wait for a little of bit thoughts. of... Um, um, so I, what I will say is I will activate the tech thoughts, but since it's like a minute, right? I will wait for certain uh, moments in the conversation to tap into the surface thoughts. Okay. The last one. I think you get those, the surface thoughts, I think you get automatically at all yeah. times. Yeah. And, and you then choose, if, you, you, if you choose, you can focus and try to, yeah. but the person knows, knows that. Yeah. yeah. Well, right now I'm just like... Scanning everyone's. Well, what uh, what Leo is hoping is that the conversation reaches a point where we ask the question like, "How did you get to this point?" And then I will go to the surface talk to see. Him. Uh, so. so you meet. There's an awkward silence. 
Ah, so we do meet. Yeah. What do you guys do? We should stop next to him. Mm, good afternoon, Monsieur Rashak. It's not time for that. I have committed a grave mistake. I am to assume that the two of you are within the the group. Are uh, they to be trusted? Uh, well, they are, but um. As uh, well as you, I mean. Uh, I want to very quickly use Vita Scry to look at the two of them. Tell me if you have any kind of abnormal anatomy, <laughs> internal wounds, ingested <laughs> items. Can I can see you as if I were look at you with, through an MRI scan. Um, oh boy. <laughs> everything? Yes, everything. everything. I'm sorry. You see that the man that has the coat uh, has a skeletal hand. So it's covered. Yeah, but the hand is skeletal, yeah. and it appears to be like something... Uh... And you feel necrosis. <laughs> yeah, all over him. Specifically powerful from this, the hand that's being... So wrapped. everything inside, it looks like as if he were decayed or dead. Inside, no. The hand itself looks decayed. There is no flesh covering it, and if there is... You can also see the necrosis slightly going up his arm from under the bandages, and you would see that the coat itself is... Made he of, can't see that. He, he can't? Is it a living organism? Not okay. quite. Life, um, you can give hints. Depends. You so, can give hints. So the thing is, if it's living, you it would, has to be you would see it's made of flesh, but you wouldn't necessarily know whether it's living or not. Okay, but I would register as being Yes, flesh. you would register flesh, bone, guts, sinew, everything in the coat. Okay, interesting. Uh, Leo? Uh, you would see around the base of the neck. First area. of all, he's very old, but well preserved. You're? Yes, I am. 438 years old. I don't think I would be able to see that more. Maybe okay. that you he's kind of old, like yeah, aging. Kind of old, like around 500. You can see you know, <laughs> circles, like yeah. when you cut a tree, yeah, yeah, like 400. Yeah. Oh, I'm guessing I could see signs of aging, but you know, aging is different for humans yeah. and elves, I assume, right? Yeah, he looks impeccable, okay. but you can sense that it's old matter. Okay. Fresh old matter. Uh, and at the base of the neck, you see a big I don't know how you would um, see it, but what the information that you would get is a big trauma around the neck. Like a, a fatal wound. A fatal wound that actually okay. knock, usually knocks out a person like couple. And okay, the, something that I would see. A bit of silver inside, yeah. sealing you it. See a uh, silver okay. lining on, on it. Um, what does this look like? And then like? the other one. The other does one. Have oh, to? yes. And on the chest, <laughs> you see a fresher uh, uh, trauma uh, wound. Similar to one on the neck, but on the neck you see that it's old. Mm -hmm. This one is fresh, like one or two, one or two days fresh. When you do this, Vita, are yeah. the gestures or like anything? Yeah, um, the gesture, there's no particular gesture itself, mm -hmm. but you do see like for a moment that I'm focusing on something that it looks weird and my eyes become a bit bloodshot. Detect thoughts, what is he thinking about? Uh, he's thinking about... What are your... Matter, matter, what are you made of? Are you strong, are you weak? Why? Why do are you alive? What makes you alive? You are why? making. It's 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 like a connection. Yeah. Trying to figure out why you are alive, and for him, how many is he inside? Do the others know? Do the others know that you look like this? <laughs> Thou art playing a game. I am quite used to. You are gathering information. Yes. yes. How trustworthy is this fellow? Uh, I would give him a forty percent. <laughs> I have. Zero, if not negative, indications of trustworthiness. But alas, you've gone through something hard. Where is Gregory? Yeah, more friends of yours. <laughs> it's a human. This one you would like. I doubt so. Where <laughs> you, I, I, when I look at you, you see me that I spend extra time looking at your hand as you're moving it. No, okay, I guess that you don't really give a fuck, but you do if see that you, you're... If uh, Castell would see you staring here... I would, I, you would see me staring at your hand as you're moving it, and uh, like you, intently. You would stare back at you, and eventually you will say, See anything you like, Mutt? Oh, I this one. I, I have made a mistake. Where's Gregory Shack? 
is here. Here, uh, nearby, uh, and uh, Genevieve starts uh, yelling. Ah, can this Gregory? Stop? <laughs> He's dead. Gregory is dead. Hey! Uh, no. How, what? Why? A human that You managed to kill Gregory? I did. No, that's the truth. I did. I did kill Gregory. Well... I have very little to show for it. But Pax. And I put uh, in front of Pax. Be mindful stack. of the camera. <laughs> oh, that always happens. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put into Pax's hands um, some documents that uh, look to be in very bad shape and have multiple uh, marks of, um, of a struggle, as if you were, you were grasping at a, at a dossier and just getting a few pages. And furl them? Okay, but do you... Can Pax read Orkish? Uh, no. I no. can read Orkish. Let's, I, I believe you do. Let me just check. Because you're well read and a diplomat, so you should. Um, you don't. It's he, a luminite language. I mean, you can plastic. if you're familiar with luminite language. I'm not, that, that's I'm not, what I mean. I'm yeah. He refused to do so in diplomatic yeah, school. Skip. Okay. Uh, if you'd like a translator, but in his CV, it's uh, it's there. Oh, oh it's I that have kind the of accreditation. <laughs> I have level C in Orkish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, why do that? Sorry, uh, you hear a message in your head. I have 15 more minutes of getting inside his head for vital information. If you have something that you want to get out to the truth, put a question now. You mean seconds? Seconds. No, I mean seconds. Yeah. Oh, you, are, you are telepathic or is it me message? message the yeah. ca if it's message the spell, I can see you doing it. I, I, I am putting my uh, hand like this, looking at... I, yeah, you're, we are yeah, face yeah, to face. I, I could know. tell you're doing messaging. Yeah, yeah. but we are not. You should roll. Do you recognize messaging itself? Cause it's I a, recognize him whispering something and covering it. Because he... Does he do? Is that so? Basically, you I'm gonna to resolve this. You, you're not familiar with magic. You see him doing okay. something that you assume it's magic, and you hear this in your head. You see him like I'm trying. Right something. here. And is the answer also whispered? And he, no, I don't even whisper it. An you also hear it in your mind. Like message works in inside your mind. I don't even whisper. Uh, and Let me why? Explain. And why is it you have killed Gregory? It's not my intention to do so. I'm pushing so remember. You're pushing deep? I'm deep. pushing the limit. Okay, uh, DC how much? Uh, it's uh, 13. 13. On, it was not my intention to do so? When he says that? Uh, when you the put the question, okay. uh, the moment I just what actually happened to Gregory, and I felt the urge of thoughts coming, I just... Okay, so you feel. Is it magic? Yeah, you feel a surge of magic. You have resistance, so you roll oh with advantage. God. And you have to pass a 13. Can I silver rebarb that? I mean, if you want to. It's, it's not. I don't think that's how it yeah, works. Let me just yeah. check. I think it's about upon casting a spell, you can do silvery barbs, right? Uh, if I cast you it, magically spell. Dis distract so the triggering so creature. And it's a reaction. Uncertainty into encouragement for another. You, you have to reroll a d20 and use the lower roll. He can do that, actually. I'm gonna allow so, it. So, okay, how, how much that, did you have? My, I, I have two rolls. I have because I roll yeah. with this advan with advantage. With advantage. How much is it? Let me just check. So, the for you at home, what's happening? It's an intense moment. Uh, he says, uh, "What did the Shaq say?" Uh, it was not my intention to do it so. It was not my intention Gregory. to do so. Moment in which Leo decides to peer through and uh, read his thoughts. And Shaq, uh, what does Shaq do? Shaq tries to, to resist this uh, level of magic that's surging through him. You want the uh, resistant to magic, and he is. Uh, how much? So, how do we do this mechanic? So, normally no, I roll. I'm, I'm not writing it. How much is it? It's, I don't know which role to pick. That's why I'm advantage. 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 advantage twice. It means advantage advantage twice. Twice. The, the first one advantage. I had a 19, yeah. and then I roll again. And, yeah. and if this is low. And this is going to fail it. Okay. This so, new advantage is going to fail it. So the first one, uh, he reacts to it, he seals it with his uh, scales, and he's like, this seal sort of uh, blood and flash. 
and uh, you try to gesture something and it's, it's more of like uh, yell and I say speak <laughs> and when, when that happens it just pierces uh, to your mind and when I feel you trying to do that I rush you and I push you away like really really hard From like the- thanks for the intervene uh, before that happens, do I get the info of the doubts? Uh, yes, what do you think when you hear... Uh, uh, I, uh, when, I, I, when I say that it was not my intention to do so, Yeah, and if you want a deeper understanding, like... I didn't want, I didn't want to do it. I, I didn't want it to end like this. Okay. And I Is that know. deep enough information? Uh, Does this satisfy you? I, you know? Of course not. And you also <laughs> also I know look, that I, I have look. seen Gregory die. And you see, Gre- okay. I've seen him. I you so are I certain see a flash image where Gregory is swollen, swollen by a great by a uh, snake. Snake, yeah. Would it cover the fact that it was swollen by the, the snake, or my certainty that he is dead? I am asking the DM here. Is it specifically big snake or that or just death? Uh, you, you know what you can disc- you you see Gregory swollen by something you can't see a snake necessarily okay. you see it swollen by something let's keep it fair uh, and you hear uh, the thoughts that he didn't meant for him to end like this and before um, uh, the chancellor tries to go deeper you just barge him and that breaks his what uh, are you doing I, I want to push you as if you know like uh, push you and fly off three meters away thanks wants to get in okay, between i also want to get in between okay uh, we're, at this point we're gonna roll initiative oh so God. we're gonna go in order um oh, right. so 20 so, or 25 to 20. may i uh, do i get the advantage because they weren't aware of what i was trying to do uh the pushing happened this is for after like you uh, push him i did not want to follow up Yes, but they do. Okay. So why we want to take them we, in? We want to prevent the pushing, like yeah. if it's okay. Yeah. How much? Tw- so 12. twelve. Nine. Nine. Twelve. Nineteen. How much? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Wow. And twenty-two. Twenty-two. Wow. So we have nineteen. Uh, uh, Shack. 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 Nineteen. Uh, twelve. Uh, so we have Pax, Leo, Shack, uh, Jen. And Castillo. Castillo with an eye. I'm, I'm with an eye. Ah, uh, the other way around. Castillo, Castillo. with an eye. And like Jen. An cool! Pax! So Held action to protect Leo. Okay. Uh, Leo. Uh, I see you do not like when somebody enters your privacy. I've learned from a friend here, and he looks at Castillo for a split second, <laughs> that some people value their privacy. You looked deeper into me and one of my brethren, and I did not appreciate that. Shaq, what do you do on your turn? Um, Shaq, well, I mean, after he pushes, he does not appear to be in any kind of ready stance to continue anything. He just stays, looks at you. Smart. Good. Now we know the limits. And we also know something else about each other. May we continue this conversation civilized? Of course. Excuse me. Excuse me. Why did you no. kill Gregory? I did not kill Gregory myself. I have led him in a situation that has almost gotten both ourselves killed. Uh, and see? before this continues, uh, Jen, you wanted to do something in Castillo? Sorry. I wanted to protect uh, the uh, Leo. Yeah. Okay. So you also protect Leo. So I'm gonna put myself between Leo and Shaq. Okay. I'm guessing that both quickly. of you are. Uh, Gate. Gate. Seal. Sentinels. <laughs> Just. Uh... Now that they both apologize, it doesn't seem imminent anymore. Okay. Um, Just. Okay. Do you want us to do something? I want to take an apple out of my ration bag, start peeling it, start peeling it, and just mutter under my breath. Fucking savages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love this. Next. <laughs> Coming back to your your discussion. Oh, I have led him in a situation that has gotten him killed. Myself as well. <laughs> what you hold there are the documents of some Luminites. Do you read Turkish? Uh, uh, if you give me ten minutes, I can. I uh, I can read Turkish. I'm very mm. good at it. Meanwhile. 
judging by the looks of it, it seems like requisitions and supplies. I only got a few of them. Back to the death. Killed <coughs> in the forest. What by does it say? An ambush that we failed during our fight in the central market. When you saw in the mirror, how deeply did you look at your adversary? How much did you see what was behind him in the image? Didn't notice anything in the image for the one second it showed up. I did. I did notice an uh, inkwell placed next to a map of Green Spring. Right there, northeast in the forest, there was an X. And inkwell being nearby, you don't keep inkwells near the places of importance that it might be spilled upon. That was something that they were going to do. Let's I go to Gregory. I am getting to it. I have asked Gregory during the night where you saw us missing to go and investigate. No, it's because I knew you would not grant me any kind of pass. Every time we interacted, and you have mentioned that the path to the city will follow along shortly, you made a special notice towards myself that you were being sarcastic about actually giving myself a pass. I wanted to prove you that even a savage nature can have a bit of usage. You, you wanted to prove that my mistrusting you and asking you to coordinate with what the others are doing will be disproven by going off into the night and acting alone. This was your reason. I have not acted alone. I have taken Gregory with me and there is no proof I have that this was a good idea except for if you can find anything in the documents I have snatched while we were fighting the people that actually were there at the location. Um. As I go through the documents, what uh, do they say? What do they say? They are a bunch of um, lists of uh, military equipment, supplies, moving from city to city that um, if you are familiar with the geography of the Redlands, you would know there are real cities that are mentioned there. You're not familiar with the... It's names of uh, cities that sound luminous. I have, because I have favorite enemy orcs, I have intelligence check to recall information about them. <laughs> orcs, but not, uh, not the cities. Like, would you know about the, the cities? Maybe. You know, orcish cities, yeah. are they? Okay. There's, Is there strictly orcish? There's a mention of Deji. I'm gonna pull off my big DM documents now. <laughs> uh, the ones that are 400 pages long. We can keep listening to Shaka while you yeah. pull that up. Okay. I wanted to bring some solid proof that this can be done, you know, in a different way than by law and by allowing the market to be blown up. You identified what is a likely enemy outpost and decided to go scout it alone without coordination with your team. Yes? Yes. To prove to us that uh, you can be trusted. You chose to prove that you can be trusted by working without telling anyone. Yes, of course I've done that. You've shown me that you were not ready to trust me either way, given by the cooperation method we have gone through initially. And your attempt has gotten Mercy, I was the Thank person you. you took along dead. Yes. And myself nearly so. What's the date on the documents? Are they dated? Yeah, they're dated. They're dated, uh, no, they're redacted. <laughs> they have dates. If they didn't have dates, they are dated. They are dated for... Uh, um, weeks, months. And wh what? which calendar? Hmm? And which calendar? Good question. Would I have known anything? I mean, what calendar would um, the Redlands people would would use? They keep a different calendar than Green Spring. Okay, so it, it would uh, be the equivalent of time that I've learned that passed by, but in Luminite years. Years, yeah. So it's uh, eight thousand. Um, uh, uh, it's it's eight, 18,000 hundred there. <laughs> Okay. 
Uh, can I tell that has been uh, redacted or has been forged? Uh, investigation and you're gonna have to pass uh, 20. I am proficient with calligraphers. Cal calligraphers okay, you know supplies. what? You roll me, okay. uh, uh, me a forgery. It's a deception and you can add your pr proficiency. And wh what am I rolling? Intelligence? Yeah. Okay, investigation. Yeah. investigation. Okay, 19. so it's a deception. Mm -hmm. 17 plus, plus 5 plus, plus another. Yeah, I'm already proficient, so I get expertise in this case. Okay. So it's plus 5 plus 3, it's a 25. 25. 19. I should have given you expertise. So they look legit. You are pretty sure you did a good job at reading them. Um, do I recall uh, information as this being legitimate? Yeah. Uh, there are a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, mentions about the Orkish capital, one of the capital of the the, the Red Lands have two capitals, uh, Germas, which is known as the hot place, or in Orkelvesh Kuptorul, uh, which is very popular there. Or uh, Ramidava, which is the other capital, is the more holistic one, the one that speaks to the deity. Uh, and uh, there's mentions of uh, both of them. And uh, mechanically speaking, I, from my background, I have a feature specifically for history about the Redlands, in which I have advantage on roles related to history about the Redlands. So, uh, so it's as, a, <laughs> so really as, tight. as I'm reading yeah. this, I point uh, to Pax. I think what he's telling is the true truth. Uh, look, this is uh, Ramidava, and this is the date. Uh, this means is the equivalent of. Uh, so, who did you encounter of... there, Shak? Soldiers with similar emblems of those that were in the marketplace. The one that went. Uh, did I see any soldiers in the flesh or vision, or did I see just a huge shape? Shape just. Uh, just a like, darkness following Gregory. You're not even sure like it was a what snake it was. or something. It's darkness, just something but swallowing. But it wouldn't be like uh, many individuals. It's just no, it's just regular. swallowing. It, it's, it could be like you would have interpreted, I think, in a more religious thing. Death swallowing Gregory. Oh, fuck. May I intervene for a bit? I would like to remind you that we're on a tight schedule. And we have quite a lot of preparations we need to do for tomorrow. So I'd say we speed things along. You want to know whether your Gregory friend died and why? Let's just summon him. If uh, I look, check to Grace, if this sounds... Uh... Uh, sure, if you have his body, it's the day of the Sabbath, so we get the blessing. Tomorrow is the day of the Sabbath, we get the blessing and he can speak to us. Nothing left of his body that I know of. He was dragged through a portal. Portals. But Fiery portal. edges. Convenient. And as they were killing me, and uh, I also unveil the fact that I am really heavily wounded and I have like a lot of very, very fresh scars of battle, mm. I managed to slip off with what I gather to be 20% of the contents of the purse that was attached to the one attacking me. So you slept for three days? No. It's been I've, five days since he's missing. I have been five crawling days. to the forest for five days. Oh. Why would you not tell us where you are going in your message? Well, truth be told, I wouldn't tell you either. Maybe he's just like privacy. Maybe he just likes privacy. He arrived to this city from a different place and time five days ago. I had more confidence in my abilities and that of, of Gregory. But why I did not you expect not tell us? We have gone on a secret mission to prove our worthiness. Well, it's like his, idiots, just the two of us. It's his decision to do whatever. Me, I'm used to people just doing these fucking humans have dome and uh, Lucius, oh, we're going away, uh, uh, leaving you to die. This one, uh, Gregory as well. I don't give a fuck. We'll take him, him with us or no? He can die for all I care. I can... I don't see... He, also, he left, he left, I uh, found something that might be also useful on them. I unveil a jar. It's a jar. <laughs> oh god, a jar. <laughs> with something, <laughs> with something <laughs> very interesting inside it. Is you, it jam? It's not jam, it's a, um, it's a mass. It's a this form mass. It sort of looks like the density of Shifty, but it doesn't have a face or anything. It's just forming and reforming. Liquid? And it has, you're not sure. Mm. 
Interesting. That is the one thing you've this, brought up that actually um, piques my interest. This is something I snatched out of one that escaped me. Can I have it for a moment? Watch your touching of it, and I, 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 I hand it to you, and you see that I'm uncomfortable while holding it. It's not. Uh, it's something. It's it's as if I were, you know, something too hot or too cold or just has a bad texture. Um, Cassio will grab it. He would try to detect magic on it. Uh, do you grab it by the? By the jar, the glass jar. Okay. Uh, when you cast detect magic of it on it, it takes ten minutes. Yeah, I'll do a ritual casting. Okay. You sit there in front of. Uh, you guys can. Yeah. And uh, you, you start uh, detecting magic and it flashes your eyes, it burns. It doesn't point to a certain, it's very weird. But it's definitely magical. It's magic, but it doesn't point to uh, uh, a school, a school or something, or, something like or a color. It just flashes, you're not even sure what color it is. You know like in this world you have the yeah, color, color, color. Yeah, it's that color. Um, Greenish, yellow, purple. Does it look fleshy? No. Like inside, now that you inspect it, is an amorphous object of dark indigo. Not the when you cast the detect uh, detect magic on it, but itself, it's an amorphous object. Just flows inside with dark indigo and a weird density. No clear shape, just movement, and it's like it's levitating inside this jar. This is quite interesting. You see, you found this on some orcs. It would connect the followers. So these were not orcs I have encountered. These None were humans. Whatever you have encountered, this thing is raw magic, or at least has a raw magical signature. What? Whatever school may have been used to create it, it's long, long past. I'd like to hold on to it for a while. I need to see what it is. Um, and as you like as you point it and pass it by, you, me, and uh, Shaq, both of you get a flash of something like a feeling, like a wind. A flash of something that reminds you of the Chrono Sanctum, the moment you exited Paolo Scamacca's uh, grave. I, of course, remember the feeling, and, but I have chosen not to Can divulge anything. Can we open anything. the jar? Open the jar. Sorry, I opened the jar. When you put, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's when not you put your yours, hand... it's his. Exactly, that's what I want to say. Okay, sorry, I got carried away. Have it back. Open the jar. If you wish to. But Here's I, I, me learning to trust you. And I, this missive man, right? I hand you the jar. I, hand, I take the jar, and because I'm scared of touching it, I will take my face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a little chime around my neck, and I will touch it against my forearm, and it will emanate this clear sound, like a small humming to open mm. the jar. Okay. That, Press the digitation, happens. open. Uh, nothing happens. It doesn't open? What do you want? Uh, open the, the jar with it. It's the uh, chime of opening. Did you put uh, spell slots in it? I think the chime of opening it has charges. It has ten charges. I don't need. Oh, them. okay. With have the chime of chime I remember opening. Now. The, the chime of opening opens the lid. It just explodes, and the weird blob just uh, flies outside. It's something that reminds you of Shifty, but not really. It's also drapey. It's also a void, but it's also matter. It's also light, and it sort of inflates. Inflate. Inflate. Get down. And it explodes <laughs> and oh splashes you. Oh. It's uh, okay. <laughs> I am crazy. It splashes you all. Um, As your skin is and you, okay. you have like sludges of that sort of matter that uh, drape on your skin and it's get, it gets absorbed. With you, with you, with you, apart from Shaq who has magic resistance and in general it falls off. Elemental magic that's 
and now you have a level up. You're all level five. It. Congratulations. Oh God. You feel what, the you feel the power. What does it feel like, though? You feel the power. It's sort of like a wind coming from within, accessing something that you shouldn't have access to. It's widening your mind. It's widening your senses, and it lets you innately find new spells. And you can level up on anything that's magical. Okay, uh, well, this, magical cast. After this happens, uh, Castiel will crumble to the f- ground and start yelling while grabbing his. Uh, bad this hand. He heals in pain. And um, if you, you is I that will constant. I will reactivate it. I can. Yes, use the you see that the the rod is spreading. Okay, then um, I will keep myself pointed at you as you do this. Um, as all of this new information and experience just washes over Leo, just grabs his uh, head and blood just starts pouring from the nose and from the ears because the brain is trying to um, uh, calculate and deal with a lot of information that was just hit in front of him and he just grabs his head and says, what have you done? It seems like a bad time to point it out, but uh, as he's finished absorbing, Pax goes from hot to gorgeous as his charisma becomes 20. <laughs> well, everybody else seems to be struggling uh, with so this. He's like is, is checking drew, himself out a little bit the, in the back. Shine of the shield. <laughs> um, <laughs> as, uh, as Jen opened the jar magically with the chime, she stands there outstretched, welcoming the splash. And she, you see her muscles tra- starting to grow. She's getting like super tough and like she flexes. Like, <laughs> that's, that's also my thinking. Did you? Yeah, still starts bleeding from his eyes. Oh. oh, that's nasty, man. Why can't you level up in the morning? <laughs> uh, we don't know he's leveling up. He seems to just be yeah. suffering. Uh, Grace is also helping with the healing. Grace is flashing for a second. Uh, star color, a uh, star texture comes back to normal. I actually want to go to Castiel and look at him like very closely, whisper. They know. Do you touch him? Yeah. Uh, you see that magic starts channeling from his other hand, and the one thing he manages to actually coherently form is get the fuck off me, you fucking mongo. <laughs> uh, Pax would also try to touch and heal. Is the same that- response. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to be touched, and he's very aggressive about this. Okay. Is Grace touching? Mm-hmm. Do Lace Gra- Do Grace you- is. He will let Grace touch him. Uh, Grace uh, channels Mooney, and she's gonna heal you through Mooney. Okay, as you a... see this very cute, minute grif- gra- gri- griffon, is oui. griffin. griffin, the tiniest griffin with uh, a body of amethyst and stars inside it, with big bulging eyes that <laughs> uh, heals and touches uh, uh, Castiel. Shock is like this. <laughs> Hold it better, the sounds for the griffin. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Castile would be healed by uh, the critter. He will eventually rise up, he will clear part of it, the blood coming from his eyes, and he will cast a spell on one of his hands. If there are any magic casters that would uh, be able to discern this type of spell, they would know it is gentle repose. Oh, oh, the uh, repose, I da, see. Does anything with inside him? Uh, you know who change. would know this? You see that the rot stops. The rot stops. Okay. Uh, I will not know this. You know, I think you know gentle repose. No, Paladin. Mm-hmm. You, me? Yeah. You know gentle repose. Uh, I am for I know, I know feeling the uh, spirit. No gentle gentle. Okay, it's fine. No one no one apart from someone knows it. Karina knows it, but okay. I'm a dork. Uh, oh. but certainly are wasting time. What 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 just happened? Did you know this was gonna happen? Did you know yes. this was gonna happen? I knew it. It was the same feeling we had when we are hopeless in the Chrono Sanctum and when we emerge victorious out of the tomb. Genevieve, did you know you were putting a substance in us? I know we were about to get empowered. I know we were about to get blessed by Obscure or by Lumino, but whatever uh, seven abdoms uh, you pray to. Genevieve, but... 
I'm more, you don't subject people to this sort of thing without asking them. Uh, he said after he took us to a trial to be retinue. Willingly. Willingly. Asked you, invited you. Okay, invited give you back the power, leave. huh? Trial? I would gladly do <laughs> it if I can, but from now on, this is not going to happen without my consent. I have serious consent problems in this. I have just uh, taken my jar and done all of this. Uh, for... Grace is putting her hand on her shoulder and she says, but you have also to consider that they're coming from a different age where consent didn't really exist, right? Yeah, it wasn't invented 400 fucking 50 years ago, asking or common fucking courtesy. And it doesn't matter, you're angry in Spain now? Well, I opened it because I thought I would get the benefits, not all of you, but... Uh, more yeah. care, more care in the future. Um, next time I will open the jar in secret. How <laughs> about next time when we see a magical goo, we don't just, you know, throw the jar on the fucking ground and see. Maybe we get better, or maybe it ends the world in a mass of magic. I'm if sorry you... that you don't know magic like I do. I knew it would get us better. Uh, why have you not you said it? It was my property. Hey, will you give it to me? You said see your investigation. Your whole story is I knew I would do something good, but I told no one. I'm only telling you after the fact that I knew. You are doing the exact same thing, only gradually. Are we gonna stand here screaming or now we gonna go home and eat because Shut. I'm very hungry? Here's how this is looking. Uh, I will honor you with the only thing I can honor you, which is honesty. Uh, well, I hold some appreciation for your operation, which needs to be looked into when there will be time to see who these people are, where where they are, the remains of their Gregory. So many things need to be checked out about your story. But more importantly, I do not trust you in this city with what I know right now. And frankly, uh, Monsieur Castile and uh, Mademoiselle Genevieve are flying with me tomorrow. And quite frankly, I simply do not trust you unsupervised. So unless either Grace or Leo is willing to be a permanent chaperone to you until we have a better understanding of what you are and what you do, uh, I'm afraid I will not take you into the city. So discuss with them, pitch them if you, if you think this may work. I, I look um, no, one eyebrow raised at Leo. He smells good. Hmm? Mm -hmm. He smells good. <laughs> as he has. A, Does he see powerful? A, as, he, as he has a strong, strong matter. Oh. Yeah. Not only does he smell good, but he also smells good. Yeah. yeah. What, what about me? Do I smell good? And also Jen. Like, in this, is in, it's something about. It's in this order. In your usual uh, taste. It's, it's Leo, it's Jen, it's half, half uh, packs. And then there's Grace that smells totally different, but also like you didn't try uh, crayfish or sort of like self shellfish oh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. a long time. It smells different. But it's Would different. I be, you know, smart enough to actually realize the fact that I am feeling um, the alignment of uh, of uh, different individuals towards matter or spirit? Would Shark realize? I mean, me, Raish realize. Uh, give me this an concept. intelligence. Okay, let's see. Oh, fuck yeah, it's a 22. So with a 22, you realize that what you smell is strong matter in both of this, in, in all four of these individuals. Just uh, gray smells different, and Leo is the strongest, like it's the matter the most endured in mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I'm matured. Like yeah. Matured, perfect. Smoke mature need. Uh, but you also realize that uh, these are the only chances that you have in the city. I know, I, I was looking towards Leo, like... As uh, people in higher places are wont to do, decision falls onto the Chancellor to... <laughs> Permanently with you. Permanently. He, he just got a companion killed and I would need you watching him permanently. For how long? I promised to be uh, interested. Permanently. Until we so evaluate him to be either trustworthy or to be removed from the city. I am willing to uh, permanently watch over him until you finish with the trial and all of these situations that we are in, and then Very well. I have other. Tuesday at five, huh? <laughs> Hopefully, by then we'll either have a verdict or, worst case, we uh, assign another chaperone. 
Merci. So, you look at the sky and the situation is as it follows. There is uh, four more hours until the dusk period, the six hours of uh, dusk are gone. And we go into midnight. There's three hours when we reach from Venori's day to Saturni day, which is zero, zero, 100 hours, uh, basically. And you go into uh, Saturni or Sabate, which is the day of the dead, the uh, fifth day of the week. And then you have three hours until dawn. So in total, there's a 10 hour period. What do you do? You have to move swiftly. Okay. And you're also tired and hungry. We have been planning, discussing uh, through, during our trip through the forest. We have lined up some things. Um, I will need your help, Jen. And I do not say this lightly, as you have quite literally brought me great pain not two minutes ago. I will require your help for tomorrow. Um, I will need you to cook something for me. Sure, what, what do you need cook, cooking? A lot of meat. A lot of meat? Mm. What kind of meat? How, Start for your boo-boo. How well done? Can it be raw and bloodied? I would like it in a stew, preferably. And, and I'll have some special ingredients I'll ask you to put, I'll ask you to put to it. But it is going to be a lengthy process. Well, okay, then I'll see you at my uh, tavern. No, I need to, I need to do it at home. I come to your place to cook? Yes. Okay. But your stove is shit. It is what it is. You can make a fire in the court. Mm. Pax, I'll need something from you as well. Mm. I need a barding. Well, that's easy enough. A what? A barding. What's a barding? A barding is something you put on a horse. Okay. But will that not make our flight heavier? It doesn't have to be armored. I need something to cover... To cover something up. I know. It cannot I know. be seen. I understand. I understand the need. Also, um, I wanted to propose something to you, Um Maybe, if you don't want to go alone on uh, your flying horse, uh, you, I can be your trick up your sleeve, or uh, maybe your trick uh, in the tapestry, if you catch my drift. Um, I have a magic item in which I can uh, jump onto, it's a tapestry. It carries uh, almost uh, 120 grams, it's very light. And because of my uh, strong nature, I don't need to breathe. So you can uh, make use of that and bring me with you and uh, in times of need, or just poke me out of the tapestry. Oui, you will be flying with me. Shako's really close to, to Leo. Oh, my chaperone. <laughs> Michael of the camera. What are we doing here exactly? We are uh, going to find a way to help our next coming king. Our next coming okay. king, who might that be? <laughs> it's me. Please don't tell me. And I look at Pax. I will not tell thee. <laughs> um, uh, Pax, um, since uh, thou left me with this precious cargo, uh, I will uh, search around uh, the city for info about different um, dealings uh, regarding the coming uh, race, and hopefully, with the help of Adam, we can boost your success. Please get in touch with Adam and Kate. Uh, coordinate with them to find either things that can help our takeoff or things that can counter <laughs> enemy interventions. We will do our best, says Shark as he's uh, hugging uh, Leo, like really close and... Uh... Consent. Consent. And he takes his hand and puts it around. I take out Shark's mark and give it to Leo. This stays with you. Okay. To see him into the city when needed. Uh, what should I do? Uh, sh asks Grace in a corner. You can tell um, Kate that uh, Gregory is dead. I don't want to tell her that news, huh? Maybe it's uh, better to postpone it after the race. We need everyone on their best shape. 
They're going to join us as we plan. Is it correct that I'm assuming that you are choosing the next leader of this fantastic kingdom based on a race? It's trying to have them choose itself, yes. Three marriage trials for the the trial of the thorns and thrones. We we choose our Mary Tronarch that has merit and legitimate blood. I see. So the first is a race. What are the other two? We're gonna find out. After. After. Besides on this. The astrals. Also, choice is a bit of a strong word. Choice would imply that any of us have, uh, you know, a part to play. Or at least the people in the city have. This is more like, um, competition. There is no choice involved. Competition between the ones that have been chosen already that they can participate in it. Exactly. Hmm. The system isn't as open as you describe it. Oh, I have no knowledge of the system. I am just merely trying to put ends together to what you have communicated since we have rejoined our efforts. And I'm merely informing you. But one Appreciate more thing. Pax, I'd like you to pick me up from somewhere down the road. The city will not be kind to what I'm about to do. Plus, you'd have an easier time. So we will have two takeoffs. The first takeoff when I leave and a second takeoff when I... I will already be in the air. Uh, you don't need the uh, humaness to get in the air? I need her to fly. I don't need her to get in the air. If you're sure. Yes. Um, don't forget to tie a rope to her. Mm-hmm. It's all but certain we will have time for me to catch you up. Um, Please yes. do. This so, is highly confusing. Um, check. Um, and uh, Leo uh, goes uh, closer to Jen, grabs both of her, of, of her hands and says, I need you to come back. I'm 100% gonna come back. I always come back, even after 400 years, huh? And she winks. I need you to stay alive. They say that time is the charm. I hope not in your case. I hope not as well, my lady. And uh, he grabs your hand a little bit firmer, then let's go. And I, I don't want to spoil the moment, but we should all understand it is not 100%. Shh. I am quite uh, sure. You are spoiling the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before that, Leo just starts uh, writing uh, magical letters. As he says, this is gonna take paperwork so <laughs> hard and start to do uh, business. Be ready to present uh, his mark at the gate. Uh, yep, yep. What business are you doing? So, you're entering the gate before you answer the answer. We answer that answer. You're entering the gate. It's 10 hours till the, the first light of dawn uh, and then uh, 7 hours till midnight. Uh, um, and as you're entering, what are you doing with the purple Pegasus? What do you mean? What? <laughs> There's a purple Pegasus. <laughs> Pegasus. Did you see him in the background? Yeah. Oh, it's a purple Pegasus. It's a large, beautiful creature. I pet it. <laughs> I, uh, I tried. <laughs> Regarding humanness. You're not painted I this. <laughs> would very much like for her to be safe in this endeavor. Once this is over, I'd like to uh, stable her somewhere close. Bien sûr, but uh, do you not wish to be with her until tomorrow? That would help things. Yes. Yes, you can pick and pick her up from my place tomorrow. I will be ready at the spring of Saturni, uh, so you can leave her off. Okay. Um, In before dawn. Be there before yeah, dawn. Yeah, yeah. That's going to help things tremendously. Okay, so you're taking humanness with you at, the, at, the, uh, at your uh, place, which is Clementine's potions and tonics. I just want one second. And with I'm Bucks. also apparently going there. And you're... Uh, before I, I go there, I'd like to visit some shops. I okay, some... me too. We're gonna come back to go you. So you're a group with humanness now, you two. I wanted to uh, just approach uh, Bax and uh, Bax. I point out the flaw in your uh, calculated logic regarding 
uh, people and your preconceptions. You are just being told by this individual, I am to assume you know for less than five days. I am, am I correct in assuming that? Which one? Uh, the one that is uh, bleeding out of his eyes. Monsieur Castile, yes. The one that has uh, the coat that you have uh, probably noticed with having a bit I more... I try not to notice things about you... Monsieur Castile. <laughs> I see. I just want to point out your... Uh, and, and, uh, maybe I'm just the affinity to humans. There's so much more than it meets the eye. Yet you are just fixated on me. I want, wish to just to point know it out as few of Monsieur Castile's eyes as possible. I know there is many of them, very likely, and I wish to see as few of them as possible. Uh, I am pointing out the hypocrisy in your trust allowance. I count you simply as a person outside of my city. Uh, I count him as a person inside my city, but also as a person removed from humanity long ago, uh, despite his affinities. The remark, I would have wanted to say the same. I would not count him as a person. A person he surely is. Mm. Uh, I rights and citizenship. Look a bit deeper. By all agents, he have observed him. Uh, despite the how disgusting we may find, he looks to Grace. Uh, all he does, uh, his impact has been positive upon the people in his life. Fantastic! I trust you. We can continue to make the right calls. And I your impact on the... so far has been to get your ally killed to leave your party without notice. So you have a lot of catch up to play. Fight alongside you in the massacre that was at the market. But let and, us focus and, on the negatives. And you've recovered the Luminite Intel, which we will see how uh, actionable is. The balance is active. And as you're having this discussion, you're very aware how time is ticking. And I want to know how, how you spread into groups. So you're with Shaq. Yeah, so hopefully meeting up with Adam. Okay, hopefully trying to meet up with yeah. Adam. Adam, your? Uh, Grace, help me with some shopping. Sure, we're gonna do some shopping. So it's three groups now. And we're gonna return with the three groups and their endeavors after the break. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. I can eat Tara. You're a weirdo. Like and subscribe, dear viewer. Like and subscribe. Not that I wish to imply you've been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a break than viewers. But all our efforts on this channel would have gone to waste. Unless, well, let's just say your moment to like our videos has come again. The right viewer in the right place can make all the difference in the world. So subscribe, dear viewer. Subscribe and grow this channel. So, liked our ads because we're back uh, with more uh, Vampire English and uh, Vim, the Tale of Mortality. We left off as uh, our adventurers were at the gate of Greenspring, uh, trying to enter, and they were making plans. Shoot, what are you guys doing? Uh, I will uh, go first then. Um, Leo will uh, take a uh, shack with him, will present at the entrance the mark of acceptance. Uh, probably don't they, uh, don't they? <laughs> they won't uh, uh, bat an eye since they see that it's uh, uh, Chancellor. Uh, um, they bow curtly. 
uh, and as they continue to walk he uh, doesn't look behind what he says uh, this is how events will transpire you are my apprentice if anyone asks uh, try not to speak until spoken to and do not make me think it was a mistake I can call half the district to skin your life and none would be the wiser um, as uh, this happens Truly noted as this happens he continues to write um, three different letters in one of them you would see uh, I would actually <laughs> copy you as you write your own letters mm -hmm. I'll stand by and copy exactly the same thing as you're writing on my okay. own uh, parchment uh, two of them you see that they are meant for like um, maintenance of the district like the water supplies the food supplies where you house this type of persons and where they are uh, sent then you see one that talks about an armor and it uh, says meet me at Fire Firefly Park and it signs Talara as um, we move through uh, the district he will reach uh, Firefly Park and Talara is there uh, sitting very quietly and uh, she, she bows very uh, without any of, 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 of the grace and uh, she's very um, shaky and she says me lord as uh, Acquaint as ever, and he takes the uh, briefcase, um, goes inside the Firefly uh, Inn. He asks you to stay there and not move. I, I will. I, I, when you try to go away from that, I want to catch your hand. Before anything, uh, he's still uh, dirty, right? Uh, from the fight, right? What do I? Dirty, yeah. They fought, right? They have yeah. blood. He is dirty as they come. Okay. Okay, as I, I grab your hand, I, I move my hand, uh, I point my hand at you, and you see that the blood stains that you have, only the blood stains, they fade away. Uh, I was... If you are in a position to give orders like that, left and right, perhaps your panache will be enhanced by some cleanliness. So okay. an attentive apprentice. Huh? So attentive. I just need to follow, right? Uh, would Luna is the cantrip work now? Um, the one with the beam that comes and, and cleans six? everything. Yeah. You you would you would it could have worked it could work but you know that Venori is is not very fond of cleaning in general. There's a lot of superstitions about that. Of course. Or about someone from the hebdomadic order cleaning okay um then he will stop recalculate his uh, decision um we will go uh, to my manor we will uh, stay there the night and then we will reconvene with one of my associates so what are we doing specifically or is that too much of a question for practices mm. Let me see. Mm. We are going to help a friend. Is that enough for you, Sir Shack? Oh, sure. I, I'm <laughs> just tagging along for the interest of all. Let's help a friend. Um, awakening a different kind of uh, magic that he uh, hasn't um, uh, fully mastered, he. Uh, his eyes will glow brightly and the uh, moon tattoo will shine as well as he will cast sending and direct it towards Adam and Adam will hear in his head the following uh, Adam, the success of Pax is important I want to aid him in his following trial meet me on the morrow at the Firefly Pack Inn Okay, and what you hear back is the following. You move a little bit. No. Yeah. <laughs> and Adam pops in his head and says. And says, see, um, first recognizing quickly that the spell, um, you, the response you get, it's in a more weakened voice than his normal vitality. And uh, he says, um, we uncovered that the queen has stolen high tier spells from the Herdomads. We have been captured and taken somewhere that is not the deep pit prison. 
Oh my god. You do you comment it? Do you com comment on that loudly or is it just No no. Um Okay. Um I Oh, I still have a third level spell slot. Um, can I set another setting? Definitely, you may use your spells uh, you however you like. You see um, the Chancellor just stop. And his eyes glaze again and says, Can you confirm me a clearer location so that I might try to aid you? We were blindfolded during the travel. It definitely took us a day almost to get to our location. Sorry, I can't tell more. And with that, you have no longer uh, a third level spell slots mm -hmm. and no means to uh, okay. contact Adam. Thank you, Adam. And, uh, thank you for uh, the session, <laughs> guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you move back. <laughs> Max <Mad> deck. <laughs> okay. Uh... With that new information, uh, the Chancellor would look at Talara, uh, not towards her. Uh, she knows that that means just follow and don't speak. And says, let's go to the manor. I have a lot to ponder. Uh, Talara, make sure once we get to the manor, our guest here is prepare the room. And the snake broke, sir. Yes. Yes, uh, my lord. Yes. Talara is a... Uh... It's an elf. It's an elf. It's a moon elf. I just nod towards her. Should we prepare a nest, sir? My lord? Would you prepare a nest? A nest? What kind of room, a normal room you would use for what? You heard it, Alara. A normal room. You heard it? If you have writing instruments, <laughs> I would also like a set of those. I'm sure it, are it knows how to write, sir. He is quite uh, intelligent, Lara. He likes to uh, spread uh, mistrust between friends, so don't listen to him too much. Yes, sir. Uh, My lord. And um, he goes holding the um, glamorous stud leather that he ordered in his um, uh, hands and goes to the manor. Do I notice the fact that your heartbeat got elevated by any kind of source? Uh, after the w conversation? Yeah, after would it the, actually yeah. be like you being very anxious? And could I tell that? I suppose so. Like, I, I mean, Shaq has nothing to do right now. He's just literally uh, sitting there. And may I add that your thingy was you have, you feel fear no more. Yes, but this is not fear, it's like... Um, anxiety. Anxiety it's the same thing. is... Hmm? It's the same thing. Is it the same thing? Yeah, anxiety and fear. Okay, then... If not, uh, then? No, there's okay. nothing. It's like, I'm just gonna go and storm the yeah. castle now. Uh, what you also note is, uh, even when he spoke of this, uh, after the new information, and after he said uh, a little bit, his face and the way he speaks still remain cold. Like, no emotion. <laughs> could penetrate that. Even if he was scared or if he was happy, it's the same. Sure. No. I get it. In that case, nothing happens. Well then, we have a long day ahead of us. Um, let's hope the others will deal better with what information they will find. And you reach the manor and we're gonna leave it there as the other group. Uh, Jen. We need meat. A of lot course. of it. Um, let's go through that street and try some shopping. Fine. You go and get the meat. I also need bones. Okay. A lot of them. Won't you come with me? To... I will stay outside with the winged horse. Okay, and we meet at... Uh, we rendezvous at your place. I will be literally outside the shop, Jen. I can't walk with the horse inside the shop. I'm just asking where we meet. I'm gonna wait for you to get the meat, then I'm gonna hopefully get to visit some shops of my own, <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to uh, to the castle to leave, uh, leave Humanus. Then we're gonna go to my place. I'm confused. If you want to get straight to cooking, sure, but I need to prepare some ingredients 
before you get to it. Won't we go shopping together? Yes. Okay. But you go inside the shop, and I stay with the giant winged horse oh, outside. Oh, I get it now. Okay. So we are uh, on the street, no? Walking and talking. Okay. Right now? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go here at um, uh, Jean's Butchery. I'm gonna go. Good talk. Uh, bonjour. Hello. Uh, I would like uh, some meat with a lot of bones or cow carcasses, pig. How much? Uh, a lot, maybe like uh, 30 kilos. Pierre! And here comes a uh, half elf that packs uh, 30 kilograms of cow carcasses, a uh, horse head, uh, some um, some uh, goats, half goats, uh, a half a pig. A bit of lamb also. Yeah, half a pig uh, and uh, some some the, the front side, uh, so that's, legs of uh, lamb. So that's half a, more than half a pig. It's like 50 kilos, okay. 50 kilos. 50, okay. okay, merci. Um, um, how much? Um, 74 gold pieces, uh, says Pierre. Gonna go, I do not have 74 gold pieces. Thank you. Come back. Take the solis gold. pieces, I'm sorry. I'm taking all the solis, the, the meat. Um, and I uh, just, How many kilos did you get? 50. 50? Yes. That's good. I, I can walk with yeah. that. Um, as um, we're walking, as we're walking, uh, I imagine we're gonna pass by a um, smith's or an armory or something like that. I'm gonna go here in here a little bit, hold the bleeding meat. Just put the meat on the ground. It smells terrible. Um, I'm, you shouldn't. You... This from the butchers. It should be fresh. Uh, it, it carcasses usually smell terrible. It's fresh, but it smells like well, carcasses. You should get something from me. What? I need like. Three vials of oil and ball bearings, about a thousand. And you stop in front of uh, Martis's uh, brawling supplies, and it's a red man with anger, with veins popping in his head. He says, he says yes. Um, I'm in need of a sturdy shield and a powerful weapon. What about, uh, and as I browse, I say, what about that uh, Warhammer over there? It's good. Um, per I Perfect. Can you give me that? Mm, and as she inspected, she says, oh, she, it looks uh, just like the meat mallet uh, I use back home to make uh, escalope, uh, valvoisienne. Huh. I used to me make uh, meat uh, mallet uh, out of humans with that. <laughs> Sexy. Mm. You try to do that too. And I wink. <laughs> okay, um, how much for that shield and this? Uh, 25 solis pieces. Oh no, 125 solis pieces. 25. It is 25. 25 solis pieces. This is lady. Is you still from... on the label? <laughs> okay, I, um, I got a little bit hit in the head. I can tell. It's uh, for Martis. <laughs> yes, Martis. Uh, au revoir, monsieur. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna go next door shop to find the vials of oil and uh, the ball... Ball bearings. Ball bearings. Uh, you also wrap that very fast. There, there's an old lady called Tamara. She sells it to you I'm gonna at half a price. I'm gonna pick Because some. she's dying. <laughs> Wait, uh, are we gonna skip the whole bit with Tamara dying? I mean. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna also pick some seasoning like ginger, rosemary, basil. This and that's from a different yeah, shop. Yeah. You also pick that. Yeah. So we're well, yeah. with a lot of bags. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's the Martis district, and uh, Tamara is one of the hospice. Uh, that doesn't matter. I uh, went too much into the character. So you go next and you do all the we shopping. Did shopping. Yeah, and what do you do next? Um, we're gonna go. I'm carrying everything as this man just goes along with the horse. Oh yeah, I, I, I don't. With the horse, you're bringing the horse in, uh, yeah, in the we're city. Going with the horse. Too. Everybody's staring at it. There's a huge crowd just. 
Uh, is Jen carrying the meat besides the horse and he's on the horse? <laughs> no, I'm not even on the horse. I'm, I'm on the just horse. dragging the horse along. <laughs> Old spice. <laughs> the meat, the oil, the warhammer, and the ship. Yeah. And, and he's carrying the horse. And there's a queue of children and uh, curious people that keep asking, Is this for for Prince Evander? Is this for Prince Finian? Is this for Prince Philip? I like Prince Philip, he's small. Castiel <laughs> like uh, will essentially ignore everyone that tries to talk to him. Can if I touch your horse, He will Mr. get very snappy if someone gets near the horse, to the point of almost causing a scene and risking the guards coming along. Uh, but throughout the time that he will be with the horse, he's gonna pet it, but he's gonna look at it relatively sad. And once we will eventually reach the courts uh, of the royal district, uh, Castiel will ask Gajen to please stay back. I need a few minutes with the. Uh, of course. Minutes. I'm gonna sit here with all the meat and the carcasses. And... Good. People are good. glancing at you, you're a weird uh, couple of people. You're a fine, fine apprentice. I'm not your apprentice out there, you sir. If That's anything, official internship term. If anything, <laughs> I'm uh, your cook and I expect uh, payment for it. Yeah, I will just deduce the cost of my destroyed familiar from this. Uh, and I will go with the horse and do the stables. I will let uh, the guards there know that this is the property of uh, Prince Evander and um, that they should treat it as such. Um, whilst doing that, I will get in, put humanness into, a, into the stables uh, and I'll make sure there's no one around. I'll start talking to, to it. I'll, Cassie will say that uh, it is a shame. But some things must be done as they should be. There is no way around this. But on his knees, next to the horse, he will fetch a rope from his backpack and he's gonna tie his hand, his uh, bandage hand. He's gonna tie it really fucking tight to his body uh, to the point that where he's not bandaged, you can s blood specks will start appearing. Uh, then, he's gonna start praying. He will first pray to Venoris, and he will ask her for forgiveness. He will ask her to forgive him for something he's about to do, and he will ask her to understand that this is important for the trial at hand. He will then go around the horse with his hand still tied to it, and start plucking things from it. He will pluck a few feathers from her wings, he'll cut a few hairs from her tail um, to get a bit of saliva from it and as when you, he's done with all that As you start doing this, a couple of crows fly by, they start shitting on you <laughs> that doesn't Why? mind this uh, Then he's gonna fetch a knife and he'll get close to the horse and while his, the hand that's holding the knife is trembling, the other one is going to start twitching frantically. Um, it's twitching and it's trying to reach yeah, the horse. Yeah, it's trying to reach the horse and going against the, the ropes. While his hands are trembling, he will make a small incision, uh, completely staring the horse in, into her eyes and saying, I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. <laughs> he and starts crying. I know and a bit of blood that will come out, not much, but enough to fill a small flask of, of uh, grass. He then heals the horse, leaving no trace of what was done, including uh, I don't know, uh, brushing up her feathers and doing everything like that. And before you do that, a mouse passes and starts beating at your leg. He's gonna sigh, he's gonna fetch, some meat from his uh, backpack, throw it on the ground, throw it something for the crows. They come back and shit on you more. And he's gonna look at the horse and say, this was necessary, I'm sorry. <laughs> As he's in the stable. He's gonna leave afterwards. The uh, and he's gonna untie his hand. So uh, the hand does one last twitch towards the horse. I... 
I will know I'm far enough away so that it doesn't manage to reach it. It's just uh, crawl, crawling and um, clawing in the air. As he's in the stables and Jen waits outside with the carcasses, <clears throat> and the moment he cuts the horse, she smells fresh blood and a bit of saliva starts drooling. Okay, so you leave the horse there. Yes. Um, I know that Pax is gonna expect the horse here. So hopefully, maybe he will wait for him a few minutes before leaving to make sure that the horse stays there. So you're waiting for Pax or are you yeah. leaving? Depending on garage, there might be people ready okay, to Okay, so we are left in that moment. I'm gonna make a decision. Pax, coming back to you. What were you doing in this time? Guys, we have uh, eight things we need to get done by uh, trial tomorrow. Little things. What eight things? Eight things. One, we need to see uh, Lady Thor, who is something of a uh, political action committee for uh, our little oh, campaign. The, the one that looked very angry at us at the uh, uh, garden party, right? Lady Thor. She was not glad with the manners of some of the party, but uh, she is... Uh, an honor of a member of this team, effectively, because we need budgeting for the other points I, I will go through, uh, funding which I simply do not have. Uh, number two, we need to see what magical means we may purchase to accelerate the uh, humanness and the uh, flying party. Thirdly, we need to um, discuss with uh, friends of mine to keep watch over humanness over the night so that it is not... Uh, she is not... Um, taken in the night or any such such people I deeply trust to do this. Fourth, we must get the uh, cloth full body barding that uh, Castile needs. Uh, fifthly, we should see if we can get any sort of magic or devices against uh, accidents that may happen for us in the air for falling down. Uh, number six, we should uh, get to the uh, castle and uh, check on the stabling of the hawks that my friends Ozzy and uh, Claudius have uh, have the hawks and everything is in good order. Ozzy is a knight friend of mine uh, in the diplomacy corps. Uh, Claudius is an obscurite. You might have seen him at the uh, meetings. Um, I know them both. Excellent. Uh, I need to prepare the, the good elven craft armor for the next day. Seven, we should probably have a uh, good night makeout for the good luck the next day. She blushes. And eight, <laughs> I think we should uh, in the morning be there about uh, an hour before dawn to prepare everything and receive everything. Uh, what about the midnight mass and sleeping? Sleeping is between point seven and eight. And one half an hour hmm? I mean you have so many items on your list well what is it you can cover half these plus the whole short uh, sure um, you can go search for finding uh, for founding and I can go try to talk with Ozzy and uh, Klaus and then maybe try but I'm not gonna buy them I'm just gonna try to find some I means. talk to Lady Cora, you talk to the two of them, then we can meet and I can pass you what money I've obtained. I, I don't think I need money. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be very honest with you, I don't think I need money for this and I'm gonna be fast. Don't upset people. She just borrows. <laughs> it looks really bad if whatever we get done, we get I done I promise with. you, no one will know it's gonna be me. Don't steal shit. I'm exactly, this is exactly, expeditiously what I'm trying to tell you, I'm gonna steal shit. But from whom? It's my business. Mm. Chaperone. Do you think people, this, who, is it somebody who deserves being stolen from? Yes. Everybody deserves being stolen from. Ah, I don't know what I think about this side of you. Pax's watch disappears. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, Pax, uh, Prince Evander, it's very confusing. So, um, maybe 
you should trust me on this one because we don't have a lot of time. Uh, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I, I will. You accepted the letters, the flying letters, if you want more of that sort. I will validate your uh, trust by uh, not uh, making a case out of this. Bon. Let us. Uh, so we're gonna meet at the stables in an hour? Uh, do you want to meet at the stables after I do the shopping or go to the shopping together? I mean, after you do the shopping. Then about two hours. Two so hours. And I'm going to talk with Ozzy and uh, Klaus yes. to be there yeah. in uh, two hours. Cool. Yes, that is approximately when... Uh, do you wait the... one hour more? Yes, I need the barding. Okay, so you wait one hour more. At this point, we're at, uh, you had 10 hours until uh, first light of dusk, we're at uh, eight. But I can send Jen home to do the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what about her, but what about her character? <laughs> uh, Jen, I will need to wait for Pax. Uh, can you get started with... The massive amounts of food that we need to prepare. Yeah, sure. Please. It would be my utmost pleasure. I will ask something more of you. Oh, there's more. Mm. I need you to put a bit of your blood in it. My blood? Why? Because, Jen, you have a special kind of blood. I don't have blood. Who told you I have blood? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever vitae you possess, sip, slip some of it into it. And I mean this, it is of paramount importance. I would not. As I check why he wants my blood. Is her blood looking anything? You're not there, so it doesn't matter. I, I can give you, I can just, you don't have to roll anything, he will be honest. Red. Yeah, red blood. Uh, he believes that uh, your blood, given your nature and your condition, is a powerful conduit. Uh, okay, but. Uh... This is quiproquo. I will come back for you for favors. If you ask me so many stuff, cook for me, cook for me now, give your blood in it, blah, 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 and your sweat and tears. Cook for the old man. Nothing if not a man of business. Okay. But I never asked you to cook for the old man. I'm going to do that pro bono. I never, please don't. He's gonna get used to it. He is already used to it. Once you tasted Genevieve's cooking, uh, you're addicted. We'll see about that tomorrow. Uh, so you wait there. You uh, go. you go start cooking. I'm gonna run as you, fast as you I can. You run. <clears throat> do you wanna rapidly and very rapidly if, uh, tell me what you're gonna do in the next hours? Uh, so in the next hours, I'm gonna cook for the old man something like sandwiches, paninis. What mm -hmm. I cooked for him last time, and then I'm gonna do something for myself. I'm gonna mix to mix together flour and ginger and cinnamon and baking soda and a bit of butter, brown sugar, molasses and an egg. And I'm gonna mix it together and start uh, uh, rolling out the dough and cut it. And this will take a long, long time to cut it. Very. Timmy is there watching. Very. I'm gonna explain to Timmy. And now we make the head. <laughs> and now we make the head and the little arms. And then we're gonna bake. And then we're gonna decorate it with Timmy as well. He makes one that's very crooked. <laughs> like, no, I'm correcting it. Yeah, fuck it, Timmy like, had one job. <laughs> no, it's like, oh, we're gonna put the gum drops here. And oh, it's so nice when you hold my hands. <laughs> okay, and then... Uh, <laughs> do you wanna be my mommy? I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, uh, start on the stew. I'm gonna trim and cut uh, all the meats into a uh, bite size. Uh, shapes, uh, leaving uh, the fat separately for flavor. I'm gonna season the meat with salt, pepper and all the seasoning. <coughs> I'm gonna sear in the bones under a, a big pot and I'm gonna start, to, you know, shimmering it with aromatic herbs and all that, starting on the stew. Cool. So you take do this in the next hours. Yeah. Uh, one more thing. Uh, while uh, Castiel is gonna be waiting for uh, Pax's man, he's gonna be writing a letter. Okay. Do you want to write it out loud or, yeah. or just to me? Cool. Uh, coming back to Pax. What are you doing, Pax? Uh, 
first stop is talking to Lady Thorn for budget. Uh, you roll me a percentile die to see how well it goes. Uh, 60. 16. With a 16. 60. 60. Okay, with a 60, you find her at her apartment. Uh, she welcomes you inside. Uh, she says that she cannot be seen doing a lot of favors, but then she slips you a pouch with uh, 400 gold pieces. I give her a quick update of what's going on and what the money's needed for, thank her, and on my way. Uh, she uh, gently uh, pulls your arm and kisses you on the, the cheek before you leave, and she says, um, Don't forget about me once you've made, made king. You are expected in council. I hope not just there. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, oh, she lets you leave. Off to shopping. Shopping. Uh, what do you buy? I'm not doing all the shops anymore, guys. Yeah. What do you buy? Are the shopkeepers uh, okay? Magic for acceleration, thanks to the effect of long strider scrolls or similar. Okay, you can buy a long strider scroll with uh, fifty gold pieces. Uh, uh, Solis pieces. Or also several. Or several. How many do you want to buy? First, I, I, I'd like to quickly check on the other things. Uh, just a full cloth covering for a horse. Okay. One. That's uh, 10 gold pieces. Solis pieces. Okay. And if anybody has anything to the effect of anti fall down device, magical or, or otherwise. Uh, roll a percentile that die that's going to be very high. You, have, you need Better a fall. 9. Uh, okay. nine Further uh, 93. 93, you find something. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you find a parachute. <laughs> <laughs> you, like a you, find, you find um, you find a device. Uh, it's sort of like an armor um, that uh, lets you cast levitate uh, three times. Levitate. Does mm -hmm. would levitate slow down a fall? No. Yeah, you can if you cast it. Levitate. You would be suspended you in air. You would be suspended in air, but you can you can down. you have control. <laughs> okay. Uh, how you can much go piece? forward or backwards? It's, it's, it's a wearable thing. Yeah. How much a piece? Um, it's. Six hundred. Well, let me just check this. It's, uh, soul pieces. One thousand gold pieces. pieces. One thousand yeah. soul pieces. Okay. Uh, anything cheaper? Um, you can buy a, a feather fall scroll for uh, five. Uh, 15? Fifteen. Probably. Fifteen. Fifteen gold pieces. Fifteen or fifty. 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 Okay. So soul pieces. Going to grab. Uh, Two feather fall scrolls and four long feather scrolls. There's just one, one feather fall scroll. Oh. That's an error. And uh, are there five long strider scrolls? Yes. Five long strider scrolls and one feather fall scroll. Okay. Um, and then reconvene with. Uh, with Grace, go to the stables to both uh, see if Claudius and Ozzy are there to receive the guardianship uh, of the horse. You meet with Grace and Claudius <laughs> and Ozzy at the entry in the royal domain, and then you go there and meet Cassio. I introduce you to a knightly older gentleman and another half-elf uh, who will be uh, guards for the night to uh, Humanus. He's gonna look at the two. Make sure the horse is well kept, otherwise I will have your heads. I need the barding, do you have it? Thick stack of cloth. Okay, time is of the essence, I must move. Make sure the horse is well. See you an hour before dawn? No, no, I'll be outside. I'll give you... How do I know where to... I'll give you a location and a map. Bon. Très bien. You're gonna meet me there. Specifically. I'm gonna be pretty easy to spot. Bon. Okay. Um, Castiel is then gonna go home to check on Jen. Okay, Jen is in the uh, Vri of cooking. 
She is cooking. I'm she... putting now the, the vegetables. I'm peeling uh, potatoes with Timmy. Yellow potato peeling song. Keep. <laughs> you, you don't peel potatoes, you clean them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wash them. <laughs> yeah, he washes them and he says, Oh, I did a mistake. I am supposed to wash the hands on Venori. She says, I'm gonna die. And she, she starts crying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna uh, pat his hands with the towel. I mean, look, it's dry now. I'm gonna start putting some mud on them. Look, it's like it never when, happened. When you come home, uh, Timmy rushes towards you, hugs you and says, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, we're all gonna die, child. <laughs> we're all gonna die, child. I'm gonna die today! Doubtful. You're not gonna die! What's the, sh- what's the superstition again if you wash your hands? If I didn't, I, you, you, you will clean for one second, I put the muddy back. This is so stupid. Jen. What? Leave the child alone, focus on the cooking. I'm focused. Oh, it says, he checks uh, some scribbling. It says, I'm being, gonna be denied shelter. Please don't throw me away. It's your house now, too, child. Okay. Yay. And he starts beating potatoes again, cleaning potatoes again. I'm gonna have to leave you there for a bit. It's okay. Okay, Castor I'm, will. Go. I'm not very big on your company, to be honest. Not many people are. You're kind of rude and annoying. Yes, thank you for noticing. Mm. <laughs> um, is gonna go to Clement. Mm-hmm. He's eating a panini. <laughs> He's gonna sigh. He's gonna say, old man, we need to talk. Oh, okay. And he takes out a letter from his coat, hands it to the other, to Clement. Don't open it now, don't open it now, it's sealed. This is to be opened if I'm not back within 10 days. You and the child should both read it. Do not open it before that, otherwise... You're gonna die? Probably, yeah. Good. I would like my work to still be kept. So in case I die, there are some instructions there. Also, Mm -hmm. instructions that should help the boy get up to speed and tending the shop. Okay? He sighs, deeply affected, and he says, Good! Good that you're gonna die. I'm getting sick of you. This woman, this redhead woman cooks better. I hope you're not gonna die too. I hope you die as well before me. <laughs> get, uh, get outside of my house. And he's angry now. He's uh, tearing a little bit and throws a book at you. Uh, he spits next to the old man and he goes down. He's gonna go down. <laughs> he's now gonna go down to the basement. Uh, where he will start preparing a concoction. Uh, he's gonna get the blood that he's taken from the Pegas. He's gonna mix it with the saliva and various other uh, <coughs> potions that he has in his laboratory. Uh, then he's gonna get some sort of a leather buckle. He's gonna bite into it. He's gonna pick out the knife. He's gonna put his bandage hat on the table. And he's gonna slide the knife, cutting the tip of one of his fingers. <laughs> It fails and it starts wriggling. Uh, he will then take the wriggling finger. By the way, it doesn't hurt at all. Interesting. Uh, he will wrap his bandages up. He's going to cast mending on them. Uh, he will take the finger. He's going to grind it into dust. And then he's going to add it to the same concoction. But then he's going to come to Jen. <laughs> he's going to hand you this. Just... What is that? That is... <laughs> My addition to the mix. Uh, Special well, sauce. <laughs> we are doing this together. What, is, what you're going to ruin uh, my stew, huh? Your stew is but the means to an end. Make sure that after you put this, do not taste it or else you will die. <laughs> if you're gonna put stuff into it, I'm not gonna taste it because you're gonna uh, make my stew shit, but uh, okay, take it here. Uh, as and she bits her finger, she's bleeding a bit, and we look and doing the favors, remember, plural. Uh, as the vial gets emptied, mm. uh, you hear a slight uh, moan as the liquid starts mm. going down. Mm. <laughs> look, it likes my blood, apparently. Expected. Is that enough? Uh, yes. Okay. 
Don't taste It's the... my finger. I kiss my finger. Okay. I made a boo boo. <laughs> uh, he's gonna grab your hand and he's gonna cast cure wounds on it. <laughs> okay. So three it's hours. Uh, <laughs> seven hours left. Just so you know. I'm gonna go take a shower and uh, go to sleep. Okay. This is done. I'm gonna put the uh, lid on it. Should I? No, no. <laughs> I need to be alone for this. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna take my cookies. Uh, au revoir. Can I have one cookie, please? Okay. You also go low in voice when you hear me. It's very funny. I know. <laughs> uh, he starts eating. Tell me, go to your room. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. Tell me, go to your room now. I hope you talk. Okay, we're not playing a game anymore. Tell me, you're gonna get uh, two temporary HP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but okay, and he leaves. <laughs> okay, bye. You have such a sweet child. I know. Where's the mother? She doesn't have one. He doesn't have one. Oh, okay. It's, it's like uh, <laughs> the abominations you made, but you made a beautiful one. Huh? Out of not, your pocket. It's not mine. It's not my flesh and blood. Okay, uh, I don't care anymore. This is the basic. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go leave. <laughs> okay, once Genevieve has left. Where do you leave? I'm going home to sleep and shower. And then you present yourself. Where at the meeting point? At okay, the when? Point. In eight so hours. One hour before. Okay. Uh, dawn, no? At the fountain of. Uh, Youth. You, spring. No, spring. Fountain of spring. One hour before dawn, fountain of spring. Got it. Uh, after Genevieve has left, after Timmy has gone to his room, after uh, Castile has made sure that Clement's uh, room, the door to his room is uh, shut. Uh, he's gonna go to the kitchen where the huge, essentially, uh, buckets of uh, stew are. He's gonna look at them, he's gonna sigh. Uh, he's gonna start casting some magic and his eyes are gonna get purple. And from his coat, multiple eye eyes are gonna start popping up. As the eyes pop up, Alongside them, many, both big and small mouths start popping up as well. Uh, and Castiel proceeds to both eat the stew with his yeah, mouth and his coat's mouth. And it's gonna be a grueling process because he's gonna probably start puking several times, but he's gonna have to force himself to eat it all. Including uh, the puke? Oh. Everything. After he's done, he's gonna get a cut. He's gonna go outside to the point where he told Pax he's gonna meet him. He's gonna pitch a tent and he's gonna go to sleep. <laughs> what kind of tent? <laughs> this seems so calculated. It is. Oh my god. He is calculated. Okay, cool. And you do go and to I will the wake up roughly <laughs> half an hour before uh, our meeting. Me, I will be supposed to meet Pax. And we'll get down to that when we get up. Okay. Meanwhile, Leo in the room. <laughs> uh, going back to Jen uh, in the room. To so you meet meet uh, with Ozzy and Grace after Castia leaves, and we're gonna go back to you guys in a Jiffy. Pax. Uh, Pax simply thanks Ozzy and Claudius <clears throat> for for uh, watching over humans. Explains why it's so important. Uh, how how attacks are actually likely, so they should be armed and vigilant. Uh, how they can call for reinforcements if they need to. Um, they call now for reinforcement. They're now eight men guarding the horse. That they trust. Much appreciated. Uh, and they said, uh, the Ozzy says, you can be vigilant enough these days. Hopefully this, this is all for, for change. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, walks out of the stables with Grace. Uh, so would you like to uh, make out uh, before you go stealing or after you go stealing? Um, I, I already stole something. That was fast. I'm very fast. You are hard. <laughs> Do I wish to know what it is, or is it um, best I don't? <laughs> uh, she hands you a small, um, a small box. 
and it has uh, and you open it and it has a ring inside this is very fast this is, um, this is it's <laughs> <laughs> it's i mean it's it's not I, it's for you but it's I don't know. I mean, I don't um, want... It, you, look, it's something... You have something of the demeanor of a widow, but... Very no, dangerous. It's not, it's, not, it's not for you. It's not for you. It's not in that sense. It's it, It's for your protection. Pax, I'm very serious. People die in this trial. You remember last time I, in the first round, half of them died. Which is why you shouldn't become a widow, yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I, jokes aside... This is very sweet. Um, uh, it, I mean, it's the thing that you required. It's something that won't let you die if you fall. What about Castile? Uh, this, I, you, you could share it. <laughs> Can I? I don't know how it works. If you put it on your finger, it's gonna let you levitate and fall slowly. Perhaps 30. even catch him if needed. Yeah, yeah. Mom. I I don't know if catching it, but sure. This is excellent. Thank you. And then um, I have this, and she hands you a scroll with the lesser restoration. Très <coughs> bon. This can also come in most probably. This will be with Castile. As some of the other scrolls I got, I showed. You could keep those, keep those to Castile, and keep this one to yourself. The the ring, or or the other way around. I don't care. Thank you. Yeah. Pulls her in close. Hmm. He pulls her in close. Uh, kisses her softly. Um. Tries to. Um. Tries to, and then she pulls off a bit, and then leans inside and says, "This is very confusing." Um. It's very unwise what we're doing. I literally might die. Tomorrow. She starts kissing you, passionate and, and intense, and she says, I know. After it, pretty traumatic what I'm doing to you if I do die, though. Not, not, not very, not very. Who? Huh. Uh, I need a shower for several reasons. Um... um you shouldn't shower. Oh, come on. You can't. Uh, you I, I you still should. have Castile's blood on me. I'm not going to show up before the people. You can the shower after midnight. Crimes. And there, there's the mass. I'm going to the mass. To Saturni's. I'm always going. You should. To Saturni's blessing. Unless uh, we have other plans. Help Leo and the ground team after we're in the air? Sure. Thank you. Uh, after you leave, she pulls you in for another kiss, and she says, this is very stupid, and she runs. <laughs> Extremely. Yeah. Be safe. She Always mutters something. protection. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna add the thing to your uh, inventory. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, coming back to Leo. What is Leo doing? Um, I would presume uh, that uh, Leo uh, got to uh, the mansion, uh, made sure that the residents of the mansion are well. Uh, Talara is preparing uh, the room for Shaq. Um, and um, I imagine Leo being uh, in his room uh, with his dresser, with the, um, which has a mirror as well. And as he is looking at uh, the mirror, half naked you we see him dressing up with this strange studded leather that as he's putting on it gleams with an uh, ethereal sheen and it shifts and is uh, shimmers with every movement of the body or with every movement of the shoulder and with every breath of the chest as you see delicate filigree patterns dance across its surface like changing color based on the movement or emotion or desire as he uh, moves it around now uh, Leo uh, thou must think of uh, what you do with this new information there's a knock on the door and then is the door locked no, it's not. Okay, then there's also an entrance. <laughs> Clearly, uh, this yeah. is not the Lara. No, it's a uh, it's, uh, shark. It's not. Yes, so right. Yes, so 
we are supposed to be doing and preparing something. Here I am. Uh, my consultation might not hurt. Who knows, I might have an idea or two. What's this you're wearing? Uh, one of my new investments, so to say. Hmm. Congratulations. So, Thank you. I am all ears. Do you have any... I have no idea what we are, what course of action we have to take. So I am the one all ears. I lean against the disc. Uh, well, my first course of action is to rest. Uh, for I suppose you as well have been through some uh, grueling um, experience and your body and your mind needs um, to recover. After that, I will probably uh, reconvene with Grace and uh, until then we'll find some information from my agents regarding plans that are made to counter others' uh, flying adventures. To counter other flying adventures? How might we achieve that? That is what we are going to find out uh, tomorrow and after my letters. I imagine I've sent some letters to some agents. Uh, after I received the um, responses from them, um, we will act based on those. And uh, how might we act? What are the limits of our acting? Surely we want to prevent a third... Uh, and I point to here, and I point to here, on myself. Would the others have any limits in this acting? Would Quite an uh, <coughs> observant thou art. Um, we will not engage violently mm. or hurt unless aggression is shown to us. Pax, if I remember his desires are to not hurt or bring uh, pain to others if there is any other way. I understand, but Pax, our mutual connection, being on the throne and learning of uh, advantages that we have procured for him in order to bring him there, surely those will not be frowned upon regardless of their nature. Merely a thought. To take into consideration after you consult with all the agents. I am if you need any of those services, we can talk. He, uh, I've also um, stolen your calligraphy supplies. Your servant tried to stop me. I physically barred her from stopping me. So I think that is okay, right? Since I am your apprentice. Short. I'm uh, gonna ask Kalunai for uh, guidance regarding why you fell on my head. Um, yes, uh, keep your calligraphers to Thank you. Um, trust is earned. Trust is not given. I fully distrust Tal. Um, the fact that I told you the information that I did might be because my mind is uh, not as restless as I thought it would be. Um, please let me be for a few hours and I'll come back to you. Is it okay? Sure, that that sounds very reasonable. Have fun dressing up. And I, I go close the door. And um, I guess I go rest. You go sleep with yeah. eyes open. Talara, it's spooked by you. She runs in the house. <laughs> yeah. Now, actually, I, I, I sit on something. And uh, would Talara have tried to stop me taking the, the stuff? No? <laughs> Oh, oh so I, yeah. I, I just went on by my own when I said that she tried to stop me. Right? Okay, let's retcon that. Um, did she show any kind of uh, mistrust towards me or scaredness? Uh, okay, <laughs> you know, the way I'm going to sleep is that at some point when I sit in a chair and look at her, I'm gonna stay like that. <laughs> a bigger snakes with sleep with eyes open. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah, spooked and she runs. Coming back to you, what are you doing? Um, well, depending on what information I find from the... Um, Roll me an investigation. Okay, and I will also uh, send um, a message to... Not a message, a letter to Grace, uh, telling her to not tell Pags that Hebda might be in a fucked up situation. Uh, and if she can, before going to the meeting, <coughs> going to rendezvous with him. To <coughs> me. Uh, with... Well, with Leo, mm -hmm. raised rendezvous with Leo. Okay. 
That's all. That's an investigation thing. Mm -hmm. And the DC, I'm gonna just tell you, the DC is 15. For finding two things, I'm gonna make you roll. And for everything that's above a 15, you get an extra roll. Yes. That is a total of six. And uh, you fall asleep. Ah, oh, man, this is gonna bite you guys in the ass a lot. Can I have? Thanks for you showing us. Can I still uh, burn arms myself? No, because no, I have to pick the I'm lower sorry. one. It doesn't matter. I burn the inspiration myself. Uh, so, uh, you cannot. fall asleep. <laughs> unfortunately, you fall asleep before the receiving the letters oh my God. and writing them and sending them, and uh, you close your window as well. You're very tired. Uh, yeah. You're more concerned with your hair and the fact that you have flies, and then washing. Yeah, I'm washing. So after midnight, uh, oh, the day of Venoris passes. Welcome into. I'm not sure if this is metaing or something, but I know I forgot to eat, and I would have wanted to. <laughs> Talara brought you something too. Ah, okay, then no reason for me to. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> the the four hours of uh, the rest of the day of Venoris passed, and now we're into midnight. Midnight. Everybody's sleeping, I assume. Um, Kestu will maybe set himself an alarm to partake into Midnight Mass. Okay, cool. You go into Midnight Mass back no, into the city. No, I don't. You stay where you are. I will uh, use my cloak to uh, summon a visage of uh, Saturni. Uh, and as I do so, Tears are going to start falling from the many eyes of the clo cloaks and are going to coalesce themselves into a uh, small puddle, or more likely, I would probably use some sort of a vessel for that water in which I would see Saturni mirrored in the water, and that's where I would partake in midnight. You see the midnight mass in yeah. the water as it's happening in the uh, House of the Widows in the Sabbat Chapel as every Sunday. But now, Sunday, which is this in this world, is the fifth day, and now you see her performing a ritual. And before you, before the people, before the mass, you see Prince Philip, Emric, Lena, um, uh, someone John that is a uh, uh, someone, uh, a random John that is next to Prince Philip, and um, another knight. All, all, all five, just kneeling before Saturni, and in front of them they have cups, five cups. Okay. Um, she starts the mass, and then she starts making some signalistics uh, that you would know and translating into praying uh, and blessing, and she starts tearing those golden tears into those cups. Do you, what do you do in this meantime? I don't think I'd have time to go and partake in the Mass. No, what do you do where you are? Do you pray? Do you I watch? Would, I would pray. Uh, pray for Pax in the sense that I truly wish him to be a good leader. Uh, and I will also pray for myself for forgiveness, for I'm about to do a lot of bad things. Give me a religion check. Um, okay. okay. Hey, father, for me, I, send. I will. Hey. I will have sinned. It is a 24. <laughs> that was my role. <laughs> so with the 24, <laughs> they all uh, get something, a gold liquid in their cups. They pour it in different bottles. And the mass ends. There's still, hour, there's still two hours until the first light of uh, dawn. And before you, with the 24, Saturni appears. I... This is the second time you see her. I take a bow. She extends one hand. I extend the skeletal hand. I... She knocks it over. <laughs> I kiss her hand and... She knocks hand. that over too. She extend the, the normal hand. I extend the normal hand. <laughs> she makes this sign. You need a cup. I put the cup. <laughs> She goes and underneath her mask, her long mask, she starts crying in your cup. Okay. Um. She makes a sign. 
drink the cup. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> you understand it. That is a, a blessing of agility. One second. Blessing of agility. Oh, is it? Do I can I determine whether it's enough for one or two people? A blessing of sweet remembrance, he says. One or two people. One, one person. Okay, can I try to determine what are, would be the effects of this? You can ask. <laughs> Persuasion has to be high. <laughs> My best skill. <laughs> it's a four. Hey, this one. Uh, she uh, wipes her tear, her golden tears, and she disappears. It must hurt when you cry golden tears. Meta question: Was Grace at the mass as well? Uh, as the viewer saw at home, when the little screen of Castio, she wasn't in the front, so she didn't receive the golden tear. So I guess I'll just stash that vial, that, that into a vial. Um, I'm gonna contemplate the mirror for a little bit of time. Then Castio will take a look and just say, "Fuck all this cryptic bullshit. You give us tasks. You give us duties, but only some of them respect those. The covenant we made long ago." was supposed to be for power and equality. This is supposed to come for all. But here we are and it doesn't. I'll make sure it does. And as he says so, he breaks the thin veil of the water with his hand, cracking it a bit, and then takes all the contents and pours it into a large, uh, another large bottle. But this one is particularly big, like five liter or something. It's a, it's a glass vial and then he's gonna seal it. I'll make fucking sure to get So you have a content of Sabat water? Yes. Five liters. Okay. Uh, so the hours pass. There's still hour, two hours until dawn. Some of you wake up. You have uh, your alarm waking up. What do you guys do? Mm? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for them and I'm, start gonna, I'm gonna start preparing my ritual, but I'm probably gonna have to do that last. Okay. So first who meet? by my recollection, from the Book of Recollections, uh -huh. uh, is uh, Grace and Leo. Oh. You, you wake up late. <laughs> I still don't see the messages. They're not like, they're just, oh my god. Um, uh, uh, Leo quickly wakes up. He uh, takes uh, Shaq uh, with him. Um, really uh, distressed that uh, the fact that he missed the messages um, and feeling a little bit uh, lost uh, heads towards uh, the meeting point with Grace. Um, you meet uh, at the edge of the um, Midnight District, the district that you're a chancellor of. Um, she looks upset. Um, the reason why thou art upset is because of the message, or is there another reason? That and um, they didn't let me for the first time in ages go into the church of Saturni. They just didn't. They did not give the reason. It was the queen's guards. Uh, I was prohibited, and everyone who said it was from the uh, side of uh, Prince. Uh, Evander, as well, and they Prince get a Evander is Pax. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I, sure. I know it's not. It's yeah. Yeah. Like they sure. never had th this connection. Sure. Prince, this is what we're trying to put on trial. Prince Evander. I was just Pax not aware of the name. Yeah. Um. So, long story short, um, everyone has a blessing, and we don't have it. And it's customary for for um, the god who wishes to share a blessing is to have it with everyone, but um, it's bad. There is, as I'm uh, looking uh, with a free direct uh, uh, eyesight to Grace, is there another way to have one of these blessings? Yeah, if you have a, a way to time travel. 
can we borrow one blessing given to someone? Do you know how often Saturn needs her tears and gives blessing? I never see her done this. I have to hear it from my... I've been, been to so many services and masses and this was the first time that happened. Would you consider this, Leo? A breakage of the pact of non-aggression with the queen, I reckon? Yes. And you know what? Just trying the, to note it, in the, case we want... The little one, Philip, got two because he's a child and he's sweet. And he has a man standing by him. Maybe you don't know him. He, his name is, uh, is Eric um, Greenheart. He's a knight, but still. It's all but certain this uh, race is not gonna be fair. <clears throat> it was clear from the start. I was hoping to gain um, some help uh, with help of my networking, yet I have failed my own uh, exploits. Uh, I plan to be there when the uh, cur uh, when the race starts and hopefully manage to help Bex along. We still have two hours. Maybe we can investigate. Ask. I don't know. People get know stuff. Um. Isolated, perhaps someone that is isolated from the Queen's group that we might ask nicely. Could we try doing that? An investigation again? <laughs> yes. It's a different table. <laughs> for the morrow, for the morning. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's a 19. Okay, so with a 19, you find you roll me a D11. <coughs> a D11. D11. A D11. D12, ignore the top. D uh, sorry, 12. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh, getting <laughs> an aneurysm. <laughs> D11. That's D11. a 4. It's a 4. Four. Um, fortune. So you find out um, that Prince Philip, the small one, uh, bribed. Uh, or I don't know, got got friendly with a high hebdomadic priest. That is not hebdom. Mm -hmm. It's uh, even the, the the highest is Doxis Dolor, who helped him get fourteen dimension door spells. <laughs> Fudge. <laughs> Do you share this info? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you yeah. find out for someone who's uh, fr from within the order that you trust and it's operated by this. Apart from the fact with the 19 that the queen seized all the fourth level spells and uh, seized some intruders that tried to stole it and uh, locked them. Do did we find out where the location where she locked them is? No, they intruded the, the spells. The, the spells, spells yeah. are in the in her palace, but we knew that, you <coughs> as a group knew that when uh, Kate and uh, Hebdom, Adam Hebdom want to... Oh them. my god, and they got caught. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I tell this information. Um, you realize... And, and you and also with the 19, you get this, this thing that there's gonna be a lot of switcheroos at the beginning of the race, a lot of like... Shenanigans. I'm excited, you guys. So who is actually supposed to partake from the Queen? Uh, Officially. All three of her children, right? Can they substitute other riders for their children? Oh. I... Is it within the rules, if observed? I think so. Uh, that would definitely be apparent that they use. Who? could substitute the children. With how old are the children? Uh, 11, uh, 16, and 18. If there was a chance to reach the person that would be the substitute of the younger ones, make sure he doesn't participate, that would foil the plan now, wouldn't they? The dimension door scrolls that are mentioned, how far away do they take you? 
We, you actually don't know. It's just something that sounds fancy. I don't know. Because no one has access to fourth level spells yet. So it's a, a, a meta question that I ask yeah. that I even know that dimension door. Thing. We know, we know, but you don't know. Oh, okay, so but Shar could not ask that because he, he doesn't know magic at all. Uh, so the scrolls are at Prince Philip. How well guarded is Prince Philip? That was a thought that sprang to my mind. Oh, let's explore. Uh, Literally, let's explore. So with a 19, also you get to roll again a d12. Four again. So d12. Let's uh, roll again. Okay. Nine? Okay, uh, you also find out of a complot, of a b- plot, 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 plot. compot, compot. <laughs> uh, of a plot mm. to capture Pax before he uh, leaves the royal domain. I hear in my headset that um, Pax is in danger. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, then definitely we'll go to counter um, balance that plot if I can. Um, having a... So I will tell this to Grace and to Shaq and say we are on a mission now to, uh, if thou art open, of course, uh, to protect uh, the running start of our future king. By all means. So you go back... No, no wait, wait. So, uh, this is a question that I, I do not want to break this down. Yeah. By all means, fine, sign here. And I produce a document in which I, you are quoted with that, and uh, your signature, and uh, it awaits. <laughs> For me to sign the yes. fact that I said that. <laughs> I'm a busy man, I'll sign it later. <laughs> and he goes in that direction. Uh, you all go. It's a beautiful moment. Outside, night outside. It's before finally dark. get to wash. Then it is no longer for notice. Uh, prepare charm caster. Get into the elven work armor, the best one. Uh, put on the heraldry and blissfully unaware, head to the stables. As you head to the stables, you see uh, uh, one of the men is missing, uh, and. Uh, several of the the other guards and then they inform you that they were attacked last night but they managed to prevail well, the one that's missing uh, it's Ozzy hospitalized uh, what did the attackers look like what did they use they were dre- they story they were dressed in um, and um, regular uh, armory of the Green Kingdom, but um, soldiers. Yeah, we thought uh, the military in military garb. That shifts the rules of this a great deal. Can you, General Hall? Do you happen to know? I asked one of the soldiers. Do you happen to know? where General Hall is stationed? Uh, she is uh, preparing um, preparing um, the ceremony for the trial. At the spring? At uh, the Sabbath Chapel. This is where it starts. Mm-hmm. Bon. Uh, will you gentlemen do me a last favor and uh, see me over there, me and Humanus. Uh, you go and give me a perception. Oh. Natural 20 into 18. It's what? Exactly. <laughs> uh, you see, with the corner of your eye, you're now being a little bit paranoid, and you see, actually, in hay and in the attic of the stables, hooded figures hiding. And, uh,. Near or far? Uh, far, and you're exiting the stables. Seems like you're dodging a bullet. Um, Ozzy see, uh, uh, Klaus sees them as well. Uh, he asks for reinforcements. Reinforcements come now. You're 16 guards. 
uh, I stop them just outside, like at the entrance of the stable. Um, prepare some magic in my own hand. Would those of you that have bows or crossbows please arm them? Uh, they arm them. I walk back inside, pointing all of this at the figures and uh, at the hidden Cla- fingers. Klaus says, uh, no worries, sir, we can clean the scum. No, no, hold fire. Keep them up, do not fire without a signal. And just advance towards them. Hands up, please, outside. They start running. What are you doing, sir? Shooting them? Away. Shooting them? They're running away! <laughs> Shoot them in the butt. Weapons down. Uh, no butt shooting. No butt shooting. Um, so, they leave. Um, I, he does yell after them. This isn't the kind of future you wish to build, is it now? <laughs> and goes back outside, heading for the trap. Uh, Klaus is shaking his head. And in the meantime, you see Grace uh, and Leo and Shakla Shak entering the royal domain. We reached the devil. <laughs> 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 uh, oh my gosh. Uh, and as you're entering, you see more people, guards, just some of them. Give me a perception. Can we all do it? Or yeah, just... yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can roll me also inside. Very shocked, I tell you, about the, the, the lengths they seem to have be going to attacking with the military. 14. Mm, like, it's a, it's a busy morning. Uh, you're more stressed with packs being safe. Quick thing, uh, when they ran away, did they have military clothes or street no. clothes? Uh, but long, not even street cloaks. clothes, cloaks. Okay. Like sort of an assassin uh, group. Uh, for the perception, it's less than him, and for the insight, it's a 14. So you see one, uh, as you enter, you see one guard that sticks with you in your mind. He's shaking, he's trembling, he's anxious. He's, he's really ang- he's ang- yeah. anxious about something. Yeah. I uh, uh, give a slight nudge to, to Leo. That one knows something. Remember oh. when you... Uh, did this. Uh, as you say hold, he starts um, um, so he starts uh, picking up the base. Picking picking up the base. Then he will He's hear, part of our soldier group. After. He hears, I suggest you stop now and come here and I will call, cast suggestion on him. Okay, give me a suggestion. Uh, wisdom saving throw, mm. 14. 13. Uh, he fails. He, he, he turns around. Um, uh, sweat pouring down his eyebrows, and he comes towards you. Comes towards your direction. Thou art feeling very helpful tonight, so I suggest you tell me what the plan was, and if there are other future plans that you know about that might help our Prince Evander stay safe. The hands lovingly on the guard. Uh, intimidation, I think. Okay, from me or him? You can aid if you pass a 10, he has advantage. Yeah, I pass a 10 easily. Oh my god, I have like a plus 6 intimidation. I am, I'm grasping the, the, arm of the, the arm of the guard uh, really tightly. That is 19. Okay. Uh, 19. Um, he says... Prince Finian uh, put put this to into plan. Um, we had to obey. He's the future king. <laughs> He's the future king. He is. Okay. Uh, we've been ensured of that in many ways. He starts uh, sweating more and more, and he says he's he has other plans. Big catapults, men on the ground before. Uh, south, southwards. Um, Is there a way to shift the location of the race in any way, legally? As uh, this spell is still active for like eight hours, his eyes are shimmering and the moon on his forehead is shimmering. Um, here is my uh, suggestion. 
Okay. You get to cast another suggestion. No, it is a concentration up to eight hours. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, it has to be a different suggestion. Yeah. So you have to cast it again. Oh, you know what? Actually, the, actually you know what? suggestion ends. Like, come here. He came, yeah. the suggestion. And then wow. he got grabbed. Okay. That was the suggestion. Oh, I see, okay. okay it's okay. quite good for intimidation. Uh -huh. okay, okay, so basically, he's still. Magic. It's done. Just He's a little yeah. Is yeah, I, I want to put a second hand on him and uh, grab, get him really, really close and say, What? I think you should really help us. It might go so well for your survival. This is going to end badly if you don't. Trust me. I also cast suggestion on him. <laughs> As a UNT, you can cast suggestion. Uh, he <laughs> not, he's not. Uh, he's but, but, but he needs to do a roll. Okay. He does, I mean, he might. How much? I think it's, I'm gonna tell you, it's a 12 or 13. 12 or 13. I rolled a 13, so. Uh, silvery bar. Oh, yeah. Okay. Listen. I rolled a 16. It's, it's on David's die. You can blame him. I d I'm not that, even using oh. whisper dice today. He's the one that made dice. Why? This. Why? I, made I, made, I made the I made the letter type. It's a fourteen. Whisper dice. Ah, it's a fourteen. Fourteen. Ah, oh, okay. So see, he fails actually. He fails with the. Yeah, and you don't need to silver oh, bars it. Okay. Uh, so, by very close, he's trying to resist it. Um, yeah. What do you do? What do you suggest him? I suggest that he aids us and tells he, us uh, whatever he knows in this. Uh, Prince Finian and, and the Queen are uh, indigent, so he will eliminate everyone, including his brothers, but not in a harmful way. Uh, the Queen is very uh, sad that she's been forced to make her youngest only 11, at only 11 years old to compete. But he, the young prince is very stubborn. And the political uh, diplomats forced her hand. But they have an understanding and he will be made a uh, queen. Okay, uh, king. King, 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 king. Queen Finian. <laughs> Well, okay. Just assume my gender. <laughs> I vote for him. Uh, do we know the location of those catapults? Like, did uh, he tell us? He says he doesn't know exactly because it's different groups, but there's one group doing something. Mm -hmm. Prince Finian isn't at the start. His location is unknown. And there's a group with a catapult. Do, do I see the snake man and the blue man getting very personal with the soldier? Oh, yeah. I come in to check. Everything went all right. Just about done. We uh, gather some information, but I think we are finished. Uh, Grace comes and pulls your hand and asks if you're okay. Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Yes, there were attacks, there were assassins waiting. Uh, fine. Uh, updates for, for many of you. Uh, you. I, I slap him twice, like, so that the chainmail whoa, ring. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ding, ding! Anything else? What are you... Nothing Has wrong. he done anything wrong? Oh, so much wrong! This one's been a bad was, boy. Uh, what are we slapping him for? Uh, he was part of the group that was meant to... Uh, foil your plans and abduct you. Um, mm. There are also catapults with you along the road. And Prince Finian. Uh, uh, he's not at the start. And this one knows the, the that queen, we have, that we know all of the above. The queen is desperate. Desperate? Where is that? Prince Finian is not at the start and nowhere to be found. Oh, in that mm. way. And what, why is attacking me of any help to Finian? I think this was an unplanned element for the queen as well. That it's that he's missing. I don't know. I just follow orders. Orders from your commanders or order from the royalty? He uh, looks at his feet and nods. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, Sir Shaq, uh, let him go. No, it's I... clear that this night is filled with 
place of power. But and before that, is there any way this one can be kept outside of the informational loop of the queen? He is smart. I, I Pax leans in. I'm a soldier, and you're a soldier. And you don't want to be in the military under the command of a king who you tried to kill. You don't want your family subjected to that. You don't want your brothers in arms subjected to that. Let them know that they should stay out because somebody will win, somebody will lose, and losing your family over this is not worth it. You can Persuasion. Call in a sick day. Uh, as this is uh, happening, uh, I will also barbecue. Twenty-three. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as you do this, what's next? There's one hour until the first light of dawn. We're headed to the top. I bet the spring if it's one now because that was the rendezvous time and no one is there. <laughs> no yep. one. Oh. Like nobody. <laughs> Not from the other side. TP gun. <laughs> Waste it. No have dom, no. Cake, I'm munching no on my cookie as I get one te- two temp HP. Any updates while we walk about the uh, either the uh, midnight mass thing or the uh, Adam thing? Uh, Grace fills you up and starts crying, uh, thinking that she failed. Uh, in a nutshell, three um, and be- she wasn't left inside uh, to receive the mass. No one, and you are by this extent, you do not have the blessing of Saturni, and that was important. I soothe her for a few seconds, hold her close, tell her it's fine. This is something the queen did, not something that says anything about her worth. And uh, yeah. On to the chapel. Um, is there a way for uh, me to... Um... People start gathering at once you exit the royal domain and looking at humanness and people... Oh, uh, that's the half-elf! <laughs> I speak to them, I wave. Children are very uh, happy and they try to touch humanness. Important truths will be spoken at the chapel of Saturni as we soon leave on the trial. Uh, Leo, you wanted to say something? Uh, no, we can continue. Okay, you're uh, going to the chapel of Saturni and at the spring... Uh, spring what you're waiting? In the chapel and the spring thingy, where Pax said we're gonna meet, no? The departure spot, the chapel. The chapel. So you're at the chapel, people start gathering, there's one more hour, they're late, and you see an... an convoy of, of, of a mass of As people. I sit there, I'm gonna make markings and I'm gonna delimitate like a fifth of the starting point with flower and write Prince Evander because I'm bored, you know, like kindergartens have like, you know, one, two, three and put the place. Uh, there comes a storyteller, tugs at your shirt and he says, it's the other way, it's in your mind, it's the other way around. And he points towards, this is the midnight chapel and it goes, um, it's in di- this direction, but there's no exit, so it goes like this, and you have to go I don't know, the other way around. What? I don't get it. Uh, I'm gonna show you. On- it's the other way around. Doesn't matter. Okay, you I'm gonna make, it in a- I'm gonna make the markings the other way around. Then. Okay. I would have asked on the way. By the way, how does the race go? Just you know, the the summary. What's the race supposed to be about? What's gonna be the give you the sum up, it's rather mysterious, but something to do with getting to the end of the world wha- by following the so Sabbath it, It's called, everybody whispers it, you see uh, mm-hmm. newspapers, enchanted newspapers and posts. Why ask with, Leo for like the exact uh, uh, It's called the Agility Trial, it's made by uh, Saturni. Uh, and it uh, says, prepare for the trial of agility and judgment, follow the flow of death to the end of the world, uh, pass a meritos judgment over the seed of knowledge, which was rightfully ours, and come back. It starts at the first light of dawn and ends at uh, on the last at dusk. Historically speaking, was this a? Uh, uh, do we know the actual route? Is it changed in any way? 
no one knows about the route and no one knows at the end of the world. Like historically speaking. Okay. This is so a medieval past- society. Oh, so this this information has not been passed along. Like it's, it's also more than that. Uh, there's a cap of what two days? What one was day. it? One day. One day. Back in the same. Yeah. To be back. Be- come and come in, and come back from first light of dawn to the end of the last dusk. And if I may, this is shorter than one one day. It's just. 18 hours. So 18 hours to get to the end of the world and come back. Can I get the text again? Yeah, I'm dropping it on the drop. The seed of knowledge that used to belong to us. May it be that in hubris, the humans believe that what happened at the caverns of time would be the seed of knowledge that belongs to them. That's that's exactly the theological case, right? That's uh, th- yes, magic, but that's not the seed of knowledge. It's just magic. But it's not called the seed of knowledge. That when when. But I'm talking about the cavern, the specific location where we emerged. I mean, me and uh, uh, and Jen in this case. I'm talking about that place. Yeah. Would that be the one that they refer to in this cryptic text? Have we ever seen to a place referred to as the seed of knowledge? No. That was the place where they started, though. That's where they found magic. All that may be, all that may be, but um, it's not known to be a place. It might have to do, perhaps, with the book that spun off magic it contained. uh, The book was not there. Could I figure out on the map and show them where we actually came from? Uh, Where we emerged? Which map? a map that they would have of the surroundings. Could we, and I will also ask Genevieve to assist in this, could we pi- look on a map and try to pinpoint the location of the caverns of time that we've... Uh, we met. They, they came to the spring of thingies. You're gonna meet in a second. Yeah. Oh. But you don't know that because the, you couldn't see the map. Only Kate and Gregory could. So... You could like you have a vague idea, but if you had a better idea, you would have known to come to Green Spring or Green Well, and you didn't. So it's rather vague. Okay, and that is that. Was was this place a cross along the Sato Sabat River? Yes. Mm-hmm. There was water like that inside. No, but this was place. it along the river itself? I think it was the source. The source is here under the city. The chapel is the source. Then it was. It is definitely on the location. Something we'll keep in mind, but not our, our primary hypothesis. You yes. meet with Jen. People are waving. Yay, Pax! So much speaking. So, 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 so who am I seeing? It's Pax. Pax, Grace, uh, everyone, but Leo, everyone but Castillo. Cast, uh, and uh, Shaq and the Leo. Chancellor Leo. Yeah. Everyone. So I'm gonna go and present you both cookies. That will be gingerbread men. One for you, Pax, and one for you. Uh, eat it. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay. You get three temp HP. This is the lovely Genevieve, everyone. Yay! She's a baker. <laughs> that she is. I'm she is. so much more than a patisseur. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people are uh, some are cheating, some are throwing flowers. It's very dark outside. They start to lit candles and this gloom, uh, a gro- sort of like gloom and pressing uh, district. And people who are cheering are shushed by storytellers and boatsmen because it's still the day of the dead and parting and uh, cheering is not. Mm-hmm. Um, I would go into a corner and I would ask either Pax or Leo to assist me. I will lay the tapestry flat on the ground uh, and I will go up to you on the other side. Don't forget about me. Fresh air and go inside the tapestry, start to, to be engulfed by the textile and merge into the scene with the vampire and the vampire hunter I'm gonna pose like this. <laughs> Is she visible in the Yeah, yeah it, it looks very weird. It's a, a random uh, redhead... Uh, uh, no, it's the same art, but it's a random redhead vampire-like creature that's doing a yoga pose in, uh, in a grotesque scene with um, a, a vampire sucking the blood of the... Uh, 
you can roll it up by it. And um, uh, uh, Leo will also do something while you are rolling that up. He uh, puts his hand on uh, Pax's shoulder and says, You are meant to be a strong king and a wise leader. I offer you this blessing that it may aid you along the way. And he will enhance ability. Uh, beer, uh, beers, beers, <laughs> uh, beers, bears, uh, bears, uh, bears, endurance, and duration, uh, one hour. So we're close to we're close to dawn then. Okay, okay it's it's one hour until dawn. No, oh, okay. So I wait Later. until then. Yeah. So right before he goes, I will give him bears endurance, which gives you two d six temporary. So HP. Yeah. Um. That's it. Did you roll two twos? No, it's a six. It's fine. But... A six is. Good. It's um, Grace will also uh, touch her shoulder yeah. and squeeze and says, um, Be careful where you look at, and uh, you get vigilant blessing, and this makes your initiative uh, roll with advantage next turn. Merci, Swift Dress. Good luck. <laughs> Break a leg. Break a leg. I trust uh, Grace and Leo will make sure. Uh, the ground is uh, well covered. Uh, should departure time approach? Uh, Vander will talk to people, uh, show off humanness, tell them it will be amazing, uh, but also hold a speech about 15 minutes if we're there. 15 minutes. Uh, people start to come, come, come inside, and we're gonna just see this beautiful map, and we'll zoom into it as we uh, are about to start the trial. Beautiful map, isn't it? Ooh! Yeah. 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 You just said that. <laughs> wow! Um, it's scary so. how the water is so close to the city. Is that the Sabat water? Uh, yes, and this is the map of uh, precisely of the uh, district, uh, if you could see the map on Discord or on the other episode, is the district and the district of uh, Oguri and how it penetrates, uh, it, uh, it's penetrated by the Sabat River and how it exits. And this is uh, what you're seeing here is the walls of the, of the, of, of the city of Green Springs on that side precisely. And you're uh, all guided. There's just a, uh, um, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes till the, the first light of dawn. And you're all guided towards the uh, walls. And there's special letters, uh, ceremonious letters that you could climb on. And the first, we're gonna see uh, Prince Philip. At only 11 years old, he's competing with uh, Stella. Uh, he's a magical horse with two hearts uh, that has uh, speed. Uh, he looks very determined and also by his his side it's gonna be uh, his trusted um, advisor and his retinue. His name is Eric Greenheart and he's gonna wait for him at the base of the uh, of the wall uh, with Others, mem other members, full membership of retinue, uh, being um, uh, mounted on horses <laughs> at the foot and the, at the exterior of the citadel. Wow. Does the retinue compete as well? I mean, it's uh, up for debate. But in this case, you can see six other members with Prince Philip. He's being introduced. You could see the, the crowd outside with the chairs and a customary place for, for it to sit. You could also see the queen waiting on the side with, uh, with her guards and more people. I'm just gonna pu put a few, but the whole um, side is packed with the uh, people and diplomats and chancellors and random people and children just here to observe the race. It's enough for now. Imagine there's many more. Uh, and then next to, to Prince Philip is um, Prince Emmerich. Emmerich, sorry. Uh, Emmerich, and he is not mounted and sits by, I'm gonna put him on the other side, sits by his own 
Uh, right there. No retinue, nothing is there. It's the brother of Philip? It's, it's the brother of the Philip. Middle brother. The middle brother. Uh, he is Emmerich. Emmerich the. Uh, let me. The Radiance. The other is Prince Philip the Evergreen. And the third brother is not there. Prince Finney and the Charming. But you see, at the start, someone, they all have different armors. They, uh, the, the retinue of Prince uh, uh, Philip, the youngest, is in bronze. Uh, Prince Emmerich is in silver. And um, Prince, the, 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 the representation of Prince Finian, which is the oldest, is in gold. And you actually recognize this guy. It's Michael Bon Appetit. It's in gold. Mm-hmm. So the he represents. For... Yeah, yeah. Finia. Okay. Okay. You don't see the others. What about Lena? Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna get into her. Lena, very stoic, is also present. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put Lena here, with her retinue formed by Blaze, Monkey. Ooh. And arches uh, sitting with four bags, four huge bags, and they are all dressed in uh, dark robes, dark modest, modest robes. Had to tell. Um, could I yes. ask something? Yeah. Uh, do the spells look? Uh, do the bags look magical? Um, give me a. Investigation. I think it's gonna be pretty awkward if they aren't. <laughs> they have food. Uh, that's uh, 19 Popcorn. to start with for a total of 21. Okay, with the 21, they don't give a magical vibe. They sort of give a grotesque vibe. They're very big, they're enormous in size. They look roughly the size of a person. Roughly the size of a person. Yes. Just the bag. Are the bags moving? No. Uh, so you're gonna be placed. Here comes humanness. Cheered. Yay! Oh my God. Everybody's she's cheering so humanness. Beautiful. I hope she's being seen gonna... because of the wall. I'm just, so I'm just gonna pull everyone. Woo! Humanness. Humanness. The, the people are people are cheering. Um, Michael Bon Appetit is riding a gruesome horse. Uh, and next to your side is gonna be, yeah, next to humanist's side is gonna be Vander, uh, not mounted yet. And who else? Where do you position yourself? Position yourselves. Uh, Jen is in the uh, in the tapestry, so she's not gonna be there. Which is on humanist's side. Yeah. Stop to her. Um. My, uh, the Chancellor's plan would be to sit on the other side of Humanness and when the battle, when the race starts, uh, when the battle starts, uh, he will uh, prepare uh, dispel magic on the bags. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna place uh, something for the bags. Uh, on Since the... I am your apprentice, how are Chuck? you going to do, do this? Uh, do you take me up on stage? Uh, if you were I'm ashamed. Because I need to, yeah, I'm not ashamed. Actually, I need to roll a d4 for the... Oh, okay. Oh my god. Uh, we're having a technical... Well, if there is a time for you to prove that yourself, it. apprentice, it is now. Just don't do anything that would... Uh, oh, flattering. The signature? How is that coming along? It is on its way to be written. Oh, how quaint. It would um, be a shame if I did not take action because the lack of it. It would be a shame it if would I be, did wouldn't not take it? action based on your lack of action. So let's not lack anything and try to act. Yes? That's exactly what I'm asking for. Very well. Well played. Uh, Cassio is camping on the other side? Or... He's a bit ahead. He's swimming in the water. See, he's way ahead. He's way ahead. He's ahead. Ahead. You determine how ahead. You tell me. Uh, clo- uh, far enough so that uh, he will... In miles, in feet, I don't know. Tell me in, in feet or miles. Horseback minutes. Yeah, or horseback So minutes. I'll have uh, something that will be able to carry me. Let's say one or... Between one and five, one mile and whatever's the half of that. 
So that's 750, something like that. So one mile, let me just check because I didn't uh, uh, We'll see how then. So within fair distance of a horse getting to him, I would guess. Okay, uh, horse, a regular horse distance will get, uh, will, will uh, go three miles and 41, it will wanna go three miles, 41 an hour. An hour. Yeah, a regular horse. Uh, um, but humanness is special. You had the uh, have the yeah, hand. We bells. have the humanness, so I guess uh, uh, one mile. Let's see. Humanness let's can see. run currently at the speed of um, of with three hearts can run at the speed three of three hearts. It has three hearts of one hundred fifty miles an hour, <laughs> and can fly at two hundred fifty miles an hour. Okay, wow. so I'm like. Five minutes away in that distance. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna, gonna do the math for that right now. Still walking. I'm in danger. <laughs> okay. Uh, five minutes in, in distance for that. Okay, so we have this group. Please don't draw me. Okay. Since uh, I, I'm on the stage there. Do I notice anything with Vita's cry since everyone is in range? Does it, what's in the bags? It's, it's something living. Is there no, it's something? Not, it's not, not anything living inside the bags. Okay. And what you can find with Vita's cry is that this horse has three hearts, this has two hearts, uh, these are regular horses, uh, this has sort of a fiery substance instead of blood running through its vein. Just if, if there's something really interesting to, to see. Let me think. No. Okay. I'm no. curious about Pax's speech. Uh, and Grace would be in the tribunes around side here. She's gonna squeeze your uh, shoulder one more time, uh, wish you good luck and leave. As she's tying the shoelaces of the horses. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Casting fireball. What drop artifacts? So. Evander steps up in front of a uh, humaness, pats the side of her neck, looks around, loudly projects his voice over, over the crowd. Citizens of Greenspring, noble cousins, blessed astrals, we, we gathered today to show our worth before the astrals, the astrals that made us great. We show them not only the worth of Evander or, or the worth of Philip, but in these trials, we get to show the worth of Greenspring. We get to show what sort of culture we've become, what we see as merit. Are we a people of honor and goodness, or are we knaves that stab in the back, hungry for power and filled with hubris? That is what they need to know. Are we any better? than those who oppressed us centuries ago. Because, dear cousins, it hurts me to tell you that your noble mother and the supporters she surrounds you with have infected your candidacy with theft, have infected your candidacy with attempts at murder, have infected your candidacy with abuse of power, have deemed it to make afraid for their lives innocent people if they choose to not act against my candidacy, me, my retinue. Knights attacked, almost killed, attacked by the very military they are a part of, forced to take actions against them. They hide and hoard the blessed magic we've received from the astrals and even take those of my retinue prisoner, even if they are of Hebdomad, they will take them away, abducting without any sort of restraint. Is this the culture of Greenspring you wish to show the Astros? Is this the kind of king Greenspring deserves with dirty hands? Do we show Marthas that how we do this is by our old mother fighting instead of us? Do we want to reward Mercury's investment by showing her killing and division? Do we want to thank Jovis for their joyful magic by keeping it boxed up so only those noble enough get to use them? Do we want to show Venoris that this is how we understand justice, that justice is to take the meritus out of the race before they can show merit? Is this what 
we have to show solace we've learned in these centuries, that we can be savages, a savagery all we've learned. Do you want to show Saturni that what we want most from her is that she eliminates our enemies, our opposition, those that are better perhaps than us? Do we want to show Lune that that is what we use her night for, to hide our crimes? Please, I beg you, cease the foul pay. The astrals may choose me, or they may choose you, but please let's ensure together that whatever sovereign we get, they are someone that has kept honor. Greenspring deserves it. Greenspring deserves better than a murderer monarch. Um, you hear people cheering. Yay! Woo! Some of them going, ooh, he insulted our queen. Uh, especially the one, the nobles and the queens, the proximity. Channel uh, divinity for this as well. Uh, okay, roll me a persuasion. Uh, could I uh, assist him uh, and give him the help action as Leo uh, sends messages in people's minds or searches uh, through the people like, I've heard the queen is stealing, I've heard she's fed, like, oh my god, the prince, where is, okay. the, where is the last thing? Roll me a happening? persuasion as well if it's above a 10. You roll with advantage. Is she a bitch? Yeah, she is. No, just like oh, no, no. advantage. Oh. You get double advantage. Super advantage. <laughs> Omega. Omega combo advantage. All the advantages. Uh, 20? 29. Wow. I wanted to give a part of inspiration, uh, but I The people who started booing, they shut up. And you hear, uh, yeah, Finny and... Uh, 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 stuff like this, you start now chanting for uh, for the for the rejuvenation of the crown. Down with the region queen! Down with the region queen! There's a mass. They start pushing. Uh, she's getting. She's she's going inside and creeping in the distance. Are the first light of uh, of uh, the the signs of the first lights of dawn? You have just a minute. Have faith, my friend, and uh, beer's endurance. Beer. Beer. <laughs> beer. Beer. Have a beer, my friend. I'm gonna endure so much beer. Beer. Bear's endurance. So what does uh, it do six, besides uh, extra temporary hit points, and you have advantages on any Constitution uh, skills, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And saves. Well, that is yeah. always the same. Yeah, that's true. There you go. Okay. You do something. It's one minute. Two things. First, um, yeah, according to your Mungan, the Refshak feels normal. Nothing. Then, second of, of all, I, I go towards Leo. Is the crowd also running alongside the participants as usual? And as you ask this question... And I, 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 grab, I, I grasp him by the armor. Grasp me by the yep, armor? Yep. How dare you? Says not in an intimidating okay, way, no, uh, in, in a way only, like I, I'm fitting my hand to actually grasp it properly. Uh, only those that are in the retinue, as you see, those on the horses and the near of the prince. That includes us in this case, right? Yes, it does. Hold on, what? Is running, you see on the sides, they're starting to ch uh, to use the Jovician cantrip to have projections on Prince Evander, on Prince uh, Fi Philip, on uh, Prince Emric, on Lina. They're doing on like Prince this magical screens. Hello, here from the Sabbath River, we have a princess. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's a town crier who does this. Get ready! Cling, 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 cling! It's about to commence! Cling, cling, cling! I mount on humans just to recap. On one of her sides is a rolled up uh, carpet. Yeah. On the other side is the <laughs> is a rolled up long, strong rope uh, that's tied around her circumference and ready to be dropped if needed. Okay, a long drop, long uh, rope. Uh, cool. I will ask you as you see creeping in the sun. It's coming! Cling, 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 cling! The sun, the dawn is coming! Cling, 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 cling! To roll me initiative. You, you just you roll me initiative. And you, you guys, if you want to do something. I am by. So uh, Castiel, roll me as well, so we have an initiative. It is, I think, a 16. 
Oh, this is that. Oh, it's 16. Okay, I got okay. that. Okay. 16, cast you. How much? Pax? 22, I guess. Wow. 20. Wow. Top of the round, okay. Top of the round, you let us know. Uh, 10, 10. 10. 10, 10. Shark uh, has 7. 7. Shark. Uh, Leo. <coughs> Intense, intense, intensity. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fist clenched, butt cheeks clenched. Cool. <laughs> Face poker. <laughs> Face carpet. Cool. So, several things happen. Get ready. First light of dawn. The light and the mood and the uh, the duration changes as the six hours of dawn come and show you the way. Um, you're pointed southwards uh, towards the flow of the of the Sabbath River, and first of the round comes uh, Mr. Pax Van the Green, uh, the prince that is. Uh, while from a scroll he mutters the hebdomadic words to uh, accelerate uh, humanness, he also spurs her, we died. Okay, and that accelerates because I have to put this in the table that I didn't add. How much? Uh, plus 10 flying speed. 10 flying speed. Uh, Just flying or everything speed? Everything speed. 10 feet, that is. Yes. Okay. Every feet. Uh, for those yeah. 250 miles per hour. <laughs> it, <laughs> yes. yeah, it, it, it adds up. It's it 20 per up. round, it's around the six seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's. it's up. Yeah. Imagine it's the backlash behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, so. I think we're, we're gonna see a sonic boom. I'm yeah. gonna okay. put inside the car. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> oh. So this is what you do in six seconds, right? It's inside, right? Yeah. We all okay. off the map. First, I spot her, then I cast as she takes off. Uh, she takes off. Yeah. You command it to take off, take take off, right? I said we right, yeah. Okay, Dawn so has broken. Dawn has broken, and you're off the map. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, he's gone. <laughs> uh, you are off the map, uh, sir. You are traveling at a speed of um, one second, one second, one second. I just think his cheeks like uh, of a speed one. of. Did you uh, see how fast he rides? Oh, yes. A future leader, Pax. He's so fast. One hundred, uh, one, uh, one thousand seven hundred sixty-five miles per hour. I swallow my vomit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have time to swallow. So it just goes like the that. wind. I <laughs> know. Oh, I'm sorry. You. It's not. It's. I. It's, I read. It's, yeah. I read from the wrong chart. Uh, you. You ride at. Uh, sorry. 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 Wrong. Wrong chart. You ride at the speed of. Um, Two, uh, two hundred, two hundred sixty uh, miles an hour. Sorry. I stand by my statement. Yeah. Okay. You have G-force problems. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you start your vision starts spinning. Uh, the the wind blows in your uh, chest as the wings of uh, humanness just uh, sprout. Uh, next in line is gonna be Prince Emric, and you're not there to to witness what's happening. Uh, Emeric, sorry, I keep uh, butchering his name. Emeric, Emeric. Uh, so, what he says, he uh, extends his uh, hands and says something along the lines Legend, help me. With the blessing of Moonin and Hugin and a thunder <laughs> appears at the horizon, and you see. Two gargantuan raven shapes. What? For a flash of a second, they disappear. And from the sky, a big raven folk just lands uh, next to him. It's huge. It has this huge um, uh, wings and its, its eyes radiate and have this intense orange coloration. Um, and 
what em Emmerich does, hands him a, a golden potion that the legend drinks, takes up him in his claws and flies with a speed that exceeds Pax's. What? <laughs> but all that was six seconds. It appeared, drank, yeah. clawed, And you see flew. flashing bef like in front of you probably many times more. <laughs> you have to run me an intelligence many times uh, in front of you. Um, you see this like dark shadow. Three. Perception. Dark shadow. Dark perception. Minus one. Okay. Dark shadow. Just. <laughs> He's like. Must have been you. the wind. <laughs> Does the, the one being carried have he any blinks. problems because of that? We're gonna Is see. It still alive? It, it might not be alive. <laughs> what, we're, we're, ju we're just gonna see. Uh, it's a magical world. It's like the summon was a few seconds, so uh, this is... Yeah, I think yeah. this is equivalent to jet speed. Yeah, I think it was a sonic boom and some people are dead. <laughs> a lot of the crowd just... <laughs> uh, yeah, that. you hear the... <laughs> in the distance. Uh, next one, next, next is uh, Lina, who just sits there. Um, sits there, blinks. They look rather bored, monkeys laughing. Um, uh, there's this smirk on Blaze's face. Uh, then they slowly like move in six seconds, move to descend from the um, top of the citadel. Uh, next, after this, is Castio. You you don't know that this is happening. No, but um, you tell me when I can do my preparations yeah, for this. Yeah, it's gonna be in uh, in two rounds from this. Three I would have uh, like a few moments before that to fully prepare. We're just gonna we're gonna go to back in time. You're gonna do okay. your thing when they reach you before they reach Perfect. you. Next is Philip. Philip descends and says. Men, ready, you heard my cousin uh, Evander Pax Green speech. Let's go do justice. And he uh, jumps with this his pony, lands in front of his men, um, he glides in the air and uh, starts pulling a scroll and chants something. Uh, and it's dimension door, and he opens in front of them a dimension door uh, at the end of the round. But his men have normal horses, so they, this is much longer, but we don't have a matched map that long. Um, he lets them ride in front of him. Uh, even though uh, Stella, his magical horse, could ride faster, they just ride in front of him, and they're gonna reach the dimension door. Um, it's like the turtle and the hare story, you know, you just go yeah. through the uh, And next one is Leo, and with Shaq on deck. Everybody that I wanted to flip off is gone. No, they're still here. You yeah, wanna flip off uh, monkey and is, uh, is the is oh, you Philip? Said you wanna cast the uh, dispel on the Yeah, but I didn't say it was a ready action, so uh, uh -oh. do I, is uh, Prince Philip uh, still in five uh, no it's not he's gone, he's definitely I'm gonna one. tell you in, in uh, uh, It's half. not Prince Philip, it's his retinue, the golden his, uh, his retinue and Prince Philip are in front of uh, you with uh, they, they dashed and there's the dash rule that we're gonna if you don't have magical powers, you can't dash more than three plus your constitution in a subsequent turn because you're going to get a level of exhaustion per extra dash, just so you know. Um, so he is in front of you with 120 feet. But he's still on the look. He might. Well, uh, mm -hmm. No, this is, is Prince Philip. No, I'm talking about Phineas. Hmm? Phineas is not there. No, he's retinue. you. He's retinue. you. Uh, bon appetit. Ready. Michael Bon Appetit is I there. I was telling Leo it, that... not going away? I was telling Leo that you still have Prince Finian's retinue. Michael Bon Appetit there. If you want to flip him off. Man, sure. Uh, what uh, Leo will do is turn to uh, uh, Michael Bon Appetit. Is, do not take this personal. And his eyes that are pure white just go pure black. And his moon just completely goes eclipsed. And shadows will start to coalesce around uh, Michael and form a darkness, complete sphere of darkness at the center or one of his necklaces. So I suppose he's wearing a necklace or something. So mm -hmm. I am uh, casting the darkness on that necklace. So he's surrounded by magical darkness right now. Uh, he has to do it. 
A save? Uh, no, he has no. to get rid of the necklace. Okay. If he, can. If he figures so out it's it on the necklace. Michael's necklace or your necklace? Mike, Michael's necklace, not mine. On him. Michael's necklace. You mm-hmm. should put it on his uh, armor. It's uh, difficult, more difficult to get off. That's true. It's fine. His boxer briefs, you know, he has yeah. the whole armor in there. Uh, don't do meta, guys. So, uh, this is your round? Yeah. Cool. Uh, he is next. No, he's shark, then it's shark, and then he's next. So as you finish your spell, like I'm, I'm guessing that the last of your incantation will be uh, slightly uh, skewed by the fact that you're being pulled as from the darkness, you will see Shaq leaping away uh, from the plat- platform, holding onto his back, uh, um, <laughs> leaving by the armor. I'm guessing he's very easy to carry for Shaq with uh, one hand, how, right? How, uh, how old are you? <laughs> how, uh, what's your weight? I don't know. How like... dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say just I'm gonna BM roll it because there's a lot of data and it's gonna be okay. You have to uh, make a strength save to jump off the building. Okay. <laughs> it's very tall. It's much taller than. Don't break the ankle. Oh. Mm, wait, it might be okay. You want a bard inspiration? Don't fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I forgot which one was my document. Sorry. <laughs> It's gonna be 6 plus 5 plus 3, 14 on the strength save. Okay, uh, you fall to the ground, you drop, <laughs> you're, you're, you're landing on your feet, but you drop um, uh, Leo. <laughs> Leo that takes uh, 3d6, no, 4d6, oh. it's taller than this is damage. That, wait, is it that tall? Mm-hmm. Oh, I you thought, didn't ask. I thought it was 10 roll, feet tall. Roll, Paul, roll. Uh, do you want me to give you the could bonus inspiration? 46, 46. Could I have, like, meta not jumping like that off of it? Because I, I assumed it was at scale. I said it wasn't before it jumped. I'm sorry. I would have dropped. I wouldn't have just jumped in like an animal in that okay. case. I would have jumped in... I don't know, uh, safe. You know what? Let's do it like this. You roll me an intelligence save. If it's above a 14, <laughs> and the intelligence. So above a 14, Just an intelligence? Yeah. It's exactly 14. Yeah, I said above a 14. <laughs> but you want the bardic inspiration? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give him the bardic inspiration. I'm uh, a merciful DM. Uh, uh, For D8. strength. For strength, yeah. Yes. D8. Roll a D8. A D8? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's my bonus. A 2. Above, and, uh, okay, a 2, it's a 16. Uh, I'm just gonna half that. Roll me 4 D6s and yeah, half. Yeah, it was a 16. Half to 8. So 8 points of... Yeah. Um, bumps he falls, he bumps a little bit <laughs> his side shoulder. Now you're you hip the hurts. cookie. Um, yeah, the cookie. Thank you, cookie. Um, <laughs> my dears. So this happens on your round next. I can then, if I drop him as my action, I will pick him up again and just say, "Don't worry, we'll get them." Uh, and I. Uh, what's your speed? My speed is thirty feet. <laughs> okay. <I'm doing> <laughs> <laughs> what's the plan? Huh? I don't know. Uh, he's I'm tired. You're feet. in a carpet, okay? You don't know. I know, but I'm asking Rarish. Come <laughs> here, You're gonna just run. Yeah. Okay. It's like Sonic. I hope. Yeah, you just notice there's no effort in shock running with you. No, no heavy breathing, no nothing. It's oh, just... I so see. one mile is uh, 520, uh, 5,208. So just so you know. What? Yeah. I'm feet. Yeah. Okay. Just so you know. Huh? Uh, but I'm writing this up and calculating it. This feet. Nothing goes at it is, as it is planned, but it is fine. I can change my my concentration later. check when you bump the ground. Ah oh, fuck. Yeah. Ah la 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 la. But you can inspire yourself. You already did the party. But it's it's a D10, right? Yeah. So, so that's uh. Huh? Uh, it's okay. ten. It's okay. Ten ten. Ten plus. Makes it. It makes yeah, it. Yeah, it makes it. Uh, so you do. Is the portal for dimension door still open? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Whoa. cool, 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 cool. <laughs> uh, so what's happening is we go top of the round. Pax runs, uh, b- 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 d- d- flies basically another uh, 260 uh, miles per hour. 
which is in six seconds. Uh, so it's an extra round. I'm marking it. And next is uh, Emmerich. No one sees him. Then it's Bon Appetit. They just sit there. In the dark. In the darkness. What is going on? Christ. We don't know. It's in the darkness. Uh, Lina, you're also not seeing it, but I'm describing it for the people. Lina uh, gets off stage. Uh, Castiel, you're not there yet. And it's next is Prince Philip. So the retinue runs uh, towards Dimension Door, and something happens because they fucking trip. <laughs> on a trick wire, and I'm gonna go roll saving throws for them. Uh, foil, fail, fail, mm, save, fail, fail, one more, five, fail. Uh, so out of these, they all trip. Uh, then Prince uh, Philip jumps over it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I placed it there. Sorry, this is uh, Eric. My, my horse. Oh no, Eric, follow me. <laughs> he goes into the dimension that portal. Out. Uh, then it's and then then it's uh, uh, his advisor. He also disappears. This must be a joke. Um, into the portal, and what you can see next is a surprise galloping from the side of the river. You see a bronze horse with a star in its head, with two carrying two figures, but running with a massive speed. Uh, about uh, you've seen what humanness can do. It's about two times faster than humanness can do. But running, oh. running, running. It's running, the running. one we didn't take, you guys. I don't. Jumps over, and you. If I, actually, no one is there. <laughs> to re Grace recognizes that uh, there is Prince Finian with a young girl, brown hair, Nightgale, and it's true because it rhymes, and they start running in this direction with a massive speed. Man, I could do... It is a bit off the map. God, on my... Ah, no, sorry. Uh, they stop here. Perfect, stay there. Uh, next. Still Quick query. Yeah. Uh, Dimension Door typically only lets you take one creature with you, your mount, for okay. example. Did they seem to use two Dimension Doors? Yeah. Okay. We do know that uh, they... 14. <laughs> dimension Doors. Two down. And, uh, and, and, they were op they opened seven for the people that tripped. Oh, each of them have yeah. opened one. And now, are they visible 500 feet ahead? Yeah, uh, just uh, five of them. Five. Five dimension door. Five people tripped, yeah. two went through. Two what? And they're now visible in the yeah. distance. Uh, cool. Then, uh, next is Shaq. What are you doing, and Leo? Uh, do we act as one? Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> go horsey! <laughs> go horsey, okay. Um, what is your plan? So, I'm taking Leo running up ahead. Clearly being mindful of the area that I know that they tripped on something. However... Athletics, check. Okay. But it's a low DC. It's a um, 29. Yeah, you pass it. Okay. You uh, jump over it. But I actually wanted to look at something else. Do these riders have, like, being in their down state, do they have any kind of spell scrolls showing? Uh, right, the riders? Yeah. Uh, you know that two people had the spell scrolls showing and two people cast it. Was Prince uh, Philip and his advisor, Eric Greenhart. And they, they are no longer there. But we know there were four stolen. Four given, right? Fourteen. 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 That's what I assumed. Okay, if I don't see that, then I will use my action to dash and um, keep going with Leo. It's 60 feet, but it's an honest 60 feet. But go through the portals. The portals are no longer there. Yeah, no, you have five, five active. But, oh, wait, in a portal I go. <laughs> uh, they're gonna be active for one more round. Yeah, I'm going through the portal. Okay, exactly in time for you to reach it. Uh, cool. But um, Leo also has an action, then. Can I, uh, yeah. I don't know, use my action to get him? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can use an action to cast.
ask something or to giddy up or to buy big inspiration shack or I don't know something. But what could give him like actual movement? Because I don't have anything. Could I use my? I cannot. Yeah, I'm gonna bardic inspiration. Um, How? Sure. I don't. I try to speak. Shack. Give the X shaft. No. Did you actually say that? No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So as you give the up shack, what do you do? Uh, you think. But what do we see on the other? Since we switched, like, um, do we yeah. get to see the other side of the dimension door? Uh, Are we through the dimension door? Yeah. You're not yeah. yet. It's just like whoop. You're not yet going. through the dimension. You have one more round to reach it. Okay. It's around here. Okay. So this guy's trip, and they're trying to pull each other and reach before you. I understand. Yeah. Is there a way I could have directed my dash through one of the riders at least to like to trample uh, him? To I no, actually, you know what? Like a jogger, like going in like a bowling ball through them between uh, one of them and his horse. You know, what? give me another strength, uh, 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 athletics, and if you roll above a fifteen, I'm gonna let you pin one down. It's an 18. I'd rather just yeah. smack him out of the way and he flies a few feet. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you're gonna take his dimension, Porter. <laughs> like, you're aiming yeah. for it. Yeah, because exactly, the other is exactly, yeah. Cool! Uh, next <laughs> is, do you want to do something, Leo? Because we're gonna jump to the, the last round. He barely uh, gets fired. Uh, I hate um, that. Uh, by so it, it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's we're fine. gonna move past. Yeah. Uh, packs flying 260 miles per hour. I keep my guts inside my body. Uh, Emric, we don't see him anymore. Bon Appetit jumps with his horse in his darkness. In his darkness, uh, fractures something because he heard his prince's uh, yell actually. The horse fell, but he didn't. <laughs> With a 20, he tumbled in the air and gave a small uh, substance, a uh, substance, a small vial, a substance that's golden. That is he see blind him because of the darkness? He's blinded. Ah, oh, he, 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 yeah, he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's nothing. He doesn't see himself falling. You know what? I'm gonna <laughs> roll for the necklace if he witnesses. So above, uh, I'm going to say a 15. He needs to, in the dark, identify that that's where the dark is coming from. Yeah. With a plus one, it's a 16. I didn't... It, well, he can use the action check? to put an anklet. <laughs> so he's... Uh, he's is putting, he a visual check? Uh, oh yes, with disadvantage. Again! It's 15, I should you not, this is David's uh, die. Uh, go touch it, go touch Carla's die now. Uh, cool. Can I say what so, I cannot? So he drops the thing, his horse is finished, but he gives this vial to Prince uh, Finian, the Does charming, the other one. Uh, hmm? Does he see him? Yes, because he left the, the necklace That's with darkness on top of the building. But is that not an action to him? Yeah, and the horse dropped him. Okay. So Prince Finian goes and uh, takes the he's next in line. No, he's not. But doesn't he's that gonna... put Finian in the darkness? So the that he dropped the necklace yeah. on top of the building. The darkness is there. Mm -hmm. exactly. No more. No more. Darkness. Next, Bon Appetit falls. Bon Appetit is horse falls, and he takes the uh, he takes this potion and holds it in the air. And when it's gonna be his turn, Prince Finian will take it. Uh, next is Lena, is no longer there, Castillo, we're gonna reach to you in a second, and now it's Philip. Lena's no longer there? No, yeah. she's uh, getting she off, to they're laughing and leaving, but you can't see this, so you know. We can hear though, yeah. laugh. <laughs> uh, so, all of the retinue is up and going through the dimension doors, apart from this one that you tramp trampede upon. Uh, did they get their horses back up, or are they walking? They're walking. Put off the horses. Yes. Leave the horses yeah. behind. I'm gonna leave the horses behind, but it's very... It's hard to get a horse back up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, oh. oh yeah. So, there are horses here. Uh, and they're left on the ground. I don't know. And one man is left behind, this guy. A pompous freak, and yeah, there's uh, so 
Next is Finian, who takes the potion. Jeffrey, the pompous freak. Drinks it, and with a an, uh, bonus action, he's gonna dash faster than you have seen, the crowd has seen ever in its life. Faster than? Faster. And you see, again, the hear the boom in, in the distance. Okay, with wait. a speed of... Did he spend time to pour into his... Okay. Into his uh, something, because you didn't, you didn't see it, you're not there. Uh, with, at the speed of... I'm not gonna butcher it, so it's two... 1,450 miles an hour. 2,000, like more than mm -hmm. like four, four numbers. Mm -hmm. 2,000, 2,450. It goes back in time. <laughs> <laughs> like um, it's a two to five. Cool. <laughs> so next is... Um, that worries, no chance. Leo and Jack, what do you guys think? <laughs> Ah, run to the portal, dash to the portal. <laughs> uh, so you're, uh, because uh, you're pushing this guy as well and running for the portal. The last portal is closed. And you're all teleported. Who's mounting who? Uh, because you can go through with a mount. <laughs> so, <laughs> please help me. So everybody, you guys are teleported. Oh my god. Um, to clean the map. So you guys are teleported in... Uh, uh, 500 feet in advance, you see Prince Philip just... Who are you guys? <laughs> Where's my horses? They got lost along the way, small highness. We are here to help you. <laughs> I'm not stupid, Chancellor. You're part of the other retinue. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is he blue? Are we in a field alone with the guy? With the guy? <laughs> 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 You see uh, Jonathan, no, 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 you see, uh, Ever, you see Eric Everhart, the spellcaster that is his protector. Oh, and uh, the other retinue, now just uh, five men with uh, with Eric Hart. Shit. Five men? Five men in total. Uh, is that the... So... Okay, uh, as you ponder, this is your situation. As you ponder about this, we're gonna go back top of the round because you use your action with uh, packs that reaches Cassio. And I'm gonna go back in time to see what Cassio has done so far. Uh, Cassio woke up this morning and um, he was feeling horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, he kept on having nightmares and in those nightmares he was quite terrified of uh, something that tells him that death is coming and it's not quite what he would envision. Nonetheless, he braves it and as he exits the tent uh, it would be quite visible that he uh, is uh, quite pale with uh, yellow eyes and he has all sorts of growths on his skin and on his cloak. The moment he gets outside, he will take a look around and start violently vomiting. And as he starts violently vomiting, so does the cloak, as it grows eyes and mouths and peels bits of what seems to be both a mix between sinew and uh, all sorts of uh, carcasses. At a certain point, after a relatively big pile has formed in front of him, uh, the mouths around his cloak will start gushing out what seem to be bits of bone. And the more the castile and the, the cloak belch, the longer those bones become. Um, the thing about those bones is that they look pretty big, but when they hit the ground, they sound a bit hollow. Um, as the cloak continues vomiting, Castile eventually stops, and uh, the mass that he vomited starts forming together. Uh, and the bones place themselves, and they place themselves in the form of a hoof. Hey. And the more mm. 
the mass starts coalescing together, it starts resembling a horse. It's quite skeletic in nature, but it still has some bits of flesh and skin all over him. Uh, what's particular about this horse is that it, it does have uh, a mane, a stingy one, uh, barely held on together, but the color of the mane is the same color as Jen's hair. <laughs> it's a red uh, mane of a, it's a red mane horse, skeletal in nature. Yes. Uh, after the skeleton and the horse forms, uh, Castiel will proceed to rip off his clothes, and as he does so, he will remain naked. He will be a fairly slim one, if not tall, but various scars and burns adorn his body, and he will remain in everything but his knickers and his bandaged hand. He's gonna start ripping away his skin. As he does so, he uses his artificial tools. And as he rips the skin away, it starts coalescing into two long shapes, about 10 feet wide. Uh, this eventually stops. Uh, he has pink skin on him now, uh, but it's not yet over, because he's going to the horse with the bits of what seem to be flesh, uh, and he will vomit one last thing, and it seems to be like a sort of anchor that he takes the two pieces of flesh and catches them onto the skeletal horse. Um, as he does so, does so, he's exhausted, he wipes his mouth, puts on, he puts his clothes back on, and he starts uh, gathering up rocks. His minion will help with this. After a certain point, he'll have gathered a decent enough pile of rocks. He's gonna take two of his flasks of oil, he's gonna throw them on the rocks, and they're gonna become oily rocks. As he takes a look at the horse, he realizes that his work is not yet complete. Uh, with one last effort, he reaches into the cloak and cuts with his knife a long piece of flesh. And he puts that piece of flesh on the back of the horse, on where would be its belly. He starts using both his uh, knife and other medicinal tools, along with various amounts of uh, reagents, and he sews that bit of flesh onto the horse. Um, once the process is done, he will open the bit of flesh, and he will have used his pocket slid. He's gonna start filling that slid with rocks. Okay, so basically you take the slid from your ho your cloak with multiple uh, things and you're gonna put... Uh, so you're, you're making a bag of holding inside the belly of your horse? An undead horse. Okay. Are you making a skeletal Pegasus bomber? If we're yeah. asking yeah. questions, are you currently skinless and bleeding? No, I have pink skin. Mm -hmm. Very pink shedding. skin. shedding. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> That's his job, man. Um, <laughs> no, nah, he has it. <laughs> He, he will eventually gather up all his stuff. Uh, he has the bottle of the bath water somewhere around him. And with his minion, when the time comes, he's, his minion is going to stay perched on top. In fact, no. Yeah, he's going to stay perched on top. Um, and he will count until the, the competition would start. And then he's going to cast Levitate on himself. Competition oh, on the starts, actually. Uh, it starts levitating and with Castile on top. And three round passes, rounds pass, uh, meaning uh, 18 seconds. And here comes flying with an incredible speed. Uh, humanness with the van there. Um, as I would see that. The drop is dropped the moment we see uh, I would send the minion to get the rope, and I'll tie the rope around my horse. This very thing, I'll check. Oh. Oh. I will guidance myself. I How do you don't. guidance yourself? It's a I drink my drugs. Okay. It's a skeleton Pegasus bomber balloon. Yeah. Glider. Glide, yeah, glider. Yes, glider is a tingle term. No. Now I'm not prepared. Man. Nobody was. It is a uh, dexterity 16. Okay, with a 16, the DC was 16, so you barely catch on to it. 
uh, with the last ha with last uh, strength you have remain in your body it's the the rope almost slips and you held to the uh, are held holding it to the very end of the rope and you are being dragged uh, yes that's the plan uh, and this adds a penalty to your uh, long stride and you're back at uh, humanness's original speed at 250 miles an hour Question: Did he see the crazy legend? Who legend? Just uh, perception in the for of the before sunset? what you you you've seen. And no, I don't see it. Okay. I'm quite oblivious to it. And uh, he was too busy was puking. And Finian is passing now because the third round. Awesome. Perception, both of you. So the the speeds you described are way past the speed of sound. So they would boom as they pass. Yes, yeah, right, both of them boomed. So uh, the legend boomed. You Barking. you hear the sonic boom. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but he thought it was from the puke. Let's say you were distracted, but the second one give me perceptions with advantage. You, you two. Me? Me? Yeah, 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 both of you. Oh, I, I would make a gen roll as well, but you. I'm so me? not. <laughs> but you're in a portrait. You're gonna what? No, no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. How much? It's four. Yeah, you, you so hear pain. something. You think your head is ringing from all the skin loss. Uh, you hear, you see just a brass, a brass um, shape just running in front of you, uh, and and two figures on top perched on top of it. A slow mo moment, like they're faster uh, than a bullet. It's amazing. I caught anything. But faster wow. than a bullet, but uh, from humanness, you hear like a soft, soothing. <laughs> What does it mean? He recognizes though. I, 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 yeah. I see if I can understand anything. Uh, I... um, what do you do now? In this round? After you throw the rope? Next round, fourth round. Next round. Uh, what if you feel While Humanus is still flying at full speed, I will try to like tug on the rope to get the two mounts close for a second so we can trade things. Okay. Trade things. Um, I hand you a couple of scrolls, and you probably can't hear me at that I point. I'm completely fiber-gasted. Uh, I've never flown before. <laughs> you're, you're flying at an incredible speed. I know. I'm keeping on. <laughs> Luckily, I put some handles on that undead force. <laughs> it's Rip Cage's handles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, scroll one. I'm gonna make you roll an acrobatics for all of it. It's a, it's a fairly decent roll. It's a ten, let's say. It's so crazy. Please don't pass me. Uh, over <laughs> to, uh, thirteen the first time. Yeah. Uh, uh, this was the feather fall, and then the lesser restoration is below. Okay, uh, you drop the scroll of lesser restoration. Okay. Any but tempted. Okay. Uh, can you them catching? Uh, with your it's, it's flying back at our speed. Uh, yeah, but you're not the same level, or it's someone backwards. Isn't he behind me? Because I pulled him in. Okay, yeah, you can attempt to catch. It's gonna be higher. It's a 15. Uh, it's a 15 with what? Uh, athletics as well. <laughs> acrobatics. Uh, acrobatics. Sorry. It's a no. no. <laughs> it's a no. Fly, fly, fly. Zoom. What the fuck was that? Shit show. Next. Oh my god. You have anything to trade? Um, not yet. Because uh, I'm gonna loosen the rope and we're gonna be distant again. I cannot properly trade that without fucking losing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, so uh, I'll try to do something really stupid. Oh. I shed off my what? hair and I made. Uh, as you food. think about it, we're gonna go to the second group if you don't have a question. We'll think about it. Okay, you think about it. Uh, so the fourth round passes and you have the same speed 250, 250 miles an hour, just so you know. Uh, with my action, could I look at uh, uh, the small uh, king and say. <laughs> I suggest, your highness, get off thy horse and let us ride it. I guess suggestion on the small boy. Oh my god. Nice. Uh, cool. Uh, counter spell uh, from uh, Eric. Uh, how much is your DC? Uh, I don't know because I think uh, counter spell works if the spell is 
uh, third level or lower. So, so how much is uh, it's it's dispelled? It fucks me up. It's okay, uh, dispelled. Uh, you better uh, pick up someone your own size, Chancellor. I plan to. <laughs> <laughs> As you're being picked up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you are actually in a pickup state. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, and the little prince uh, 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 runs backwards with his horse to get away from you. And he says, Eric, I'm gonna just feed Stella the potion and I'm gonna run. I'm scared. <laughs> They're gonna try to steal the crown for me and I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the distance between us and the prince um, backing away? Backing away, he backs away with the speed of, and I'm just gonna tell you in one second, with the speed of, uh, he's gonna use all his movement on this round. It's 720 feet and he's moving backwards. Moving backwards at 720 feet. He starts around. very slow and just. It's like a. Yeah. Unless you want to yell something after him. Oh my him. god, I'm, I'm rooting now for Prince Philip. I hope he wins. <laughs> He's so cute. Do you see what's that happening works. right now? He's so cute! I want him to win! Butterfly. I'm scared! <laughs> you hear in the distance. I can't do anything. Like, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you still have Jonathan. You can cast the spell magic. On I stuff. can't cast anything else because there's my action too. Yeah. Suggest. <laughs> What do you want to do, guys? Is there still like a dimension door? No, we've passed uh, through the dimension door. You passed door. through them. Yeah. And there's uh, five men without any horses. Uh, there's one man with a horse, and there's just Prince Philip back backing backwards. Are there any horses? No, no. There's no horses in reach, right? No. Just uh, Jonathan's. This was such a bad call. Can we go by this? <laughs> uh, you're I 500 feet in, uh, in front. Uh, Jonathan! Oh, dude, no, Jonathan. Eric! <laughs> Please, come with me! And he says, No, your harness! Uh, these men want to hurt you! That's right. What? I want to keep him safe. Your tiny harness. Your tiny harness. Uh, At this he... point, I literally do not see a reason that we're in, we're in a good position to be surrounded by these men, so I'll yeah. continue dashing. In that direction, I will he, dash. But... He opens another, uh, uh, Eric opens another dimension door. She, he starts chanting. It's sort of in your direction, and he starts running towards it. What do you guys do? We try to catch that. Oh, <laughs> tackle him and and uh, uh, steal his dimension door. He's throw me at him. <laughs> <laughs> so one is throwing, one is uh, attacking him. So wait, grapple so and uh, just run. One, one, one second. Mm -hmm. I, I need to understand what is the order of the actions. So is he after us or before us? Uh, Would I actually act, manage to act as far as movement goes before, like he opens the, the scroll? He's casting it and he's running towards it, but he still has one round to complete the. Uh, to to reach the dimension door. And do I manage to actually have the movement to tackle him yeah. or? Uh... You can try to tackle him. Okay, Let yeah, me... I'll, I'll go towards him again. I'll back slap the the fuck out of him trying to. He is on a horse. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. May I? <laughs> okay, you can try. May I come? Please let me go. <laughs> oh. Well, oh. it's a natural one, but okay. you try to slap I the am body clean spider. <laughs> you are body okay. clean spider. It's a seven. So it's a twelve plus seven. It's a nineteen. With a natural, you one. have a plus twelve. Plus eleven on athletics. And and the twelve. Uh, so one plus twelve okay. plus plus eleven is it's twelve. Okay. Plus seven from the bardic inspiration. That's nineteen. Man. Okay. On my athletics check too. No, him and the horse. That's pretty okay. good. Uh, you yeah definitely. What's you up knock in him this off. world with horses that run at the speed of sound and snakes that are having human? That snakes. horse okay, is a regular horse. One horse. And that's, that's, a that's a regular horse. Excuse so you slap the regular horse, uh, <laughs> and you knock him off. Uh, he... Or oh, him off the horse, if, yeah. but I mean, I would try my strength against him rather than the horse if I were uh, to choose. You tried, he failed. It's a 12. Okay, does he fly off the horse? Yeah, and, uh... he flies off the horse in the dirt and he says with his last power, RUN! <laughs> I will. Going towards the portal. Uh, then the thing that I now realize uh, is that only one creature with a mount so this you're the mount. I, I jumped I'm in the, the beginning. Who was the mount? So you're the mount, and you're you're on it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally minutes. carrying him by the by by his uh, chest strappings on his. If armor, you want this to armor. work, you have to carry him on your uh, on your back. Piggyback. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Piggyback. Chest I, I mean, he, if he wants to actually grasp at at me and actually piggyback, I mean, it would probably. Sure. <laughs> be, 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 be. <laughs> but sure. Is, I mean, literally has to be in that pose for this to work. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. What is in the accepting phase? You jump. Whatever. Uh, you jump and you're now at uh, 1,000 feet in front from Green Spring. Uh, Still less place, but. Still <laughs> going. <laughs> but we're going. Not really, Grace, Monkey, everyone. Okay. Don't let your dreams be. Uh, you're 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 uh, you're uh, in front, and you see just passing by now, Prince uh, Prince uh, uh, Philip. Oh my God! You do again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he uh, he feeds Stella the potion, and he stops to feed another potion. He says, "Stay back! I'm scared." <laughs> <laughs> he feeds Stella one potion, and then the second potion. He, it's in his this process. What are you guys doing? Well, I think it's not as, as, as Stella is moving. <laughs> no, he stopped. <laughs> I can't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so how far away is he from us? It's a... Uh, I'm gonna draw the process and I will die. <laughs> what is it? So uh, he is uh, 50 feet. 50 feet? <laughs> I cannot do anything. What do you want me to do? I feel like just protecting him, just staying behind. Like, come on, let's go. <laughs> I need him alive. He must stay alive if the royal house finds out that we... Butcher the small child will be flailed. I'm scared, don't butcher me, sir. <laughs> oh I thought you were the good guys. I, I don't know just, anymore. Just pick him up, drop him down, and steal his horse and potion. You're not there. Oh, is it it's again a round? Are we doing mm-hmm. another round? Yeah, he he used his round to feed Stella with a bottle, and he's being feeding another one to her. May I try to throw a rope lasso at them? Like go <laughs> thirty feet in front, and I would be twenty feet away from, and just make a, a okay. rope lasso and roll, throw. Roll. What do I have to roll for? What do I have to roll for? Uh, I'm gonna just go. Uh, I think it's sleight of hand against his uh, uh, acrobatics. I'm not good at this. He's in oh, but the dice are. <laughs> it's a 19. You're just it's yanking this horse. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm the horse. I'm trying to catch the horse. 11 for the child. <laughs> for the horse. And for the horse, the horse escapes. So you're. you. I, I catch the child? Yes. <laughs> That's fine. No, it's just. Uh, I so hold on to the rope. You pull the child from the from the horse. Can I? He takes a little bit of damage. <laughs> oh my god. Six damage. He's at one HP. Oh my god. Just so you know, he's bleeding. He starts crying. <laughs> yes. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> Stella doesn't run. He, she just says there. And <laughs> he's a small pony. What do you guys do? Can <laughs> me compete? Uh, he looks at you and says, get on the bloody horse and move on in front as much as you can as he will cast healing words on uh, the small uh, uh, prince and go and sit Sir, listen to me, Chancellor. Leo, oh, Siriam, I just want to compete. I'm better than my brothers. You know that the, the, the smallest and youngest child is always, always the wisest. Listen to me. That is in fairy tales. You are in reality, small one. <laughs> I am worthy. Saturni gave me two bottles of this stuff. Thou art worthy, child. Do not throw your life away. You're a corrupt. You're a corrupt, Chancellor. I'm gonna tell everyone that you stole my horse. <laughs> there can be no trace. No face at all. I will end oh you. God, I love it so much. <laughs> Please untie me. This beast is trying to steal my chance. I am better than my brothers. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Are you untying me, Shark? I am untying you. You get healed for five points of healing. Thank you. I'm still. Uh, I still have a broken wrist, but it's okay. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> God, you have no God. empathy. You don't like I cheating. cannot express it even if I had it, trust me. <laughs> um, 
uh, he does solve the little prints. I cannot believe I have been caught in this. He picks him up. Put me on my horse. horse. I'm already on the horse and I have left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I am no, no, just <laughs> Um, Thank little you. prince, if you if you believe in yourself, that's all you need, I suppose. And that's a bardic inspiration as well for him. Thank you. You and wanna come with me and protect me from these people? <laughs> well, I don't have a horse, your small highness. Oh, you <laughs> can ride with Stella on me. I tried it with Eric, it's okay. We, we decrease speed a little bit. If thou art willing to forgive my actions and... I don't know, how sorry you are? This <laughs> much. <laughs> I'm like... It's it's beyond the planet. <laughs> uh, yeah. We don't live on a planet, it's a flat earth. <laughs> Everybody knows this. <laughs> how dare you? He rolled a tiny die for a tiny print. <laughs> Oh. Stop drooling, sir. It's not uh, polite. Uh, no, Shaq is not drooling. I'm, so, I'm so good uh, because I have like uh, that's uh, nine plus nine. That's eighteen. Okay, if you're sure, you can come here. I am leaving. Yeah, I'm sitting on the horse and I'm not <laughs> even on the pony. You, you know what? Yeah, you you, you have to lift work. your your knees, sir. <laughs> 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 you know magic. <laughs> If any of the other chancellors hear about this first piggybacking a snake and now going on the pony. People saw you piggyback a snake. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm not gonna be chancellor next. Uh, next. Uh, you can be my advisor if I win. I might have the only position left with that, my small load. Let us go. There's been a few rounds of conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm going with the snake and I feel I'm leaving Wait, Shaq there. Yeah. The yeah. You're leaving Shaq there? Yeah, I'm very deep in thought, thinking why I'm not killing both of them right here, right now. But uh, I will actually be flabbergasted and <laughs> stay in the field. <laughs> And when I see them going away, like That's 700 right. feet so, around, I would say, I, I'm just curious where this all ends, and I'll run. <laughs> so you start running in front of them, and Not they... in front of them, right? I, I'm letting them, I want to see how the conversation ends regarding the pardon. Okay, uh, he said... Because if I, I, I hear the prince saying he's going to pardon uh, us. Uh, he says he's going to take him into his retinue, him. And he says, lift with your knee, sir. Let's go. Oh. There's two pardons here. <laughs> there are two pardons. You're left saying there's two pardons. Yeah, yeah I'm, just, I'm left saying that. <laughs> and there's uh, a poof of uh, dust. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're next to the Sabat River and they're going with the speed of... Oh. With the speed of 1,000... Four hundred miles per hour. Miles. Miles per hour. On a small pony. Guys, I'm going to win this race because I'm the only one alive at this speed. No, 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 no. Play the penalty. You're right. It's one thousand. It's an adult on a pony. Yeah, it's an adult. <laughs> it's one thousand. Driven by a child. <laughs> Carla. Is this your what Ferrari, character Leo? Do you want to play? <laughs> a serious character, Carla. Okay. <laughs> Leo, it's 1,000. Uh, uh, I approximate all this, but it's on good math, you guys at home. Uh, so it's 1,350 miles per hour, just so you know. Leo, is this your Ferrari? <laughs> My Ferrari is the best I have. <laughs> it's um, a mini. <laughs> so again, you hear the boom. <laughs> Oh my God. As they uh, fly, and you see the Sabat River, and just you in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'll go for my jog run. in that direction. You start running in that yeah. direction, and you can run and dash without the penalty from your Wurgander's blessing. I will. So catch coming them back up to you this. guys, what are after this uh, thing? <laughs> what are you guys doing? The rope is still tight. We're still close for a while. Um, so Castillo will direct. He will take out some rope. He's gonna tie himself to the horse. And he's gonna tie on the end, the other end of the rope, to his minion. He's gonna give his minion the flask. Um, 
In his mouth, or where? Not in his mouth. <laughs> Somewhere to carry it. In his hands. It has hands? It says, it looks like a child. With oh. wings. Okay. In its hands, the minion starts flying and carrying and he the he starts crawling with his hands from my horse to his. <laughs> and you hear Castile whisper, the horse, humanists must get that. I extend a hand to help the creature climb. It's very grotesque. It starts crawling on you. It looks like a, a, vor- a vorted thing. Uh, like a like a mango piece of meat, more like that. Uh, it's on your hands. I let it crawl. <laughs> it crawls next next to your face. I, from behind, I guide it to the, the head of the horse with the other arm. It it, it crawls on your hand. Uh, and please roll me with the with your minion. It's gonna be a slow, uh, but it's still gonna be a dex check. Okay. Uh, when the I... minion gets here, I hold him. With advantage. Okay. Um, um, I'm letting you guys do crazy shit. I'm not sure how much a random flying minion will have. What That's, is it? It's called cool it has the statistics, the statistics of a crow, I guess, or whatever oh. flying minion. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna uh, check my statistics of a crawling, a crawling claw I have. So it's a plus two. Uh, plus two. With okay. advantage? Yeah. Hold on. Guiding him to the... Uh, it's a 13. Okay. With a 13, the DC was, again, 12. Uh, 12 yeah? It's a fair DC. Barely uh, goes to the uh, uh, mouth of Humanus and claw- crawls inside and puts the flask inside. Humanus starts chewing it and you hear... Bro- bro- no, 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 I wouldn't have... I have just it, it, it. Okay, the he, he doesn't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt the horse. The horse okay. is very important. It starts uh, sucking from the bottom, the liquid, and now you hear it, <laughs> and uh, it sort of shakes and trembles and trembles, and then you you feel that you're catching more speed and more speed. Two times faster, three times faster, four times faster, five times faster, six times faster, seven times faster. Two little notes as this acceleration is happening and most of what I'm doing is holding on. I do whisper to humaness, uh, first guide her to be above the ground rather than above the water, which was the plan all along, but also uh, tell her higher, higher, until I estimate that it would take 20 seconds to fall to the ground by my okay, approximation. Okay, 20 seconds to fall to the ground. Okay, is that high? And now you reach the speed of Tanda. Tanda, which is <laughs> uh, humanist, humanist flying speed with unknown uh, holders with advantage is 1,750 miles per hour. Sonic boom behind you. <laughs> You feel something shaking inside, <laughs> like your uh, your portrait, uh, your tapestry is shaking and trembling. You feel cold. Uh, you I'm in another cold. dimension. I don't think I can feel. It's so fast that air yeah, is yeah, sipping it's, in. Yeah, it's uh, sipping in. Uh, and you start running, and under uh, uh, flying, and underneath you, you you hear another boom passing by. Uh, perception with disadvantage. Why is it this time? It's just, Five. It's just appearing. Uh, the rope extends a little. We're not close up anymore because I need both hands to hold. And uh, now the undead horse and Cassio are just gliding, and we're using that gliding advantage uh, to fly by. Uh, cool. And like this, you're gonna keep at it for the next hours. Uh, the. Uh, Beer endurance is gone after one hour. Okay. So you don't have the temps to go as well. The temps is going as well. So first hour, uh, you've traveled. Let me just find it. It's on? this one. Are your cookie temps infinite? No. Eight hours. Okay. Okay. And now in the next episode of The Prince and the Chancellor. No, 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 we're not done yet. It's a long episode. Uh, so 1,070... 750. 750. Uh, I realized they're not fit to be a Chancellor. Bam! Uh, here, uh, Philip and Stella and the Chancellor are at 1,000... 
350 uh, miles per hour and I'm just, and the Chancellor, I'm just gonna move them. Uh, what an unexpected turn of events. Uh, really? Truly, one through three. Okay. Uh, and then it's uh, uh, America and the legend who is close by. You can see them fairly ahead. You can see a dark shadow fairly ahead. Uh, and Finian, who is way in front of you guys. His internal organs have exploded. Maybe. If this wasn't the magical world, no. you would have magical been dead princess in can the first endure. few seconds. Yeah, next. Uh, <laughs> this is the first screaming. hour. Um, nothing happens. Second hour, you're approaching. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Don't have the time. You're yeah. approaching. <laughs> <laughs> so you're approaching. <laughs> half an hour after this, you're approaching uh, a forest. Twenty seconds up over there. A forest, and it's sort of a deep, deep one. You're you're always above a forest, but this one is very deep, and uh, has very high trees. Um, <clears throat> probably higher than uh, than before uh, and your horse starts behaving irrationally just <laughs> uh, humanness starts uh, uh, slowing down uh, and you feel something in the air just holding back uh, and in front of you you see the dark shadow uh, going up Starting up. It's a shape that's moving as fast as you guys, going upwards. Um, On the forest, like intercepting. Yeah. What do you guys do? Uh, is there a difference in her movement? Uh, he, she stopped, and she sort of like uh, stopped in mid air in front of the forest. There's a and... glider gliding behind me yeah. if she stops. Yeah. What, what happens when she stops uh, at the glider? Starts, uh, it starts pulling down because you ha have a certain weight and you're being dragged down. He's, she's struggling to keep them afloat, but you're slowly being dragged down and she makes this horrible sound. <laughs> you hard to move. Uh, what's wrong? Why can't we keep going, honey? And give me an uh, insight, I don't know, or animal handling. Uh, minus one. Uh, she may be hungry. Cool. Five. Pax, you're killing me. Uh, you're slowly being dragged into the forest. Oh uh, a kilometer almost up. Yeah, but you're still being dragged into the forest, and she's she's struggling to 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 uh, fly up, and she's waiting for commands. What do you guys do? Honey, wanna keep going ahead <laughs> along the river? <laughs> along that river, see. Uh, okay, give me a persuasion. So she gets along that liver, a river and into the forest that transvenses the, the river. Uh, 12. <laughs> and you go through the forest. Shit. Um, you're being dragged... Descend the whole kilometer. Uh, a whole kilometer and you're going now through the forest. And now... Um, as you re resume the speed, are we flying forest. or trotting? Uh, flying, but a bit lower, one kilometer lower. Okay. Uh, you have to dodge a lot of trees, uh, and you feel there's something wrong with the air. You feel weakened, uh, and you start uh, flying and advancing. And now you give me a D8. Honey, you're 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 moving me. You're moving us through choking air. Do you think you can maybe take us up three? Uh, three. Uh, Honey, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. No. Oh yes. Uh, it's bad. Uh, one d8. Sucks. the worst thing. It's an eight. So. Uh, nothing. Like, you go through this, it's, it's harder to breathe, it's choking air, but something is wrong with the vendor. 
Wisdom save eight? No. If it's sleepy or charmy. I know, it's sort of a charmy thing. You get an advantage. Oh okay. Uh, Evander turns green, and then becomes smaller. Green. That's mine. Smaller and has bulging eyes, and uh, uh, sort of the thin stripes Wedding. near his uh, <laughs> fingers. When it stops, and he turns into a frog. Uh, and uh, you're the frog prince now, and you have retained your mental abilities, but uh, and can speak. Oh my god, get Jen out to kiss you. I am, for the first time in his life, Castiel feels stupid. He has nothing to say, he's never seen this. So webbed hands. <laughs> Hold on to the, 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 the saddle. What's going on? Oh no, I'm a frog. I suppose we could go up again. Uh, persuasion. We stopped now? Uh, uh, you're sort of at a halt, you descend one more kilometer. Uh, 13. Okay, so with a 13... And you go upwards very fast. Uh, ascending, and uh, unfortunately... Above the forest is midday. We're changing the lights. It's midday and the sun is scorching. You're getting closer to the sun. The, this forest is so tall, so to get out of it, you're getting as close to the sun as you can ca come. And you have to roll a constitution saving throw because you're getting scorched. What is the sun is much more intense than it used to be. It's weirdly intense. It's weirdly intense because you have to go up the forest. The forest is very tall apart to the other terrain. Is it like the unnaturally, sequoia. like perception bendingly tall? Yes. It's like the sequoia tree. So yes. we were one kilometer up and the forest was still under us. Yeah, and you ascend to get the fresh air. And when you reach the high end, you reach the the midday sun that is scorching and close because if you look to the to, to the sketches that we have of the world it's very close to the in the middle section it, the sun is very close to the land yeah i have rolled a 17. okay constitution save yeah 21. uh you it's save you fail and you take 3d6 scorching them it's a six the four ten twelve half a uh, full Radiant damage. So okay. <laughs> um, How much health does a frog have? You know what? I'll have it. Uh, absorb uh, absorb uh, uh, You elements. retain your uh, health, your uh, intelligence, but your uh, abilities are that of a frog. Like uh, the dexterity of a frog, you have to look at. What about the constitution of a frog? That's a good, uh, yeah. You, did you roll with constitution of a frog? No, I don't. Have okay, the let's let's of a frog. let's. Yes, you do. <laughs> I, I <laughs> not usually. The player but. does not have the stats. So the stats no. of the of the frog, frog is minus one. Uh, that makes my uh, my twenty uh, one for lower. It or makes no. it into a seventeen. Okay, uh, you also fail. Oh my god! So you take twelve uh, radiant damage. It's a radius because the. How much HP does a frog have? He retains his HP. Okay, this one you can okay, beat. Okay, because that would have been very problematic. I know. Uh, so you glide like this. You take this damage, and you traverse the the forest after one more hour. What is going on? Um, during this hour, Castiel will send his minion to crawl back onto the, the, the horse and he will take control of it. We'll yeah. ask you the crazy hypersonic speed, right? Yeah. yeah. ask you, do you want to be carried? It will be complicated if I turn back while we're both on the same mount. I think there's a bigger chance you die like this. You know? <laughs> what do you guys do? I have a solution for this. I lick my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I catch a flying. Uh, I'll, take my, uh, I'll take my minion back. I'll take my minion back to me. 
and from inside the cloak, I'll push, I'll take out a, a small flesh sack. I will put, I will take the minion back onto his horse, put him in this flesh sack, tie the flesh sack to the horse, and leave a bit of the rope inside of it so he can hold on if he turns back. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, you do that. You roll me a 15 with your uh, minion to exceed that without a complication. 15 dex. How's that? That's plus two. A plus two? No, is that what you yeah. used yeah, to? Yeah, 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 plus two. I heard bless it's a two. 10. Uh, do I have advantage because it's tied? Yeah. Let's go with that. Three. It's a 21. Okay, you definitely do that. You're now in a flash sack with a rope holding out. Wait, at what point do I. So I, I'm there holding on, a little frock holding on. You're seeing <laughs> the minion. What do I perceive? You, you're, you're seeing the thing. Who is now bigger than me? It is bigger than you. <laughs> Not quite much, but a bit. Uh, it's tying <laughs> the flesh sack to the horse. What are we doing? We're Not time. taking care of you. <laughs> I'm putting you in the bag. Oh, that doesn't feel good. And, um, and putting a part of the rope that holds the horse and humanness inside. <laughs> Super slimy, and that still feels wrong. And now you are dangling from the bag. So it's like a security pouch behind yeah, you? Yeah, it's a security pouch behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Of made of flesh. This feels like a bad acid trip. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure this is worth it. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. And you do this for the next hour. Oh. You pass the forest. And right at the end of the forest, something catches up with you and it's neck to neck because they had to go around. So they lose the advantage that they have. You see before you a big raven just head to head carrying Prince Emmerich. It's the legend. It's, it's the legend. Good for him, I guess. Uh, can you bring? No, because we don't need the whole trees anymore. Oh. Legend! Something made it slow down. That's yes, it's, it's own it. movement because they went around the forest, not unlike you guys. Oh, oh they were. Well, they were smart they about were. it. Um, but now they lost a little bit of advantage. And we go back to Prince Philip, who after two hours does, didn't reach the forest yet because his speed is slower. And you're somewhere in the... Um, so two, uh, two hours have passed, just so you know. No, three hours because the, you're, we are exiting the forest. Um, you didn't reach the forest. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, Tiny, uh, uh, small uh, lord. Um, do you know something about the plans of your brethren ahead, or are you? Do you have any knowledge of what their plan is? They are cheaters, and they want to eliminate me because I have a lot of potential. <laughs> and um, yeah, I am small and brave. <laughs> this is, is my plan. I will win by smallness and bravery. Truth be told, in most fairy tales, that's all that you need to push through. Uh, this is also what my mama told me, but now I'm, I'm, I'm crushed with her because she didn't let me compete. But who let you compete then? I myself let me compete because I am, I am worthy. I, you know, the, the first one, the Serafima competed at my age and she won with another small boy in her team. So, yeah. I want to do that. I want to do like Serafima did. So you want to be like Serafima? Yes. She was the best ruler we had. I... Ere long you might just be the ruler. Who might, who knows? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think I will be. If you drop him right now, I might get him in a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> You are not gonna get him in a few hours, days. my feet, like days, yeah. yeah, maybe 100 days or something. Yeah. Uh, and we're still not halfway. Um, yeah, that's all right. So you're, you're running and you're gonna be seeing in the distance, uh, in Place do not meta, a large forest approaching. Dark, large forest. At this point, yeah. could I tell from the speed that 
like it's an exponentially impossible task for me to actually achieve by running in a straight line with you don't know like the thing about this trail and i i know you hear about the uh, what other teams are doing there's there's no destination you don't know how much is to the end of the world you don't know how what speed they have you just saw they move fast i, I saw them see them go over the horizon line yeah but uh, but i i saw them moving at some speeds that i'm thinking would i be able to make the logical connection that it would take me Oh, well now Shaki's dumb. Uh, now she's gonna keep running. Yeah, you keep it's running fall, next to the Sabato water. This is what you do for three hours. Yeah. Fourth hour coming. Um, you advance. Oh my god, if the small prince turns into a frog. Uh, small we already have a prince frog, but okay. Uh, fourth hour comes. You're riding next to the legend. Close, neck and neck. You have the same speed. So next hour will be... Uh, you're gonna enter. Uh, area with tall, tall mountains, so tall, it's it's gonna be uh, it's the end of. Uh... So you're approaching an area with tall, tall mountains. I, I my search for humans is to fly way over them, a kilometer over them. Okay, a kilometer over them. With even considering what happened last time. Something happened last time. Yeah. Yeah, we got burned by the sun. The, the, the sun is. But we're past that peak, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I suggest you're not. past that peak and it's getting the sun is getting lower but the mountains are very very tall okay. uh, so what's the plan Just high over the mountains okay um, um i would like to have something prepared if the prince is to attack me or him or us or especially the humanists i will cast catapult using the vial of sabat water okay you're gonna prepare water. Uh, prepare a spell. Sorry. Yeah. Prepare water, basically. If he attacks us. Okay. If you if you get attacked. Cool. Um, so you're approaching the mountains and you're flying. You're directing uh, humanists to fly over them. And now the beginning of uh, dusk uh, starts. So uh, it's the beginning of middle of afternoon, and you're trying to go over the the mountains that are very very high um they're so high you're uh, ascending and ascending and ascending um one second uh ascending and ascending and ascending and you're sort of feeling that the air is getting very thin thinner and thinner and thinner and now you reach the end of the highest peak you see some shapes downwards but you're moving so fast you can't discern them and it's so so high that the lack of air affects you so you're gonna i'm gonna need you guys to roll me another constitution saving throw and with for humanness as well and uh same with radiant damage sorry um, for the sun. So, uh, roll that for air, big fail. For the first one, for the... I, I didn't... Big I fail on the air. Okay. And... and 17 for, against the sun. And for humanness as well. Oh, we gotta roll against the sun yeah. as well? Yeah. Against the, the sun, uh, you have the stats in the extras. That's for humanness? Yeah. Okay. It's uh, called humanness. Okay. Uh, and the stats, I'm also gonna send it on the drop. Um, uh, are, are we look. sure this is her? Yeah. That's the frog. No, 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 not the frog. I'm, I'm gonna send it now. That's the frog. Uh, this one is humanist. It's in D&D &D Beyond. The okay, humanist, perfect, the perfect. Next cool. Uh, so, first one. Uh, let's see on the radiant damage. So, for uh, my first roll, it was a 15. Okay. And my second roll was a 24. So, for your first roll, humanness... Uh, uh, that's what, for, for Castiel. Uh, okay. For humanness is pretty good. Damn good, I think. I mean, um, so... It has a 21 and an 18. Okay. 
So you're not rolling for scorching damage now. You're we're rolling in the past because we forgot about okay. her. So the first one, uh, she passes. She only takes half damage. So please count that from uh, half damage. Half damage. It was uh, six from uh, fifty-nine. Okay. So it's a 50 53. Three. And now for the air thingy, how much did she roll? Oh uh, yeah, for the air thingy she rolled an, eight, uh, an 18. 18 plus 3, it's a 21, she passes. It, it's great. How much did you roll? Uh, the first one I rolled uh, 15, the just, second? Just the first one. Plus? Uh, I thought we were, I was gonna roll two, uh, two as well. Uh, no, it's a 15 with the pluses. Okay, 15 with the pluses. You start feeling dizzy and dizzy. Oh. How much did you roll? Fail against the sun. No, we, fail against the air. And 17 against the sun. We're not rolling for the sun anymore Maybe because it's dawn and the sun oh. is getting away. It's just the air. Just, just the 17 place. and 15? Yes. So the... Mm, against the air I rolled two, uh, five. Oh my god. You both pass out. But this thing, we're tied to our horses. What can I say? You pass out. You have no control. You... Uh, you, you pass out for the next hour. Not that you, you uh, had control before. And the last thing you see is the legend carrying the prince next to you as you pass out. We're gonna see what happens. We what go back to you. Uh, you're uh, in front of a forest and, uh, the, and uh, Stella, the tiny pony, starts... <laughs> uh, I need a legend, but small uh, lord. Uh, I feel like... Um, do I know anything from my long history of reading books about this bloody forest? No. You know, give me a history with disadvantage. But like the scenery is whizzing past them as well, right? Mm -hmm. The scenery is whizzing past them as well. Yeah, that's a natural one. No. That's, I don't know anything. Uh, my lord, uh, is she hungry? Why doesn't she want to move forward? She says it's cursed. She says, she says you're she... talking to Stella. You're not talking to Stella? Clearly not. Um, but it's... she says she says there's a path. And she knows the path. Yeah, it's a little bit to the left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Knees up, sir. Uh, can you go a little Lo uh, a, a little lower in speed uh, compared to you guys, but you go on the... On, there's a golden path that you go through. A golden path, guys. There's a golden path. Um, and as you pass this, uh, one hour more in advance. Everybody is advancing. Uh, and you both are in the middle of nowhere. For the next hour. This is hour five. Uh, do we wake up? Uh, after an hour, yes. What's our condition? Uh, Suffocate. <laughs> as you wake up, you see, you look to the left and you see Prince Emmerich uh, sleeping, you don't know, and um, then the legend just flying, flashing uh, orange uh, eyes. The legend being the, the, the raven. great raven, yeah. I'll look if the bag with the frog is secure. Uh, you look at the bag with the frog. Uh, it's waking out. up right now. Okay. Um, you're <laughs> flying in the middle of nowhere with the incredible speed. Um, and we're gonna go back to Shaq. Uh, may I figure out at some point that the track is a loop and they have to come back at some point? Uh, intelligence. Oh, oh no! Um, oh wrong. Yeah, that's good. Wait, did I roll a six or a fourteen? Uh, no, roll again. May I, I? I literally do yeah. not know what I picked up here. Oh, it's a six now. Okay. So it's gonna be an eight for Shark. No, uh, like so maybe. Shark maybe is convinced that he should just. You, you should just run. And what happens after two hours of dusk? You start seeing down the river to your right boats gliding with uh, sort of boatmen dressed in long dark cloaks and carrying bodies uh, <sighs> passing. Carrying bodies? Bodies, like yes, dead, dead like, bodies, yeah. I see bodies like wrapped up or just piled on like uh, no. meat. It's each body has its own boat and they're decorated, some of them 
Um, so like funeral rites. Yeah. Uh, and give me a perception. Grab a boat. Uh, it's a 14. You see two boats. Uh, <laughs> two boats carrying two bodies. Um, decorated with, with something. And uh, you see a red stripe of hair. Just pushing through the cloak. <sighs> A uh, red track of hair pushing yeah. through the cloak. Someone with red hair is uh, conducting the boat. Is it someone that has any kind of weird anatomy in any way? No. And they pass very the, fast. The, the, the boats are faster than yeah. than myself yeah. running. Okay. Uh, right. After this, if you see the two boats, you wait an hour longer and you see more boats. This time it's a flock of boats and with more, um, I don't know, you see, again, flashing very fast lights, uh, decorations, sort of this funeral lights passing. Is, are the, uh, is the Sabat River a rapid river? Like a, yeah. like a flowing at high yeah. speed so that yeah. boats actually go? Yeah, and, okay. very fast. Do the people there, I mean, they either are they very skilled boatmen or... Uh, you know, you see boatmen. It's not natural in any way. It's, it's sort of an, a, bit, a little bit of natural, and the reason why you're able to um, see them, because they move very fast, is that you're at the curvature, at the, at the um, undulation of the river. They have to... to um, Slow down, slow a, down a little bit to undulate and then go faster. But I'm rather close to the river, right? Yeah. It's like 60 yeah. feet or so. Yeah. Okay. Mm. With my intelligence check, I will just keep running. You keep running. Hoping that something uh, will drop and the or... boats keep uh, keep uh, no. going. For Shark, it's it's literally no difference running uh, rather than standing as a mental check. Okay. It's a state of running. The state of running, you run, there's boats just <laughs> passing you by now. Uh, okay, hour six. Uh, you're approaching something. Neck and neck with Prince Finian and the legend, you see the Sabat River now uh, spills over the land and forming a lake that stretches wide from east to west but narrows at the south and it resembles a smile uh, long in length but slim in height you know like it's transversing the, the line throughout the whole horizon cutting it basically okay. and uh, at its termination you spot a strip of land um, and then another smile of the sabat water and then another slip of land and then a canyon and in the distance, you see the sky. No, it's an astro sea. Or is it the sky? Well, I believe our frog, frog prince has not returned to its form. Has uh, our other prince in the company done anything he, remotely aggressive towards us? He looks like he's sleeping. Must feel good. I attempt to will myself into not being a frog. <laughs> okay. I mentally you will, clench. You, into... you clench and you feel disgusted by your form. Like no one would love you. Oh my god. It's pretty harsh, but okay. Oh, I mean, I with have... that charisma. It's, it, it comes with the, the curse. <laughs> Do I have any recollection of curses that turn people into frogs? History. Holy f- it is uh, spell magic. I think an 18. Max is naked. <laughs> Can I guidance myself for this? Uh, sure, you're thinking about it, uh, taking some drugs to concentrate. Yeah, I'm looking at the frog and I'm thinking, this could be worth it. Now you're getting adjusted after uh, after so many before? hours. Yeah. You're getting adjusted to the uh, uh, movement and the high speed. In a carpet. Things. All that wind coming at my poor frog body probably has me pretty dry. It's very dry. You keep spitting on yourself. Uh, very, uh, it's a dirty 20. Very bad for us frogs. Yeah. Dirty 20. Yeah. Your so with a dirty 20, you know exactly what you read about such a curse. It was in a child book and you read it to uh, Timmy the other day. It was about the child uh, uh, a prince frog 
that had to live with this curse and no one believed that he was a prince and then came a princess and he she kissed him because he was worthy and came to be a normal prince. Oh god, how do I get to you? Okay. Um, cool. just curl those lips and <laughs> get at it. Then, uh, Cassius, uh, tug on the rope that holds the, oh. the bag with the frog. Sure. Can I tug it towards me? Yeah. My. <laughs> Would the undead Pegasus oh, okay, kissing the frog do the same thing since yeah, it has no, the DNA? You're not there. <laughs> I don't. He, he takes a look at the frog, turns towards him. <laughs> Consider me a princess. <laughs> Consider you what now? I, uh, I kiss the frog. Uh, whoa, 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 buddy. The frog backs up a little. The frog no, I up. hold the frog in the kiss. Oh. <laughs> what, what are we doing right now, brother? What, what, what You're kissing is the frog on its lips. Concept. Yes. Oh my god. Do you love the frog? The first romance. I do not. Nothing happens. I don't love the frog. Yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> this was an experiment. Was it though? Is this, is this when we want to be experiment? I'm all for it. Uh, uh, could you in any way, shape, or form make me love you? <laughs> Give him a time. Right. <laughs> not that not that kind of man. There's bromance. Not problem. either, to be honest. They find you repugnant and you're not from for. Okay. Ooh, harsh words. Um, the ah, 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 ah. Oh, 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 oh. What are you into? <laughs> what are you into, my brother? Long silent walks. By me like looks. Looks. Describe the uh, ideal woman. Oh. With a bigger library than mine. Yeah, but what does she look like? I don't know. Why would that matter to me? He has a bigger library than you. Imagine her. What does she look like? Well, probably pale, uh, dark red eyes, red hair. So this is, uh, sorry, he's describing it Gen 2. <laughs> oh. My eyes are not red. They're silver. But he doesn't say her name? Yeah. He just adds stuff up that kind of matches. Oh. I, oh. 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 oh my God. I will glamour myself into a satanic version of Jen with the Probably. bright red eyes. Oh. Uh, okay. Hello, Castiel. It is me. But Hi. human, I spoke. But in the, the same voice. Yeah. <laughs> the frog voice. Yes. At no. this point, underneath you, a shape passes <laughs> with a sonic boom. Good for them. Uh, the boom. other way around. The other, oh the my other god, way they around. The end. <laughs> and in back. front of you, uh, you're seeing a Grand Canyon. And the astral sea. You're, you're past the Saturni smile. This called the the lakes that transverse the land, and you're passing into the into to the astral sea. You see the edge of the world. And I'm gonna see your reactions next week about the edge of the world. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Uh, it was a hectic, long episode with a lot of uh, with a lot of stuff. Uh, thank you for sticking with us. If you liked the cookie stuff we li we did, please leave a comment, a like, anything. It will help us immensely. Uh, thank you for sitting with us. Check the recaps, check the Spotify. We love you, love you very much. We're gonna be next week here at 5 p.m. UTC on Dice Sylvania. Thank you, Rolling Hills Crafts, for the mega, mega miniatures and terrain pieces that we had here. We had a discount. Um, code with Dysylvania 10 on their website rollinghillscraft.com and thank you Sirinscape, thank you everyone who is a part of this magnificent team, thank you guys, it was an excellent uh, excellent, excellent session, we love you good day, good night and don't let the vampires bite blah <laughs>